that we can yeah, other people can go back and look. Record it. Okay, got it. Okay. Switch it. Hmm. What's that? Well, these are the oh. those are the two. We call them the teenagers now because they're not the babies anymore. They're about the size of their mom. I'm waiting for it to settle down. Are those chickens or? Dogs? Oh, look at yeah, yeah. they're chickens. Okay, there they are. He's in the coop. Yeah, he's the daddy. Oh, I have just a second. Well, your your Wi-Fi must have better range than mine does. I don't think I could walk out to my chickens. Oh, look at the little ones. Listen how cute they sound. There, there are, well, there were seven. We, one died, so there are six of them. And, how old are these? Um, they hatched Saturday. And I was totally by surprise. There was a mess in here. There was all different kinds of eggs. And one day they'd be sitting on these eggs and then they would sit on those eggs and just like, nothing's going to hatch. Because the big chickens would crawl through the door. I, I made the hole smaller to keep that from happening, but they would squeeze in there, their eggs down here. And then these two guys would try to set on the big eggs, but those weren't fertile because I don't think these roosters are big enough to, you know, properly fertilize the big hens. So Saturday, I was actually sick. I came out to check on things, and there were all these these babies. Uh, <laughs> so now they're they're going down for the night. Um, I can so tell. Was, so you thought it was a bit like a uh, chihuahua, male chihuahua and a female Great Dane? <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the where there's yeah, a will, the, there's a way. Yeah. See that this is the guy. Now here, this guy here. He's the one. Because the other one has always got a sore foot, so he's not very active. But this guy runs the place. Oh, there he is. He, he looks like he's got a bad wig on backwards. <laughs> so you oh, that's not very nice. You could name him Trump. Well, he, <laughs> he, he, he he's trying to kill me. That's his goal in life is every time he sees me. So, what do you think you're gonna you're gonna take on you're gonna mate the um no 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 he just I he think he's very stealing possessive the election. Of the he's very possessive of the hens. The uh I can tell which ones are belong to the black and white one, and th so they'd be like a crossbreed, and then the other ones would be long. This is the silky hen. So her chicks are going to be pure silkies. The other one's just going to be cute as all get out. No, their their little um, their little wing feathers start to grow as soon as they hatch. Actually, some of them are hatch with a with the start of their wing feathers. Um, you know, in addition, they, they've they're covered with down, but the wing feathers are the first actual feathers. They're kind of it's hard to see them now because they're, but um. The uh, you can tell the silkies. Let's say, see, it's hard to see that. See the little feathers sticking out from under the fluffy stuff. It's still really blurry. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's hard to see. But those are the tips of their wing feathers. Oh yeah, yeah, they're, I can see it there. They're very, they're very. They don't um, hook up to perform a, a flight, you know, uh, aerodynamic surface. So they can't fly at all because their feathers are very ratty and, and stringy and they, they you know, the, the ones that aren't just like the, uh, the fuzzy body feathers. You see on his tail, he's got all this fluff, but then he's got these kind of black shiny things that are kind of like regular feathers, but they're not. So on the babies, as their feathers grow out, you can tell the difference between the ones that have a nice, um, you know, smooth, regular feathers, and the other ones have these little things that stick out in every direction. So you can tell which are which. 
All right, I'm gonna I'll go down and uh, I'll move down to the basement setup. So I thought you guys would enjoy that. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to see what they're up to. Oh, Carl's cat's just so excited. Look at, <laughs> I'm just thrilled. Hey, Carolyn. Hello, Richard. Hello. I'm gonna see you this weekend. You are. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. I'm going to see you this weekend too, Susan. Oh, look at there is Saunders, Richard Saunders. Okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> look at that. Hi, Brandy. So I should hello. find hello labeled. Uh, yeah, of course. Of course. Best behavior and sit on it. Yeah, and sit on it. Hi, Kyle. Hey, good evening. You're you're with. Are you house sitting your uh, your friend's bird? We are, yeah. We've still got the two Conyers, but everybody's been a little snippy at each other today, so they're all kind of in their corners at the moment. <laughs> oh, well, that's good to hear. Hi, Bob, uh, Robert. What is your name again? Palmer? <laughs> nice to see you. Hi, I Troy's back. Hi, Troy. Hi. How are Hello. you? Fine. I love what you did with... Uh, uh, I, I think you should do more with... Um, um tom cruise and um yeah. have you been on pins and needles all day like i have been today waiting for a jury to come in mm. oh well not on pins and needles but I yes, have. i've been following it very closely the danny masterson rape trial if people are we're are wondering jury's out day this has been a full 24 hours and more 36 almost now Excuse me, I think they did an excellent job in that case. Yes, Danny Masterson. He's a that '70s show. He's a major Scientologist, and this, he was tried in October, and it was a hung jury, and now it's going again, and it just has gone to jury, and it's much better. Yeah, Troy and I are in agreement. Yeah. It is much better, and yeah. Scientology has doubled down and tripled down on him, and so. If he's not guilty, it's going to look really, really awful. He's, he's going to be kicked out if he's, well, if he's guilty, he's going to jail. Because uh, for those who don't know, there are three victims. Mm -hmm. 30 to 45 years. 30, uh, three charges against him for, mm -hmm. what is it, a forceful? Forceful rape. Forceful oh, okay. rape. Like Look at Who's that, Kyle? Or forcible. That's the word. Yeah. Who's this? This is Cheeks. Hello, Cheeks. Oh. And this is the visiting bird. That's yeah. right. We're officially in business. Uh, boring birds now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That true. Speaking of birds, I've got a beef with them. Yeah. I was just outside sitting on the glider on the deck eating my like hamburger when a bird flew overhead and got me here and here on the shirt and all on the, the wall of the house. And uh, well, it's a duplex. I was sitting out there with my neighbor. And so I start taking my t-shirt off. He's like, ah, oh, you're getting to get naked now. And I'm like, oh yeah, I am. It's a song. Scientology bird. No, no. He's out to get you. Hi, it's Cecilia. Is that how you say your name? Uh, Celia. Celia, you're a friend of Karen's? Welcome. Thank you. Are you here in Salinas? Uh, Pacific Grove. Okay, so you're you're part of the area though. Mm -hmm. There'll be a whole bunch of us that are in this area. Oh, I'm in Salinas across the street from Karen, unless she told you. Across the street? Well, I'm down the street from Karen. I'm on the opposite block. I'm on the same. Karen's on the corner and I'm on <laughs> almost the other corner across the street. One block. We're we're within one block of each other. Post it up, we could run over him and um oh. So wow. is that, is that wow. a parakeet? Hmm? A parakeet? The bird. A conure. I don't know what that is. To me it's a parakeet. It doesn't look that big. Interesting. Really small. It's the smallest conure I've ever met, but uh conure nonetheless. It was a parakeet. I used to have zebra finches and a canary once. Look at that. Aw, yeah. hi there. How are you? Would you like to go for a walk? No, I guess that doesn't work with a fly. 
Carl, what kind of frogs do you have in your pond? Uh, the frogs, I, the frogs, I, the ones I had most recent video of was uh, a gray tree frogs. Hmm. I also occasionally have green frogs and Eastern American toads. Oh, okay. And they hug all the time. Lee, did so you go those, get those kids? were the toads? The toads were the ones hugging. Those were the huggers. Del yeah. Delmar. <laughs> and 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 they, they Lee, were Lee, did you bring us kitten? No. Oh, okay. Here you guys. I saw pictures of this kitten. Yeah, here's kitten. Uh, if I can get her up here. Uh. Uh, oh. Hey kitten. Oh, kitten can't hear us. We can't oh, see we can see ears, and that's about it top of the head we can't see much how could it be that big and not be where we could see yeah, it he's not going to cooperate but... keep your laptop so we can see more down yeah. oh there he is there you go oh yeah ah, come here sweetheart that's yeah. oh look at that <laughs> <laughs> hi yeah. yeah oh look yeah. yeah what a beautiful kitten yeah <laughs> Well, he yeah, I guess he, oh, I, you know, I, I guess he can't really be a lap a lap dog. He's an old dog. That is a full body dog. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, he put him in his lap. Oh, Look at that. oh my gosh! Look at I see. I spy with my little eye somebody from Germany who's come to visit. Yep. Look what? at that, Avi! Wow. So, for those of you guys who don't know, oh yeah, look at the kitten. So, those of you guys who don't know, uh, Avi is one of the one of the first people to play <laughs> trivia with us never met him before in my life i still haven't met him actually yeah. you've met any of you guys except your daughter and so avi is um took a work study thing in germany yeah. and he's been in germany and he's been in like all over the world <laughs> right mm -hmm. some mathematical stuff you yeah. do i don't it's know postdoc in uh in germany and he's must be visiting his dad You'll, yeah, I'm visiting my parents, um, and my uh, best friend is getting married um, very soon, and so figured to come in for that. Do you look Amish, or what's what's this thing you have here? I can't see, Avi. It looks very... It's the same beard that I've had forever. Oh, okay. Yeah, From a distance, <laughs> you're starting to look a little Amish. He's proud on top. That's really yeah, cool. we couldn't figure out how no. to do it with the two of them. You can't do it with two people, can yeah, you? Yeah, to do the little... The, I don't know. I, um... I, I, if I had planned this more, I would have found like some some uh, um, what's it called pipe cleaner and uh, um, oh yeah, you don't have yeah. your little sprouts on usually, or, or or you could create a virtual background and just keep your head in the same place the whole time. Yeah, well, he's not going to be around long anyway. I'm so tired. I just got in today, and so I've been up. So I woke up at six. Uh, let's see. Uh, 6 a.m. Germany time, which would have been um, 11, 11 p.m. here yesterday. And I've been up since. So. Well, you know what you got to do? You have to stay through all of trivia because you got to wear yourself out so that you can go to sleep. And then when you wake up in the morning, you should be into the nice next time zone. You know, the time zone you're in. That's just a rule. The best of times anyway. Yeah. Oh, I've got to, I've got to, I got to review it, edit real quick. Here, hold on a second. So, Lee, um, what kind of dog is that? Uh, it's a Tibetan Mastiff. Oh, so it's a puppy. Oh no, it's full grown. She's three That's years full old. Grown? <laughs> I've seen some of them, and they're like enormous, bigger than oh, that. She's, she's one hundred and twenty pounds or so. Oh, I see. So when you put her on your lap, that was just the front end. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, okay. it, it, well, trust it, me, I can. I have. She's an overlap six, dog. Yeah, I have six <laughs> dogs, so I can rotate every week. Hey, Lee, Lee, we didn't scare you away last week, eh? Where's your little tiny dog you had? Uh, she's out in the other room sleeping. Oh, this cat. Yeah, these animals. Uncle Ron. <laughs> well, here. I hear a nubby somewhere in there. I don't know if you can there. see the T-shirt. I'm with. I'm with my Roman dad. Roman hug. Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I I, uh, I met Lee in person this last weekend um, in Sacramento Saturday, and cool. uh, I said Mark Mark and I were up there, and I said you gotta I'm sure you love Llamas with Hats the series, 
and uh, Lee had never seen it or heard of it before. That is a sick. <laughs> and and so I went back to my hotel room and I binge watched it. There's actually more episodes than I remember. And then Lee texted me, he says, one thing I can say, this whoever created this series, I hope he's in therapy. Anybody who's watched L Llamas with Hats is, wow, that was way darker than I ever remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was something else, but... Good for yeah, you. I love my llamas. Watching them, to, you know, dismember people. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else here has watched llamas with cats? No. Nope. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Well, that makes you me feel better. Did you right? watch llamas with hats? Yeah, you I did, right? Me, you made me feel like I was some sort of a weirdo that had never heard of it. Before. Well, yeah, Where I think this whole group of people has. has Where do you watch llamas? Yeah, with I'm hats? such a weirdo. You too. Susan always yeah. thinks that anyone who doesn't do what she does or know what she well, does. Well, because do, it's like just, just know everybody me. knows llamas with hats. Well, you llamas know about Emmanuel the Emo? Yeah, llamas with yeah. hats. That was like while well, I was in college. So, like, everyone, like, all my friends know about it. Okay, well, at least huh. Avi knows. There's one. It was released in 2009. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Have you seen Charlie the Unicorn? Series? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Shun okay. It's like no the non believer. Shun. 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 Yes. No. We're okay. Going to well. Candy Mountain. Do you have a new member today? Yes. You should do an update every week. You know what? What we should watch and. You know, stuff from whenever it's like, oh, I just watch this. anything. You guys don't understand. I am like a hermit. I am typing and you, working. You need to watch Succession, Susan. Oh, geez. No, I've heard everybody talking. You just started it and it's really, really good. Well, everybody really talks about how great it is. And then it's going to end in like two weeks. So it'll be a complete. Oh, good. Finish. They'll all die. Hey, Vincent, I heard you on the Skeptic Zone. You were terrific. You have a very good voice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think you could. I think you should do more more uh, audio. I was You're, disappointed because I thought I was for sure going to hear a dad joke. <laughs> yeah, that was. I'm still waiting. There's something for that about. Joke. Are you recording, Richard? No, I didn't hear that either. No. Oh well. That's going to say he has a face made for podcasts. <laughs> Here comes oh. Leonard. <laughs> Leonard couldn't find the Zoom link. That's he cool. hasn't been here so long. So that's all right. Who's doing rounds tonight, Susan? Um, in what order? I think it's isn't it um, isn't it uh, Vincent all night? <laughs> I don't think so. I thought the rule was the uh, the second time that someone plays, they do all the categories. Oh, that's right, Lee. Lee's, Lee's You're in charge. Do, right? It'll be mastiff, dogs, chicken, yeah, right? Uh, llamas. <laughs> No, no, five games. They have to play five games before I let anybody play uh, a category. That's the rule. I've stuck to Thank it. You. I think Troy Thank got you. it after four, but it's because I miscounted. But that's okay. <laughs> Ron! Oh, my God, Ron! <laughs> you, did, you didn't like what I wrote this morning, huh? That was hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> that, that made my day. So Ron and I both read the same cartoon, and it's one of those cartoons that evolves. It's not like a cartoon that's you know, like peanuts and they never grew up. These are people who grow up and stuff. And it's, wow, I thought of you last night. I said, there's, oh my gosh, that's crazy. What's going what on in the night Are you reading this thing? Because I Well, I'm in California. So, you know, I'm going to stay up so that I can hit midnight in somewhere so that I can watch, so I can read the cartoon. Because I can't miss. As soon as it's loaded, I got to see it. So you guys think that you're into Wordle? No. I got to know <laughs> what's going on with these cartoons. Sally Forth, yes. um, uh, Rex Morgan, oh, that I don't and know. Luann, and for better or for worse. And those Rex, are the ones that okay. change. So I've got to watch. I've got to read Sounds them. like you're in a cult. It's only about 30 years. <laughs> so that'll be right. So so this will be cool. So, you know. Anyway. Excuse me. Excuse I, me. Uh, uh, just I have to interrupt. Ron, you can have the Leafs. That's it. Okay. <laughs> you can have the Hawks. We're in good shape. What in the heck? No idea. We're hockey. talking about hockey. Yes. Oh, whatever. Jamie, how's everything going over there? Drug deal. <laughs> Is beautiful, it beautiful? How's Friday? 
Beautiful day today. Gorgeous sunshine. Air is clean. It's gorgeous here. See, Perfect. as long as Jamie's here, I know that tomorrow is going to be. It's going to be a good. It's going to be good <laughs> because so he's in Thailand, so it's Friday. <laughs> Yeah, it's um eight twenty in the morning tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, let's say Jamie, didn't you have uh, have heavy smokes sometime in the last few months? Yeah, uh, you were telling us that usually the air is bad quality. I was happy for you, Jamie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the but um the yeah in the in the north part of the country, uh, for about five months the air is really bad. But um mm -hmm. here it, it cleared up. We had bad air for about two weeks, and then it yeah. finally it cleared up. It's um. Yeah. It's burning, burning of the forests in Burma is causing it. Yeah. The forests are all getting devastated. Wow. Yeah. Burning of the Rohingya. Yeah, well, yeah, well, we've got a, uh, the smoke here is a little less bad than it was the, the previous. Oh, yeah, season. Calgary's really bad. Yeah, we, really? Somebody should, we're supposed to come up there <laughs> in like a month or two. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Calgary really, or really just rain. Canada? Yeah, we're going up to Banff and Jasper. Oh, it's and a nice so, trip. Yeah, we we lucked out. I, I think somebody had canceled some of their holiday plans for Canada Day because we actually managed to snag like the only campsite available yet. Oh, Canada Day. Uh -huh. You could tell them you know smoky? some Canadians. Hey. How come it's smoky in Canada? What's going on? Adrian oh. might come meet us at the major, park. Major forest, forest fires. fires in northern Alberta. And so uh, when we had winds from the north, uh, the smoke blew uh, into Calgary. Oh, by the way, for oh. all the all the um uh fathers and men on the call, apparently it it is Father's Day in Germany, but it's also called Men's Day because men need a day. <laughs> right. Well, you know they they're so ignored, and you know, yeah. no right. Yeah. I thought they had all the day. portion of anything. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they need to start. Maybe it's their day to do the work around the house. You yeah. know. <laughs> they take on women's responsibilities. Well, last it's Friday was National one. Dog Mom Day. Dog Mom. Mm -hmm. Wait, uh, Avi, you meant to be. I heard Avi's voice. You meant to be yeah. kind. So happy, happy Men's Day. He's not in Germany yes. right now. He's in. He's in um, Illinois. Oh my gosh, you're with your dad. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Surprise! Hi, I would Paul. Like, I would like to Paul? mention. I would like to mention that a friend of mine is joining us tonight for the first time. I don't know if she's oh, there. Yeah, she she was there a few minutes ago. Is this yeah. Celia? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I see her name, but that's she was there a minute ago. Gotten, she was talking so. about a bird she had, and she's yeah. in Pacific Grove. She's got. Have you warned her? She'll be. She'll be. I. I have. I warned her. I have let her know the joy that she's about to experience. Oh my gosh! Poor it's thing. Not nice to lie to your friends. <laughs> but anyway, she'll be coming in and off camera. She's got other things to do, but she'll she'll try us out tonight. Okay, I'll put you in. I'll put her in your room, Karen, so you can lead her along. That, that is the modus operandi of how people who are in a cult get other people to join the cult. Yep, they lie to them. <laughs> they lie to them. That's and true. Then the cult That's love true. bombs them. <laughs> oh, that's how it works. You guys are so good at it. Hey, Paul, where's Lynn? Uh, she's wandering around. She'll be here in a minute. Okay, she's with Celia, wandering around. So, Alan and uh, Avi, are you guys going to be a team today? Well, for, so. as long as, for as long as he lasts. He has to stay awake because he's got to get used to his time zone. Yeah. Um, by the way, um, I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was a really great podcast episode. I don't remember what the name of the, the podcast was, but they were interviewing some guy named um, uh, Leonard Trammell. Oh, was, look at there's Leonard. Like he knows anything. Okay. All right, Celia, well, we're here. We're not going anywhere. Leonard so Trammell. Which what, what, yeah, was that? Interview it was a great about interview. About where? He was talking to him about trivia. Depends which one. I think Leonard's been on a few podcasts. I still didn't hear which yeah, podcast yeah. it was. Hansel Minutes. Uh, it, it was. Uh, it was uh, physics. Physic a go go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Strippers for psychics. Uh, uh, not psychics. Physics strippers. <laughs> That's it. I know it. Go ahead. Well, you got to hang around, Avi, because I'm doing the bonus today. I'm still I will not be lasting that long. Cancel minutes. He's That's okay. Me. You won't want to do this bonus. I can tell you that right now. Oh, yeah. no. oh geez. Thanks for the heads up. Boy. Alan well, I thought will. this was an all this Susan all the night 
game. No, no, so not that. No, it isn't. I changed my mind. Oh, okay. Paul, I fixed the uh, fixed what's on the screen for you. Hi, Jane. Thank it's you. Jane in Oregon. Hi. How are you? At your good. at your mansion there that I think is so beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Beautiful here. Well, How I is it the scenery never changes behind you? There's never. It's beautiful and wonderful here, all the time. Twenty four seven. That's great. Hi, Terry. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Oh, great to see you. you Good too. job. Good job showing up. I'm proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> Representing the Midwest. There you go. Fly over, the flyover country. You and you and Carl. That's right. Hey, so we're, we're also in the Midwest. Yeah, Chicago. Well, but you're not really what I'd call flyover. They're Midwest, country. but they're definitely not flyover territory. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's true. Chicago, I don't think I oh, know Peggy's they're, here. they're where people fly over from. Hi, Peggy. Midwest is good evening. Good evening. Good evening, folks. I can hear Mark talking to somebody in the kitchen. I have no idea who's at my house right now, but it's not Karen. Maybe he's talking to a ghost. No. Working on no, I hear a female. I hear a woman's voice. Are you sure it's not Karen? She's not online right now. She was no because I heard the voice at the same time Karen was. That's not Karen. Maybe he's watching YouTube videos. No, it's somebody in the kitchen. Maybe it's you China? should check. He might be in danger. No, he sounds happy. Oh, I hear the door closing. Thanks for the blow by. It's like a Hitchcock movie. movie. We're going to hear really gunshots then. So if you see somebody come behind me with a nap. Uh, ah, 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 ah. Somebody, Rob Karen will have be, to come run over because she's the closest. It could be a um, four or five raccoons all standing on one another's shoulders. Wearing a, a trench coat and a hat. Reporter, trying to for get those, inside for those of you who don't know, I used to have a raccoon problem. <laughs> like in her kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought much like alcoholism, you never solve the problem. It's always there to be worked on. <laughs> yeah. We have a straight, we have a straight cat yep. that's going around spraying now and it's gotten kind of weird. She she still got raccoons. They just come to an agreement. <laughs> they don't come into the kitchen now. Oh my gosh, you guys are impossible. She still has raccoons. They just came up with a brilliant Mark costume. <laughs> they sound how like a neighbor. You, how is do you that, know? How do you know when a cat is straight, though? All right. Are you funny? All right. Oh ha ha! No, you well, the, straight. Are, are you using the thing with the special collars? Is that working for you? Yeah, it's working just fine. Oh, okay. Believe it or not, here comes Janine. Yeah, it works. Okay. It, it's working, except that I have the batteries. You run through batteries quite a bit more than I would have thought. Okay, Silly is back. And then um, yeah. I'm worried that I'm going to, like the battery is going to go dead when we're out of town or something. And then the cats are either going to be stuck in or going to be stuck out. Mm. Um. Sounds great. Okay, so are you comfortable using Zoom? Have you are you do you know what breakout rooms are and stuff like that? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I don't have to explain this to you. So um Karen, you think Karen? Karen. So you think you gave her enough instructions she knows what's going on, or do you oh, no? I just told her about the de delightful human beings, not about the rules or anything. Okay, who wants to start on just like the basics of the rules that we should have her do while I get the uh bob did i see your hand come up yes i did bob do oh, you think you can tell her just some of the basics of like what okay. to expect okay we you'll 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 be assigned a breakout room and people in the breakout room are your team and one person in that team will be doing a category and they'll be gone for that round susan will be in there so we're going to go six times the first time we're going to come up with I a team name Oh yeah, six. You're right, right. Six. Yeah, we'll go to the breakout room. I'll shut up now. Trust me. Just trust me. <laughs> six times. The first time we're gonna pick a name, get to know each other, you know, new people, whatever. Or, you know, talk a little bit. And then we'll come back, announce the team name. And then the first uh person with the first category will read off their questions, will be muted while she reads the questions so nobody blurts out anything. That could be an answer or help someone come up with an answer. And then we go to the breakout rooms and we discuss as a as a team our best um, answer. This is a lot of fun. Then we come back, we get the answers. Somebody is the official scorekeeper for your team. And then we report our scores. Next person comes up, 
um, this continues on to the end of the game. After round two, right, there's a uh, five minute break, um, which I really look forward to. And, uh, and there will be announcements a game of very, various uh, things that people are um, involved with, podcasts and, and things like that. And, and then we get back to the game. And hmm. on a good night, we get out before midnight my time. So you're not, you're in mountain time, right? Nope, central. Central. Okay, Deborah says she's on her way. Um, I would like to add something. Yes, ma'am. Sure, yeah. Um, sharing of of animals living with uh, with us is encouraged. Uh, we have. <laughs> Uh, you can see Lee uh, getting accosted by a wonderful doggy. Oh, look at it in perhaps, see. Perhaps we'll see a llama. Maybe not. Um, we um, have kitty galore. We have birds. We have origami yeah. birds. We have. So um, I'll we talk to you tomorrow. So do you want to do lunch tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> and sometimes people just randomly talk. Okay. If you, <laughs> okay. if, Bye -bye. Most of you weren't here right at eight o'clock, but I, I had the. Uh, seven uh, chicks hatch out in the oh, there was chicken coop so i got to show oh. you show you them I, well, I got six now but cool and we have so, folks here from the u.s canada australia thailand and someone who lives in germany but is in the states right now she's so good at this isn't she yeah my so son's good. here too from uh korea where is he's he home. he's in the other room sleeping oh well that isn't here <laughs> Right if I get a chemistry question, I'll wake him up. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll have, I'll have lunch with you, no problem. Don't worry. <laughs> now, that's important, uh, Kevin. That's a uh, Kevin magic mocker. Um, yep. uh, so one thing, Celia, if you can see something from where you're sitting, we can utilize it. We just can't pick up a book or something and oh, open it. And if someone food. is in the house, um, somebody called. Lynn, we can hear Brennan you, my Paul. dear. Oh, I'm yes. sorry. And sorry. Then You're not talking to someone, us. Um, if someone is in the room, you can ask their help. Can you call them from another room, folks? If you if they can yeah. hear you, your voice. Yeah. Like Shout you for them. No out. electronic boosting. No intercoms. So, so, but Kevin just brought up an interesting point we've never discussed before. Are you allowed to wake someone up from a slumber to ask them? <laughs> yes. If you can yell <laughs> loud enough to wake them up and call them in where you are. You guys are so funny. I'm not. Or, or doing you can one of those throw things at them and wake them up that way. You can throw you peanuts. Yeah. If, you know, if you got the stones to do it, I, I would say favorite. You guys are you know, I don't like this hearing business <laughs> because my husband can't hear a dang thing, even if I'm talking right to his face. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. You're, you right, can so... tap them, you can tap them, but only three times. <laughs> <laughs> With what? If you say their name three times, it's, it's okay. Hi Jane from California. You can knock three times in the ceiling if you want them. <laughs> Twice on the floor, bump, bump. So, hi, Bill. Hello. Are we going to see you this weekend? And Lodi? Uh, Sunday? Sunday. No, I am working on the train on Sunday. You're impossible. Forget it. How was your class reunion? Fantastic. Uh, it would have been better in Sacramento with us. But okay. Well, I, no, it was hot in Sacramento. It was I managed. It. I managed. It was fine. Hi, Gail. You were in the pool. I was in a pool for like 15, 20 minutes because I don't like do pools long. It's like you get in, you splash, 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 float, float, dog paddle, dog paddle, get out in <laughs> minutes. So that's it. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing with rooms right now. So I'm going to, I have a couple people I got to put in. Four people need to go in the rooms. Hold on a second. Well, you guys go while well, I'll put your other people. Don't put me in room one. That's all. My computer sometimes reboots in. Oh, yeah, you're that's in, true. You're in Berkeley this uh, on Saturday, right? You're in four, Kevin. Yeah, I'm okay, in Berkeley on Saturday. Um, Jane, Bill, okay, let me see. What am I going to do with you guys? Okay. Did you there last time? So let's put Bill over here this time. And Gail and Jane. Okay, I think this might be interesting to put Jane there. <laughs> I like the mixes of the personalities a little bit. It's kind of fun to 
Oh, okay. oh and I love it whenever I see Gail and Rob Palmer go at it. So let's make sure we add them in the same room. <laughs> Troy, come back from cleaning the bird poop off your shirt. <laughs> We're back. Oh, wow. We have got a full crew here today. My gosh, I don't think I've had this many people in months. And two more just joined. Look, Mono's here. Yay, Mono hey, is here. Mono. Hi, Mono. Hey, hey. How's everybody? <laughs> uh, Mono's going to be in room one, whatever you named yourself. So I don't know what that'll be. Ooh, Mono, Mono rules. <laughs> <laughs> and then guess who else is here? Caspian. Yeah, you got to figure out where we're. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Caspian in. When, but, yeah, I gotta count one, two, three. Four, Caspian four, is Susan's son. So yeah. yeah. Two, Notice we're that these oh, guys joined early enough to not have to go to the losing team. What? Who's got the losing team? Nobody. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. That was that was Mono's strategy, right? Okay, so who oh, is the guy? Get so in before he gets put on the. I love how we make these rules. We make rules, and we don't. You know, they're actually like so official. Like you know, somebody's written them down. So the yeah, rule is the Karen is rule too. When okay. Karen gets there late, she gets to pick the name based on the team name. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. we hadn't picked team names. So I couldn't do that yet. So. There, there are no losers, but there are people who come in last. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also saw Ben show up here. Hi, Ben. Where are ben you? He's oh. with us. Hi, Ben. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hi. The well, he, he showed up. Before. I didn't get to say hi to him. Is there oh, okay. the snow or the clouds? I don't know what I'm looking at. What, me? Yeah. That's uh, the He's new Legend heaven. of Zelda. Uh, uh, so you need to put your fingers like this so it look like, you know, uh, you're touching uh, one end. Well, here, you want to see it? Ready? There. Oh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and Carolyn uh, looks like she's expecting a dozen people for a formal dinner it's in a Hobbit house. <laughs> I love Hobbit houses. For Elevenses. For Elevenses. They do okay, tend to. So, they tend to oh. make a mess when it's all over, though. You know. Yeah, a Caspian. You're Caspian. coming to the talk, Carolyn? Are you? No, Carolyn's. I'm going to see her in Lodi. Where? I'm going to be in Berkeley on Saturday, and I'm going to be in Lodi on Sunday. Where's um, that? It's about an hour and a half from Berkeley. Okay. So I will. I'm going from one place to the other. All so right. I've two. So I will see Carolyn, but I'll see her on Sunday. You, I will see on Saturday. So you're going to be stuck in Lodi again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh Lord! <laughs> you know, I mentioned that, that yesterday, that's and you know what? Lodi. Nobody had heard of that song. And I really? like, how could you not? I mean, that's like not going for llama with hats. Is. I've never heard of that song. I've never heard of that song. Oh, oh come oh, on. Yeah, yeah it's Creedence Clearwater. Creedence Clearwater. That would be a good category, songs with place place names. Yeah, somebody could come up with that. Shush, shush, Bob. Maybe <laughs> tonight. There's also a Lodi in Ohio. I. It is impossible to spoil something that you don't know about. It's There's also Lodi in New York. Well, New York. But we we oh, already did it, oh, though. Yeah. We already did it, a song like that. Caspian, are you having trouble did with your internet, it? or is it your computer? Did you guys Popped know that uh, there's a Calgary, Texas? Calgary, Texas? Well, of course. Mm -hmm. There's probably a Calgary everywhere. All right, well, let's get to names, because I want to know what clever and amazing names, because you know... Like I said last week, nothing's happened in the news. I mean, it is the boringest news cycle I think we've ever had. And so nothing is going on, week. right? Yeah, nothing's going on. So I don't know what you, you know, guys are no. up with. No idea. So let's start off with uh, team number one, Alan, and possibly I Ivy. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Avi, I called you Ivy. Yeah. Um, Carolyn, Bob, Kyle, Lee, Adrian will be there if she's on her way. Do is anybody talk to Adrian today? She, she's gonna try and come, yeah. Okay, well she's she's first round, so I hope she will be here. And then and um, Mono will be there. She's got the questions for the first round. Yeah. I, I'll just remind her. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. Could I always get start the second instead? Switch places yeah. with her. So yeah, we could switch. So what is her team name? 
We've got a German for the time being. Okay. Not very political, but all right. That's okay. A little boring, but I get hey, this. Hey. Do we have to say Heil to him? Ooh. No. Godwin's <laughs> law. No. All I'm right. Ben, Bill, Sylvia, Sylvia, Jamie, Karen, and Troy. Who are you guys tonight? Don't mess with the mouse. It will cost you $1 billion. Did you guys see that? I just read that just recently, like in the last hour or so. Yeah, I did too, shortly before joining. Wow. Wow. Uh, Disney announced that they're not moving forward with plans to build an almost $1 billion facility to consolidate their staff, like office staff. Type in Florida, people. because it's Florida. Yeah. Yeah. And like, what was it? How many thousands of people are they were they going to employ? Two thousand. I mean, I mean, they blew it. All right. So, yep. Brandy, Gail, Jane in Oregon, Carl, Saunders, and Rob. Who are you guys today? Not original, but make nineteen eighty four fiction again. Oh, <laughs> that's, oh that's a good one. I like that. Oh, I, I do like that yeah. one very. Yeah, that good. is that is really good. Okay, Janine, Jim, Kevin, Leonard, Terry, Vincent, and Caspian. Who are you? The Mystic Washington Squashers. Mystic Washington Squashers. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. It's all right. We right. added an R to Washington and removed it from, from Squashers. Yeah, it was good. Good job. I don't get it. All right. Good job, Susan. Good job. <laughs> it, it is not relevant to any, any news. It would not make sense. If you were okay. not in the conversation. Mystic Washington <laughs> Sparshers. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. All right. Faith Romero, Jane in California, Lynn and Paul, Peggy and Ron. We are the mouse that roared. <laughs> oh, look at that. You managed to get nice. stuck in a, um, a mouse. Got a word. Mouse emoji. Yeah. Emoji. I wonder if it'll copy. Yeah. Classic movie. Hey, it did. It copied. I can put emojis on here. to a trivia question. Oh, so we got two mouse, two Disney related. Right. It's the only thing happening in the world right now. And then, and then the sequel is the mouse on the moon. Yeah. I never oh, yeah, saw right. the movies, but I did see, but but I did read the books way back when. Yeah. What Disney? No, 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 Sellers. Yeah, Peter William Sellers. Hartnell. Oh, oh, here comes Mike. We're gonna we're gonna play the game. Okay, so shh, shh, nobody say anything. I don't want him to know which team you're on. <laughs> Nobody private message him either. <laughs> Everybody stare at him. <laughs> Am I in time? Yeah. Hi, Mike. Hi. What team do you want to be on? Mike? Oh, any team is fine. No, no. I'm going to read them off and you're going to tell me which one it is you want to be on. Or you can just say pick a number between one and five. That'd be even. Uh, That'd be quicker. But no, I got I got to read the names anyway. So all right, yeah, I, yeah. An listen up. Between one and five, inclusive. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> okay, Mike, listen. All right, team number one. We've got a German for the time being. Team number two. Don't mess with the mouse. It will cost you one billion dollars. Team number three, make, 19, make 1984 fiction again. Team number four, Mystic Washington Squashers. Or team number five, The Mouse That Roared. Uh, well, since I work for The Mouse, uh, the, the second one, team number two. Okay, team number two it is. Yeah. You know, Mike Wolf. And Deborah's on her way, and Paula's going to be here. Mike. About the t Paula might get here about the time that Mono leaves, so that'll so we'll switch yeah. it up with it. Okay, <clears throat> all right. So we are. I said Mono could leave. Hmm? He told me already. He told me he was going to leave, so he, he's kind of got to leave. All right. <laughs> so I've decided. I have made the executive also, decision. Uh, Susan, to... I'm going to be probably only lasting one round because I'm so tired. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> Adrian, Adrian says she'll be there by nine. Nine her time, I imagine. Okay, so I will switch. I will switch her with somebody else. Well, looking at your T-shirt, Avi, it's probably just because you ate too much pie. That must be it. Okay, so Rob is going to handle the 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 little whatever it is, the troll features, the mutator. 
Yeah, so I had made the executive decision to stop calling things the the team's episodes until we get into I'm gonna go with seasons instead. Huh? Yeah. What? So huh? we're gonna be we are in game 162 of season three. So I don't have so I'm not keeping the um what episode number it is because well I guess I could, but we're not in episode Anyway, I want to start the year with a year. I don't want to do 52 games a year and think of it that way because a year has 52 games that might have 60 games because we do some Saturdays and stuff like that. So I think it's just too confusing. So we are still in game three, uh, year three, but we are very close to hitting year four. Like June something is year four. I not believe it. It's only supposed to be like one game. Anyway, <laughs> very excited. So this is our... Uh, game 161 and adrian is not going to be here yet so even though she's going to be in team number one i'm going to flip you guys and we're going to start off with karen great and then it's going to go possibly to carl and then possibly to adrian and then to kevin and then ron will will give us a bonus oh I, another dog lee yeah i've, I've... where is he Oh my gosh! He's not kidding. What, what kind is he? This is a silver poodle puppy. It's eight months old, so she's transitioning oh. to her silver coat. Oh, that's a puppy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. wow. oh, oh my gosh! Looks like a dinosaur, velociraptor. You got there. No. Oh, <laughs> okay, Karen. Okay. So you're going to be first, which is really nice <laughs> to have somebody very so sweet and everything that'll be to the I'm beginning. I'm so nervous. Okay, oh. I look through the list that Susan puts on the Facebook page of all the categories. I even cut and pasted it into another document and searched it yeah. because I thought, surely we've done this category before, but I don't. haven't, but don't call me Shirley. Who's calling me Shirley? <laughs> I don't think we have, Shirley's but not we here. Had, we've had questions about this. So if I say the category and 10 people say, we already did it, I'm going to have to just Too bad. Through. We're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. We never Fair remember, question. Karen. Yeah, yeah. You say, <laughs> I think it's a fine about? category. You can repeat last week's. And we <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And if it's more than five months old, it doesn't matter to me at all. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've, I've repeated the same question three times and nobody's gotten it right yet. <laughs> All righty then. The category is. Oh, whoops, whoops. Uh, I, I, no, Karen, don't. Here comes Debra. Wait, wait. Here lighthouses. Comes Come on, lighthouses. No. For mystery lighthouses. No. Debra's on her way. <laughs> We've never no. done that Punch and Judy thing, right? Okay. Should Last I wait 10. for Susan? She's, I mean, just, for... she's just loading right now. So wait for just a second. Top 10 lighthouses. I saw her. Where'd she go? RogerEber.com. She's gone. Did is she gone? Load. Did not load. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Karen. I thought she was like seconds away. Okay. Right. There, there she is. is. There she is. Tracking the audio. Poor <laughs> Karen. Go. Karen. Go. No, wait. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. No, go. Relax, relax, no, stop. Relax. Stop. Go. Go. What stop. What team stop, is she on? I have to decide. Let me count. I think it's. She's the... on team connecting to audio. Yeah. She's going to be on one. Apparently. Because Adrian's not here yet, and I expect her to be here, and I know that we're going to lose Avi and Mono soon. The suspense is killing me. I know, uh, me too. A lot of people tonight. Is it chickens? <clears throat> She's having trouble with her system there. It yeah, take that long. Not, it's not happening. Okay, shall I go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good, everybody. Get down. Get down. Get down. Category get down. is. Oh, we've done that one before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have not done Watergate before. The category is Watergate. I don't think we've done that. On Why? June on June wait, 7th. Wait, 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 wait. Mutating all. No, it's okay. I trust people. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll be back. My computer's rebooting. Okay. Okay. On June 17th, 1972, police caught five men breaking in. Men on men's day. Of course. Into, into the Democratic National Central Committee headquarters at, at the Watergate complex in Washington, D.C. 50 years ago, yesterday, May 17th, 1973, the U.S. Senate Watergate Committee opened hearings on what was called by some a third-rate burglary, and that escalated, and that escalated into a near constitutional crisis. 
Oh, I wish for those days again. <laughs> <laughs> Good old days. A minor a very entertaining. At least they had intelligent crooks. Yeah. Okay. Number one. The burglars used tape to blank at the DNC offices. A sharp eyed security guard, Frank Wills, saw the tape and called the police. Ooh, ooh, so I know fill, this one. fill in the blank. They used tape. For, for what purpose? What did they do with the tape? Okay, so number two. Oi. Cut. And. So if you're going by what most people face. do, it's one word and it's a hell of a long word. Okay. It's uh, okay. So. Um, I think of that too. Just, I know the answer. Shut up, Rob. We got yeah. it. <laughs> it's it's a phrase. It's a description, and I will be lenient. You're afraid. You're, you're no, no, don't. Just we got it, Karen. It's a oh, perfect wait. question. It's a beautiful oh, question. question. Fine. Isn't it, isn't it a time to mute everybody but Karen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She she mute said everybody. no. She said no. I, no, I just, mute everyone. She said she could handle us. Are you sure, Karen? Have you changing your mind? Oh, we've proven her everybody? wrong, haven't we? <laughs> She's. Voter, yes. vote I'm going to mute everybody. Unmute yourself, yeah. Karen. You have the vote. You have the vote. Yes. Okay. I apologize for believing that you were all <laughs> adults. <laughs> it's the first <laughs> round, Karen. The okay. first Brilliant. round, we just, everybody's so excited. Number two, the famous third rate uh, burglary statement was made by blank, and this would be a role or title of Ron Ziegler at a press conference two days after the break-in. He also warned that, quote, certain elements may try to stretch this beyond what it is. So we're looking for a title or role for Ron Ziegler. In like, that. like Grand Pooba or something. Okay. That's the answer, Susan. Shh, shh, shh. I'm muted. So number three. Number three. The first Washington Post story on the Watergate break-in was filed by veteran police reporter Alfred E. Lewis uh, on June 18, 1972. The second story about it was by blank. That, re that report came on June 19, 1972. Okay. And uh, here we go. Number four. Cut, paste. Uh, um. Okay, um, that's number four, sorry. Number four, the, the Washington Post had a critical role in breaking the scandal, especially with scoops from a source called Deep Throat. But the New York Times and two other choices, you only need to get one of them right, had scoops as well. So that is a series of three newspapers, New York Times and two others. You only have to get one of the other two newspapers to get the answer right. Because there's only one answer for each question, right? We don't allow multiple answers in order to get the score. Yay, Karen. Okay. And then She's number, played this before. number five. Okie dokie, artichoke. Uh, sorry about that. Number four digit is missing. Okay, number five. The future Supreme Court nominee, Robert Bork, acted as Solicitor General and fired Special Prosecutor, Arch uh, Prosecutor Archibald Cox on October 20th, 1973, after Attorney General Elliot L. Richardson quit after refer refusing to fire Cox and Richardson's aide, William uh, Ruck Ruckelhaus, was fired for not firing Richardson. This series of dramatic events is called what? And shit storm is not allowed. No. We don't say the word shit here. We do because it makes Jane Felton laugh. Oh, I that's saw her. Uh, Karen. Yes. Karen, I think uh, Ruckel's house was fired for not firing Cox. Ah, thank you. People were firing people. There was firing galore. Oh, yeah, I didn't understand it at all. Now I follow it. Thank you. Okay. We'll okay. fix it later. All right. So, um, okay. I have the bottom line there. I'm going to cut out that bottom line. Okay. 
but you get the idea of it. There was a lot of firing going on and people refusing to fire and quitting and everything. Yeah, number so crazy. Number six, presidential aide Alexander Butterfield publicly disclosed blank in the televised Watergate hearings in July 1973, but he privately told the investigators the same details a few days before the TV appearance. He pub publicly disclosed a certain fact, fill in the blank with a certain fact, uh, famous in the in this uh, Watergate thing, uh, in the televised Watergate hearings. But he had already told the investigators about whatever this is the night before. I didn't know that. Okay. So number seven. Oi, cut. It's really funny how I almost remembered that we had had this category before. The brain is a funny thing. Okay. okay. Number seven. On July 24th, 1974, on, 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 on a unanimous Supreme Court, um, a unanimous Supreme Court in the blank is the name of the court case, ordered Nixon to surrender the White House tapes. The court rejected Nixon's claim to, and quote, absolute unqualified presidential privilege of immunity from judicial process under all circumstances. We're looking for the name of the case on July 24th, 1974, a Supreme Court case. All righty. Number eight. Number eight. Uh, number eight, the House Judiciary Committee finally drew up how many, fill in the blank, how many impeachment articles on a Saturday night, July 27th, 1974, from a process that started back in February 19, February 1974. Nixon acknowledged in August, on August 5th, 1974 public statement about, quote, a smoking gun tape that he would most likely face a full House impeachment vote vote and a Senate trial. Nixon acknowledged in an August 5th, 1974 public statement about the smoking gun tape that he would most likely face a full House impeachment vote and Senate trial. Okay. I don't know. There's a word missing there, but you know what I mean? Yeah. You're looking for how many impeachment articles, and there is no plus or minus on this, the specific number, how many impeachment articles were there? Okay. Who do, do, you know, I even proofread this and okay so then here we here we do have a, <laughs> here we do have a, a plus or minus and this number nine says the release of the quote smoking gun tape among how many recordings that nixon was forced to surrender by the supreme court ended the drama the tape showed Nixon ordering a cover-up of the break-in right after it happened in 1972. This is plus or minus six. How many recordings were there? Actually, it couldn't have showed anything because they were just audio, right? Okay, indicated. A better, better word is indicated. And we thank Rob for his specificity. And we are and we are and we love him and we're also annoyed by him. All of that is true. <laughs> All of that true. All of the above. <laughs> Wait, he didn't give it the big sigh. But he's correct. This is what we have to Racism say. Racism at its finest. He is correct. And last one, number 10. Justice Department memos show officials struggling with Article 1, Section 3, Clause 7 of the Constitution. The clause says that a person removed from office by impeachment and conviction, quote, shall nevertheless be liable to indictment, trial, judgment, and punishment according to the law. But there was no mention in the Constitution about a president who had resigned from office. What action a month later ended the need to debate the matter at that time? Okay, any questions? I don't remember. We, maybe we've had like a question or two about Watergate. Like, I think we've had yeah. something on like a, the decade of the 70s or something. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think we've ever, no, I, I don't remember yeah. ever seeing yeah. it. There was no category. Good okay. job, Karen. Go to your rooms. Have my, fun, kiddos. Play my nice. Question is, my question is, couldn't you have waited till the HBO series, The White House Plumber, is finished before doing this round? <laughs> no. He doesn't want to know how it, ha how it ends. No. 
Okay, I'm going to send the people to the rooms that I have not yet put in rooms. So, Cassie, I'll be there. hopping in and out. Yes, ma'am. Deborah, you're going to be in one. Kevin, you are in four. Four. Mono, you are. Mike, in... it's Celia's first time. It's it, playing the Mike. game. She's your teammate, Mike. Three, four. Where is Mike? Two. Okay, got it. Good job, Karen. Let's go. Let's let's do this. Woohoo! We can do it. Yeah, that's what that's what. Do you want? I I copied, I copied down the questions. Do you want me to share the screen? Yeah, be great. Sure. Yeah. Was was uh, Ziegler the uh, press secretary? One second, Susan. Are you supposed yeah. to be on Karen's team? No. Oh yes. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. Ah, oh, my goodness. Wait, wait. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. I got. Yeah. Let me get out of here. I'm supposed to be in two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is Karen's team, right? Yes, yeah. it is. Okay. You're correct. I went to the wrong team. Okay, so I'm in the right team now. Obvi right, wrong question not three. Sleepy. Well, shouldn't this be team one then? No, yeah, it's gonna we, be too we had to change the order. But... Okay, number question one. You guys, yeah, tape locks. Yeah, we got that one. I thought they just taped the door open. No, That's they taped right. the lock. Tape yeah, it's lock. easier to tape the lock because that way it won't engage and you can just let the door yeah. close and reopen it. You mean the okay. lock or did you mean the, the tongue of the... They put it over. They put no, it over a little. Whatever. It, it's basically yeah. The, the probably yeah. The tongue would be more appropriate, but yeah. But you know it, that's taping the locks that answers answers the question, I believe. Yeah, most people would refer to it as that, but yeah, yeah. it's easy enough to say. Okay, number three. Yes. I read it as Alfred E. Alfred e. Newman when I read it the first time. I know. Uh, I still wanted to say something, but I was being nice and not wanting to interrupt, Karen. Oh, yeah. We've got a new person on the team. We have to pretend we're really, really nice people. Yes. Very nice. So what, what's, our, what's our guest for number three? Bill, you said it could be one. The or... and or Bernstein. Do you think they were? Yeah, the New York Times. That they, be... Because it was a third rate burglary and they were the rookies. So oh, right. it makes it yep. sound like it's the we have to come up with one of them, not both. The second story about it was by who had it first? They weren't together. Weren't they, weren't they a team though? They well, one oh, had oh, it, God. and then the other one. You remember the movie? Uh, All the President's Men. Yeah. Uh, I, no, I don't. I was just thinking of the movie, the Robert Redford and uh, Dustin. Yeah. Robert Redford. Re Robert Redford was given the job, and Bernstein. Uh, uh, Moved in on it. Okay, so who was Rock Redford? Redford playing? Uh, that, that was uh, he was Woodward. Yeah. Okay, so Woodward got it first. Yeah. Yeah, I would. That was should be there. So we're gonna say Woodward. Okay. Yeah, because I don't think it's oh. both. And then, and then who interviewed Deep Throat. What? Number four. Well, Woodward was the one who did Deep Throat too. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So for number four, I, uh, she was talking about scoops, and all I could think of was what what flavor ice cream we're getting <laughs> scoops of. But that's just me. <laughs> then you and I are on just some different. <laughs> there you go. Planet somewhere. Yeah, um, exactly. Was the L.A. Times, wasn't it? Wasn't it what, Woodworth? Woodward also. Suspicion. No, they're just asking for here. New... Yeah, we're looking for news sources. Looking for a I newspaper. <laughs> I thought it was the L.A. Times and. Uh, Chicago Tribune. Oh, okay. LA know. Times, not New York Times. Okay. Well, LA, New York Times is already there. Oh, it is. Okay, right. Yep. Thank you. Sorry. I'm fine with So, I'm fine and with she LA said Times. we just needed one of the two, correct? correct. One of the not two. Both. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, LA, we're going to go with LA Times. Is that the one we're more sure, sure on, or you like the Chicago Tribune better, Bill? Or uh, anyone else? I, I, LA Times. How about, how about the Boston Globe? Yeah, I thought the Boston Globe. I don't know, and I don't. I don't mind. I don't know either. So I'm. I'm for whatever the consensus. What what we think the team. The L.A. Times is what came to mind first to me, but then I'm a West Coaster. Yeah, I. 
Any other votes for Boston Globe? Or we have two for Boston Globe, one I mean, for I think LA because Times. Washington is on the East Coast, and East Coast would be the more. first. Oh, but the LA Times was in on things. They had some really good uh, investigative reporters on on the East Coast. Could be. Maybe. I mean, LA Times has had some really great reporting yeah. in the past, yeah. Number yeah. number five, by the way, is the Saturday Night Massacre. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Massacre, yes. Massacre. Yeah, remember that. <laughs> Massacre, we like it. Number Massacre. six is There Were Tapes. You know, I didn't know that they had already told the investigators this. That's it? There were tapes? I didn't, yeah, there's that's tapes. Good, yeah. That was the, yeah. I mean, that's that's all that. Lordy, I hope they're so, tapes. Uh, yeah, but that. Uh, Oval that's office. not the correct oh, answer, but from yeah. The, from the Oval Office, you know. Boy, I wish the Supreme Court had the teeth today. Yeah, say, yeah, for reals. Yeah, to actually order the president to surrender something, I mean. So do we think there were tapes is enough, or do we have to be like specific if there were tapes taken in the Oval Office, or we just think that there were tapes? There were tapes. Descriptive, okay. Everybody knows what that means. Okay, so do we know what the court case is, anyone? I have no idea. Uh, U.S. versus, what was it called? Versus the President of the United States. Was it that? United States versus the President of the United States? Yeah. you would use their Could name, be. wouldn't it be? No, no, it was a, uh, because look at the look at the uh, you know, his his claim was that it was presidential uh, privilege. Mm. So U.S. The United versus States versus the president. The president of the United States. Yeah. Okay. POTUS. Yeah. POTUS. Yes. Potato. Um, oh. Okay, the number is three. Three. Number eight. Number three. Are you confident with that number? Positive of that number. All right. No, okay. you, no, you positive. I'm just curious about your thought process. I because there, there were three things that he was uh, accused of. One was. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> Mom, Bill. It was the number three. It, it was definitely three. If not, we're all going to be. Moving. You can shoot. You can shoot me on the morning. On the morning. We wouldn't shoot you. We, <laughs> just, we would just embarrass okay. you. So, how many recordings were there? It's a plus a or lot, minus six. There? But... A lot, a lot, a lot. I mean, a lot. Um, yeah. I've been burned before. Typically, I look at the plus or minus, and that will help clue you in on a range. But... Plus or minus six is quite a generous plus or minus. So yes. that makes it sound like it's around 20s, in the 20s, right? I, yeah, my guess was 30-something. I just don't yeah. know where 30, or that may be too yeah. many. Bill's counting them right now. <laughs> I, would, I would feel fine with 30 plus or minus, because that could go down to 24. Or up to thirty-six. Yeah, I would go. I would go a little less than that. Twenty-five plus or minus six. How about twenty-eight? Just, I'm just. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's a twenty-seven. If it was twenty-five, we are twenty-six or minus five. Or why six? Why I, I would agree. It's probably a little bit more. Oh, I'm torn because it's, I mean, he could have made quite a few, but. What do we like? Do we want 25? Do we want higher than Well, it's 25? asking how many recordings he was forced to surrender, not how many recordings there were. Well, I don't know, 20 then, I don't know. Seems well, like, you know, it's odd. Why well, would you, why see. would they really say. Comes- you you only have to release a certain number of them because it kind of makes it sound like he could have just released, you know, he could pick and choose then. It's all well, up. yeah, but there were probably tapes that were unrelated to the night of the break-in, so those were not surrendered, but I don't know. 
Okay, let's say 27. Uh, too much, too little? No, somebody said, you know, they're the ones that were not asked, that, that were not demanded. I bring that that makes me think that there were more than more than we're th talking about by a large number. Well, and that's where if if uh, Karen visits, we can ask for clarification on the on the question because the way it's worded, it could mean just how many were surrendered versus you know making sure that she doesn't mean how many tapes were there total versus how many were just surrendered. That's right the... there. How many recordings was Nixon forced to surrender by the Supreme Court? Right. So something he was not willing to disclose and they forced him. Okay. Right. It just, this is before they actually know what's on the tapes. So they're going to ask for all of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thought. How and do they know be, what's on the tape until they hear them? Be, that would be closer to forty than to, to uh, than to twenty. Can we just write in all? Yes, all. <laughs> that that is our answer. All works. Yeah. So well, I, my my initial guess was going to be around thirty-five, but that's just me. Karen, I don't know we have a question for you. Uh, okay, somebody ask her. Who wants to ask? Okay, uh, we're working on question number nine. Are we talking about the number of tapes requested? or the number that were uh, actually re required to be surrendered? Hmm. Hello? Okay, so on me, Karen. Hold on. I am going to refer you to reading the question again, <laughs> and, and you will find the answer. OK. Well, Troy that, was right. OK, <laughs> Troy was right. OK, so they're going to be asking for all of them, not just a small. Uh, because they don't know what's on them. So I'm going to say it's something close to 40. Here Adrian. Okay. Do we want to guess 40 so we have a plus or minus around that number? Or do we want to say 35 so it'll cover us up to 40 and then less if it's less than we think it is? I think with 40 plus or minus. So it could be as many as 46. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't care. 40 is fine. That's fine. Fine. My my guess would be higher than because of the plus or minus. So I like forty better than the twenty something that we were talking about. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, he was pardoned. Yeah, yes. that's what's going to be. That pardoned. was my first thing that popped in my head. Was he was it was all moot because he was pardoned. Right. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I misread the question. Yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, they, what did they add to? the article and I was thinking they were going to say something like no, uh, no that no. a president could be no yeah, okay Ford made the biggest political yeah. error of of his life by pardoning yep. yeah that's why he wasn't reelected and it led yeah. to where we are right now yeah because he was yeah. not he did not suffer the consequences right. which is led yeah. to uh, which years later led to, we're which led to W and 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 yeah. Trump yeah had they had he been held accountable then uh, later presidents might have been a little less likely to do something underhanded yeah right you should have gone they knew they were going to get the book thrown at him mm -hmm. absolutely well great job you guys that was fun to be in your in your room too for the for you all and yeah and nice that was, to a, meet you, that so was a fun uh category Karen. yeah it was I fun it. nice to meet you sylvia I, I won't be seeing you again for a while I'm going to go hop to the next room um, in the next game. So, it's, so I only get to go in the room that has the whoever's reading the question. So I'm replacing Karen. And so the recording is only in the room I'm in. So we record everything except for, and it goes up on our YouTube channel, but this is the last time that this room will be recorded is what I'm saying. <laughs> so thank you guys very much. Yeah. Welcome back. Good job, Karen. That was a fun category. I I had to really think about that. I'm a big fan of Rachel Maddow, and she talks a lot about this. So mm -hmm. I've never seen All the President's Men. It's a great movie. Hey, your flowers are still lovely. 
Would you believe those flowers are still there? I got to point out to Caspian. Welcome back. The flowers your son gave you are still beautiful there. The yellow Look at Caspian. They're still there. He gave them to me in April 23rd, I think. And they're still there. You see, the secret is those are actually fake. No, no, they're not fake. No, if I sneeze in the direction of them, I think they will lose all their little things. But, um, oh, I love Mark's the way they look. The, flowers there. There. the yellow the is so pretty. All the time, and, and then she doesn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah. You can't yeah. see them really close up, and you would see they're not in the greatest shape. I think I'm going to have to retire them tomorrow. Karen, <laughs> Karen, I just want to show them of the word show is um is to prove or demonstrate mm. uh -huh. so yeah it's not just visual you did it correctly it was a correct okay. usage of the word oh rob thank did you hear that thank you very much and i would like to draw attention to um alan steiner's child's head where is he oh gesture yeah. just yeah. Oh, I don't see him. We gotta find him. Oh. him. Oh, my oh, God. <laughs> he's, he's wearing he's a pillow. pillow. He's a mushroom. I, yeah, I think he's like a <laughs> Mario looks character. Looks like Kiki's bed. That's yeah. quite the afro. It looks like cotton hair. Oh, it's really one of those nice. puppy toys. <laughs> Very nice. One of those puppy pillow toy things. It's a beanbag head. Bean, bean bag helmet. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, no, wait. It's the like, ears are crooked. It's yeah. a yeah, kind of oh. He's a Very seat. Nice. It's like Trump's penis. This is what happened. It looks like one of the birds from Angry Birds, one of the pages of the birds. have a terrible disease. This is what you get whenever you come back from Germany. Okay, yeah. so we are going to give the answers now. And um, hello, Adrian. And number one, let me see. Let me see if this works. Number one, what uh, what did they use the tape for? Uh, I think a lot of people got this right. They used it to hold open the latches on the doors, right? And the yeah. security guard on his rounds was, you know, yeah. he noticed that. He probably used blue tape or some stupid. I thought it was that. <laughs> okay. Masking I tape. Don't they had blue tape back then. But... Uh, it, I don't know if it was blue tape. That's Susan. It was, it was, Susan it was surmising. Probably, no, probably it wasn't. Gray duct tape. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't the color of the tape that drew his attention. It's just if you touch the door, you know, the point was it didn't latch, right? And he noticed that. Right. So he was doing his job. He was checking the doors and he found that out. So yay yeah. to the working people. Yeah, was it, was it, was it yes, Lotto. He keep the lock from engaging. Is that acceptable? Yeah. Yes, that is acceptable. So yes. is it just a point of interest. Was it actually, did they do this to more than one door? Because then that's kind of stupid. It would be easier for people to notice it. I'm I'm unsure. I, they had a path yeah. of entry, so it's possible that they're you know they plan to go through certain doors. But they did a lot of things that were stupid. Doing the yeah. whole thing was stupid. Okay, <laughs> who was Ron Ziegler? He was the press secretary. At Yay! The press mm -hmm. And everybody, look at Ron's cat that is just perched behind him, adorable. And Carl's kitty is up in his lap now, adorbs. Okay. Okay, now for number three, you know, uh, Washington, uh, Alfred E. Lewis first bro broke the story. A lot of people think uh, that the credit goes elsewhere. But in fact, uh, the number two story a couple days later was Carl Bernstein and Bob Woodward. If you get it, either of those, it's correct. Yay. Right. Well, we, we mentioned right. both names, but only wrote down one. Yeah, so that's awesome. Right. Thanks, Karen. Because it is true that Bernstein wrote it, and it is true that, that Woodward wrote it, right? Okay. So, um, okay. So then this really, I, I, I included things that, you know, yet most people might know. Well, number four, what are you going to do with, um, with the, um, you know, the newspapers? So you may think about, you know, what were some of the larger newspapers at the time, but this was one of the harder ones. If you said the LA Times or Newsday, Newsday. Huh. Oh my God, I'm so glad we put it all in times. Yes, thank you, Bill. Right. 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 Okay. So that was one of the harder ones. I put in two that I thought were kind of hard. And then, um, I mean, I I didn't pick them. I 
had many, you'll see what the, the, um, the source was, but there were many sources for different trivia. And I just took the whole trivia from a certain page. And that was one of the reasons why. You okay. didn't make these questions up? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I started to, and then I realized, well, wait a minute. There's got to, this, surely there, there's something out there. Uh, and then I remembered my name's not Shirley, but <laughs> <laughs> so number five, you all knew this, that mess was called the Saturday night massacre. massacre right. yeah. Oh, so does the original question have Richardson in, in, the, in the wrong place there? Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. And that's my fault for not double checking it. Oh. Okay. So then uh, what, what was revealed the night before and the, I mean, earlier to uh, folks and then publicly well, you know, we should all know what this is. The secret taping system there. Okay, very right. good. Secret. Existence of tape is good enough? Or, or... Say it again. Existence of the tapes is good enough? Or... I would say yes. No. Okay, awesome. Because it's one thing to have a uh, taping system and another thing to have tapes because <laughs> there could be a system with no tapes. They never hooked it up. Sorry, there's no tapes. There is a taping system, but we didn't turn it on. So they didn't okay. have the right extension cord. They had they had uh VHS and beta, but Betamax tapes, so it wouldn't fit. They forgot to turn it off and turn it back on again. <laughs> okay. So what was the court case called? Now this was a tricky one. United States versus oh, Nixon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nixon. Oh, you blew it. Yeah, we said yeah. Pontus. We got it. We Nixon. were so sure that would be wrong. Yes. That was actually Nixon. it. That was, that was actually it. it. By name. Okay. Wow. Uh, I thought we, we almost had, we went back and forth very on that time. We had POTUS instead. Yeah, no, we said I, POTUS. We thought it was, thought I thought it was thought California versus Nixon. Celia, we, we will not be surprised to know this, that sometimes this group overthinks the answer. <laughs> well, Never. We, we had no. the, we had the people versus Nixon. No. Yeah, okay. I wrote down us versus Nixon, so we're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> us, yeah, us. You didn't put the little dots on the U and the S. So uh -huh. should people versus Nixon out or wrong? It is wrong. Okay. Okay. So um so well, unless I think so. How do the attorneys do? Stick your guns, Karen. Until no, somebody, stick to the guns, Karen. Until somebody screams at me and cites another website, I'm gonna say it's wrong. What, what, is, what are you declaring is wrong? Lawyer, they don't write the people in them. It is they, 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 U.S. Not, versus Nixon. They would not put the title. States, they always put a name, as in United the one that States, just recently happened: the United States versus Donald J. Trump. United States versus Nixon. Okay, how many articles of impeachment were there? Now, people can get mixed up with, you know, how many wrong things he did, but it's it's how do they categorize them? What were the what were the articles? There were three. Yes. And they were Yay, um, Bill. They, Thank you. They, they, um, this is a summary. I'm summarizing. This is my summary. Obstruction of justice, violation of his constitutional oath and the rights of citizens, and abuse of power. I added those summaries. Well, but I could just I, use those three against Trump for the capital. You can read the um you can read the articles, but but that, that's wow. my wording to encapsulate okay. the three articles of impeachment. Very good. Okay. I like it. And but they were in fact you know, just three. Okay, so here we go. People were like, you know, reading it, rereading it. How many tapes did he surrender, right? How many recordings was he forced to surrender? Because you all were right. There were tons and tons and tons. I mean, I, I, that's a euphemism. This is a euphemism, um, Rob. I'm I am okay aware that the tapes do not wear t weigh tons. <laughs> tons and tons and tons and tons of tapes. <laughs> and <that's laughs> one. The number that he was forced to surrender was, a lot of you got this wrong. This is one of the difficult ones. 64. So wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, even even higher. So you got to be a real oh, Watergate oh, nerd to get that one. Karen, Karen, that, explain that to me. So if they didn't know what was on the tapes. Because they have white, uh, okay, this is just me, amateur, whatever. They have records of who was in where and and, and the comings and goings mm. and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. So they right. could, you know, surmise. They could, they could guess that they're going to get juicy stuff here and there. He met Ooh. with people. He was Ooh. alone. Stuff like so that. So only the tapes that were of interest to that were probably of interest to the investigation. <laughs> they asked for. 
So Where Karen, the second question, did they say we want these tapes and had like some dates or something on it? Or did they just say we want 64? Because if so, no, no, he could have just not, included no, no. booping noises it, on some of the tapes and that no, would have been taken. No, the, look at the documentation that we was talking to. It wasn't to give us 50% of the tapes. No, it was no. specific. Okay, so he said, I want this one on this day when Kissinger was there or whatever. Yeah. Okay, and- so, Ka so Karen, we said 26. Can we claim we were dyslexic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can claim it, but, but you don't no get the point. I will have compassion for you, you but, it, but no it won't mercy. Count. <laughs> okay, so the other one is, okay, That's come on, so everybody got you. this. Ford pardon Nixon. So Ooh, we never answered that question. And now and we have Trump. And so, and so I wanted to let you, I wanted to do this. I wanted to quote one, put one more little thing here. Do, 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 do. Oh, she said, do, 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 do. Oh, do, 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 do. that's almost shit. All right. Do, do. Sounds like a crappy category to me. <laughs> okay. So, so here's, here's the deal. So just over two years after the Watergate break in August 9th, 1974, President Nixon officially resigned his office a day after his national speech announcing his intention. In that speech, he said, quote, I might have the I might not have the support of the Congress that I would consider necessary to dot 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 to carry out the duties of this office in the way the interests of the nation would require. End quote. He did not mention the impending impeachment proceeding in the House of Representatives. And there's a <laughs> link if you want to go to the constitutioncenter.org and look for those 10 facts. And also at the Constitution Center, it's a nonprofit, they have constitutional classes. So um, there you go. The end. I was, I, was in, I was in a bar in Idaho, a rural bar in Idaho, watching Nixon's resignation speech. And people were so mad. They were like throwing beer cans at the <laughs> bee and like he shouldn't resign. And yeah. <laughs> That's every day uh, event in Idaho. Rural I Idaho. was, uh, no, 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 I was up in Canada, of course, uh, at the Junior Forest Ranger camp. And. <laughs> uh, and and, and 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 the news came over the radio and the, and pretty much everybody cheered. <laughs> oh, I, I was in France. Could you see your underpants? <laughs> All right, scores. All right, so don't mess with a mouse. It will cost you one billion dollars, which is Karen's team. Uh, we got eight. Not bad. Yes. All right, make eight, 1984 fiction again. Nine. Okay. We've got a German for the time being. Seven. The Mouse Award. Seven. Mystic Washington Squashers. Nine. Ooh. Wow, you got an average of eight on that one, Karen. That's that's amazing. Okay. We some people know in a group this large, somebody knows something about Watergate. That who would ever figure? Okay, so we're gonna go to Adrian. Adrian, are you all ready? One sec. Sure. I have to get going, otherwise I am going to fall asleep. Oh well that's okay. You can sleep need... in your dad's Good lap. Good night. Good night. Good night. Alan, Good night. Good night. Good night. Get out the okay. taser. Shock. He's here. He's here next week. You're still here next week. Yeah, I'll still be here here next week better be awake you better not make plans on thursday on I don't. wikipedia <laughs> says on april 11th 1974 the u.s house committee on the judiciary subpoenaed the tapes for 42 not conversations so the source i was using was the constitution page and if you um if you would like that point i will give that to you but my source was the constitution well so uh, it, it could be two separate things right you yeah. don't necessarily so, have a conversation yes. limited to one tape right. well of course the answer has to be 42 yeah i i, I, I <laughs> said 42 so, as a joke so and i would have been right in the spirit of spirit no no don't give it to him 
Don't give it to <laughs> the spirit of spiritedness. If you believe you want that point, you take that point. Wait a However, minute. Are we going to make source, a new rule? If you believe that you get a point, using, you get a point? I'm going to use that a lot. Four. We're going to uh, use our dyslexia excuse. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, I, okay, trust I really you like our number. To be fair and honest. No. Yes. Karen's Karen's just throwing down the gauntlet. You're in trouble now. What we win, Karen? Your sources. Yeah, what are you going to win? Good as my, win yeah, anyway. good, better than mine. So uh, you get your money back. All right, so we're moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Adrian's turn. Thank you, Karen. That was lovely. I love that hit era of history. It's interesting. Oh, look, there's a picture of Karen, I mean, Adrian and Richard holding. But, the, the funny thing is, I actually watched a, a miniseries about this oh, there is. <laughs> last year or whatever. And, and you know, considering what happened on January 6th in the lead up to it, this was that was like a tempest in a teapot. I mean, it was like nothing compared to what. Oh, happened. I know. And, yeah. yet, and Adrian is, really is up yet. now. It's Adrian's turn. <sighs> <laughs> There's the sound I wanted to hear. I'm going to make a recording of all of, of Rob's sighs. We're going to have just a continuous tape of Rob's sighs. A mashup of the sigh. Oh, Super Super size matters. Yes. Sigh, then giggle. Sigh, then giggle. <laughs> Go ahead, Adrian. All right. So sorry about uh, not showing up. I had a meeting that I was in for the We Could Reason conference, and I almost forgot that I had a category because I did the questions last week and then just kind of let it I'm just totally head. insulted you could forget us. That, that's that's why I was said, to the last doing minute. a category I was like oh. that's why I always wait, wait to the last minute that way I don't exactly <laughs> well usually that's what I do Bob and I was out of character and therefore here I am but yeah we got them so I did this my category is going to be sort of in celebration a little bit of our Re week and reason conference so those of you that went might have a little advantage so if you have somebody from that on your team it might be helpful they're not all the same but they're similar and it's cryptids i'm doing Ooh, okay cryptids i like cryptids okay. i like cryptids too they're fun muting in three two one may i may i may i move to mono's team You're muted, Adrian. Yes, I am. Thanks. I just had to turn it off. So my first question, uh, let's see. Oh, why did that not work? Hang on. So Wait. Susan, by the way, just a technical question. Um, you put the scores in round that we just had in round one. Oh, yeah, you're it? probably right. I should put them in the you other. fix that. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Okay, perfect. So question number one. Is there are two NHL hockey teams that are named after mythical creatures that are cryptids? Name one of them. Wow. Got to do a sports one because I know you all love it so much. A what? A crypt what? <laughs> oh, if, in case you don't know what cryptid is, it's like Bigfoot, you know, like a fake cryptozoology. Monsters. Cryptozoology, so fake monsters. Well, I've never, I've never heard the term before. Ah, oh, fair enough. I should have I explained that. Know that. I apologize. I thought it was one of those things where it's a sentence, it's all mixed up, and you have to make it uh, say something else. No, 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 much simpler. So, like, lot, you know, lot Ness monster, Nessie. <laughs> that sound, that sound of Rob snorting through his nose, it's going in with a computation <laughs> tape. You're talking about mythological creatures. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Folklore. For, so creatures, fake, fake folklore, creatures. They're not real. I, I thought Very, it was anim animals carrying are. cryptocurrency. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, that, that's what happens when real. I rush in. I don't do the full definition. I should have done that. Uh, so is everyone clear what, what it is? Or we're talking about uh, supposed monsters that some people believe. Like, like unicorns and dragons? Unicorns and dragons. But most people don't believe in those. But some people do believe in Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster. So the, the, fake, fake. fake monsters. Yeah. All right. So okay. first, <laughs> what was that, Celia? Boogeyman. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this cryptid is a humanoid creature reportedly seen in West Virginia in the point point that should be capitalized point pleasant area from November 15th, 1966 to December 15th, 1967. The witnesses told police that they have seen a large white creature whose eyes quote glowed red quote end quote standing at the side of the road. What is the name of this creature? And for Canadians, this one will be an easy one. 
this mythical creature is my favorite lake monster because I would look for it every summer while on my grandfather's boat in Lake Okanagan in British Columbia. What is the name of this lake monster? I see. And the next one. Oh, did it go in? Oh, yeah. So another Canadian lake monster. So according to Canadian folklore, there is another lake monster that resides in Lake Simcoe in Ontario. It is known by many names. And which of the following is not the name of the lake monster? And I have no idea how to say some of these, so I'm going to oh. do my best. So take the one that is not the name. So three of them are correct and one is wrong. Pick the one that is not the name. So it's A is Kemp Kempenfelt Kelly. B is Ego Pogo, C is Larry Osoro, and D is the Beaverton Bessie. Number five, according to Wikipedia, the chupacabra or goat sucker is a legendary creature from parts of the Americas with its first sightings in Puerto Rico in 1995. The first reported attacks attributed to Chupacabra were when eight sheep were killed, each with a puncture wound to their chest and the bodies were, were reportedly drained of blood. It is believed that sightings of the Chupacabra resulted from the release of a science fiction horror film. What was the name of the film? Too bad Ben Radford's not playing. Yeah, if Ben was here, he'd know. He'll be proud of us. <laughs> I think he he's the first person who got ever, 100%. He's the first person who ever sussed that one out. That's right. Yeah. He wrote a whole book about it. Yeah. Number six. This supposed missing link was displayed in a block of ice at shopping malls, fairs, and carnivals from the 1960s to the early 1970s. It was sold on eBay in 2013 to an Austin, Texas man who put it on display. What is the name given to this hoax? Number seven. This cryptid was invented by Japanese internet users and has been part of Japanese folklore beginning around 2002. The legend surrounding this creature claims that the members of a whale research ship witnessed the creature as it surfaced near their ship off the Antarctic coast. Originally thinking it was a submarine, the crew went to take a closer look, but the submarine vanished into the waves. What is the name of this creature? And there's Ninjin, Kappa, Isonade, and Issy. And I probably said those wrong too. Number eight. In the 1930s, Douglas Herrick and his brother popular popularized this North American mythical animal by grafting deer antlers onto a jackrabbit carcass and selling the combination to a local hotel in Douglas, Wyoming. These creatures are still made and sold by taxidermists today. What is the name of this creature? And people who listen to Squaring the Strange should be able to get quite a few of these. Huh. <laughs> I'm going blank on pressure's on Susan <laughs> I know that's all right I'm always on teams everybody knows everything oh, there you go it's like a blackie in there and one of my favorite questions just because what is a drop bear nice and simple those are real they are real yeah absolutely I, I've got a shirt that has one on it me too oh yeah I know they're real <laughs> This creature is alleged to hang out in Florida forests and swamps. It is often re referred to as the Florida Bigfoot, but has a smaller stature than the Canadian Bigfoot. The name of this creature is a Yaren B. Yowie, C. Honey Island Swamp Monster, or D. Skunk Ape. There's your 10 questions. Wow. So this is part of your trivia from um, weekend? Some of it was, yeah. Some of it was. I changed it up a uh, well. 
you'll see. Okay, you made it harder for us. Yeah, okay. I did make it harder. I took away some of the multiple choices and I changed up some of the questions and put in some new ones. So I didn't want it to be a hundred percent. So yeah, good. Yeah. Good job. Any Is questions before we go? Nope. Okay. Go to your room. Okay, now I'm in the right room. Now you're in the right room, yes. Oh, good. <laughs> How are you guys going to want to do this? Okay. It's a big team. Are all the teams this big? Yeah. Wow. I know. So I'm, 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 I'm not complaining. From everybody? <laughs> oh, um, by the way, uh, here, try the Kraken. Hmm? Oh, uh, the Kraken? Yeah. That makes sense. I was going to say the New Jersey Devils, but either one, okay. Well, wait, New Jersey Devils are good too, or no? It couldn't be the New Jersey, um, because that would be two hockey teams in the same town. They could be the Devils. Oh, I know it's the Kraken. So okay, all right, okay. Kraken. Kraken, yeah, put that. At least the Kraken. Um, number two is Mothman. Yep. Yep. And then three is it? It's Champy or it's Ogopogo? I think it's Champy. I thought it was Ogopogo. Oh. Champy's in Lake Ogopogo. Champlain. Okay, Ogopogo yeah. then. Well, I summered for my first thirteen years on Lake Simcoe. I never heard of that. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe they hadn't invented it yet. Yeah, maybe not. Back in the old <laughs> day. Back in the old day. Back in the day. <laughs> Well, that's when everything was black and white. So yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Four. I don't know four. <clears throat> Me four. either. I don't either. I don't either. I'm, I was guessing C because it sounds sort of like a dinosaur name. Well, I go pogo <laughs> is too similar to Ogo Pogo. So I was thinking maybe that is the wrong one because it's I don't know. Yeah. I go pogo or yeah. I don't know. Then again, maybe it makes sense because there's Ogo Pogo and I go pogo. Now I know there's a Kemenfeld Bay out there, and okay, I know so. there's a Beaver. I know there's a Beaverton's a town out there, yeah, but, okay. I, but I've never heard these names before. Well, they make more sense if if they're. So how about Las Laras Solano? That's good. Yeah, that's that's our that sounds like a dinosaur. Yeah, it does, huh? Well, do you think I go Pogo if there's an Ogo Pogo nearby? Like that kind of makes sense where people would say. Yeah, if it were Tolkien, they'd be brothers. Yeah, I was gonna say they gotta be related, right? It, uh, yeah. Can anyone remind me what the answer to three was? I forgot to write it down. Ogo Pogo. O G O P O G O. All right, thank you. Yeah. Can't believe I spelled it. Okay, yeah. if if I had to guess, I would say C on number four. But I'm not in charge. This is not my team all the time. Well, if team. there's a if there's a Kempen felt. Bay and the Beaverton Town, hmm. and then possibly B is just to be like the brother or cousin of Ogo. Or the other one, and I've never heard of. Well, I've never heard of any of these. So, yeah, right. <laughs> but Kim and Bill Kelly and Beaverton Bessie makes sense. Yeah, they. If those are places. Because I, I yeah. missed I missed that class uh, at school. <laughs> so. You flunked Lake Monster. You didn't take that class. I have a kitty. Yes. You how, how about A then? The like Kempenfeld Kelly. I don't know. It sounds like a weird name for a lake monster. Well, it's, if there's a Kempenfeld. If there's a Kempenfeld. He said there's a bay called Kempenfeld. Yeah, I know. Yeah, for sure there's a Kempenfeld Bay. So that makes sense. There'd be a Kempenfeld yeah. Kelly and a Beaverton Bessie. I mean, like, I go pogo. I mean, unless they're trying to be tricky and trick us that the real name is Ogopogo. So they. But I don't know. Lori, Lori Soro sounds like they're trying to make something into a dinosaur. Or so this yeah. is Adrian. I don't think she would try to be too tricky. Yeah. So and and I, plus, I mean, there's different, you know, pronunciations from going from tribe to tribe and stuff too. So yeah, if it's supposed to be like a native word. Yeah. So I would say I would agree with C for now. Unless somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I okay. see it makes sense, yeah. 
I can't type. There is a cat that is sleeping and not wanting me to do. Oh, God, this is awful. I'm glad I'm not doing the cat. Well, um, five, I believe. Is the name of it species? Yes, yeah, species. species. Okay. Oh. Good for you. The film's name is Species? Yeah, yep. Species. Never heard of it. I can no, watch really? it, but I know it's... I, I've heard of it. I've never seen it. I don't think. I saw it a bunch have, of times. I might this? have seen part of it back when my son was that age. <laughs> Number six, was that... I, You know, as soon as you say it, I'll know it. Is it the Falk monster? I, no. That might be it. Yeah. No, I thought it was a... It was a man. Like the Minnesota Iceman, something like that? Yeah, it was a... I thought it was like a giant or... um. Well, because the Cardiff, the Cardiff giant Cardiff wasn't giant. in ice. He's, okay. he's in Cooperstown right now. Because okay. wasn't the it wasn't the Ice Man actually a real? Yeah, the Ice Man. Yeah, the Ice, ice Man was a real guy. I was up in the Alps between well, Italy and Uzi. Switzerland. Yeah, Utsi. But there's a, this thing was a fake. They're, they're yeah, it was like it. all yeah. stitched together and stuff. If I yeah, remember, I right. can't remember it. I might right. a comedy. They made a comedy movie, um, in Encino Man, I think it was called. <laughs> it, was it was a funny movie. <laughs> when your belly scratched. Uh, when I hear it, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, I agree. You don't so think it might have been one of the? Come back to that later. It yeah. Might okay. Suddenly hit you when you are not thinking about it. And I have no idea on seven. None of those sound familiar. Same. Yeah, I have no idea. I, I was going to say it sounds Japanese. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah, A is the only word that looks Japanese that to Japanese, me. Yeah. I was thinking of the I because they were trying to play off the word Nessie. Yeah, that's what I was going to think. Well, there's me. that too. I see. <clears throat> Japanese have a tendency to take a English word and... Japanese eyes it, make it Japanese easier to, to pronounce it. I don't know what <laughs> Japanese if I yeah. Are we overthinking <laughs> this again? This probably, probably be probably. Yeah. I, I mean I what, don't what, have what a, was I don't everybody's have a first everybody's first um no. thought? Because my first thought was A as well. Yeah. I would go with first thoughts when you don't know. So yeah. shall we say A? Yeah. A, okay. Eight. I just, I just I just realized I've been muted the whole time. Oh, Bob, you were so oh, no, the Bob. thing you were telling us were so wise. I, I, what, what did you say for seven, I, Bob? It, a sounds fine. There, I think there is a thing called a kappa, but it's a freshwater, um, big giant salamander. I think that's a kappa, or it's like a, but it's a it's a they're in streams. It's not an ocean thing, so. What did but you say for six? Bob? Six? Question mm -hmm. six? No, I, yeah, I, I couldn't come up with it. I didn't okay. know. Eight no, is no, the jackalope. 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 Yep. jackalope. Yeah, jackalope. They used to sell postcards yeah. up there. That was the only one I was sure of, of yeah. Yeah, jackalope. Yeah. There's Nine one is there four. in Yosemite. <laughs> okay, everybody Nine knows what a drop four. bear is, right? Uh, what, what, it's a joke. <laughs> what is a joke about koalas? I'm sorry. Drop, drop bears are in Australia. And what they do is they they a tourist is walking along, they like the Americans, and it drops out of the tree and lands on you and kills you. So what and do I think? Uh, it a kills tourists in Australia by dropping out of the tree and they look like koalas. It's an Australian hoax. It yeah. looks and 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 there's an and there's another one. It's called the the uh, ring oh the snake that rolls yeah, yeah. it's called a I can't think of it okay. it goes around your neck and it gets into a like it it goes in a neck in a circle and okay let's it. let's finish so we have time to go back and and hash out oh, the ones we don't know the skunk ape okay now we'll go back to six maybe the missing link in the block of ice. We need that one. Oh, I think that's the only one we need. There's yeah. that. There's a book like right there that I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> you need... 
Um, could it be an Iceman of something that's not the one you guys are thinking of? Uh, could it be a brain no. or a skull? No. No, I it can, was, I've I, seen I, pictures I'm, of I'm the pretty thing. sure it was something that was like, it was basically stitched together of different parts. Yeah. I thought it was a hoax. It was something somebody put together. Yeah. And what was it called? Could it be named after the place it was found? Easily, yeah. Uh, but we don't know where it was found. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I mean, because Falk Monster comes up, but that could be another Bigfoot guy too. I've never heard of a Falk Monster. Yeah, that rings a bell. We can put that if we don't have anything else, because I have. I, Let's do it for now. What uh, what was it? How Falk? Did you say it? I don't know. Would you say? I think it was like F A U L K yeah, yeah, like Falk Monster, if I remember. Is that what yeah. is that what you are saying? What I typed? Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. The chicken is trying to tell us. Yeah. Well, the, Max, what do you think? You know, talking about stitch together. Apparently, when the naturalists first went to Australia and found the platypus. Those days, they would send specimens back to the British Museum of Natural History. So yeah. when they sent the platypus to the British, they thought it was a hoax. Hoax, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. that. The parts but, from different animals. But the okay. but the stitched really well together. Yeah. Okay, let me review real quick, and then if we want to change anything. Sure. So number one is the Kraken. Two is Mothman. Three is Ogopogo. Four is C. Laurie of Sorrow. Five is Species, the movie Species. Six is the Falk Monster. Seven is A. Ningen, what we're going with. Uh, eight is Jackalope. Nine, it's a koala. It's, it's a hoax about a koala. Koalas. And D is Skunk Ape. Oh, Anybody okay. got Looks good. Yep. Yep. Ideas. Yep. Okay. Wait, uh, drop. There is a hoax about koalas. Not what I wrote. Drops out of a tree and kills people. Well, we know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got it. So if there's no, something you know it like something man or something. Not obviously in the Sino man, but you know, <laughs> no. the hoax. But yeah. yeah, I can't think of anything right now. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know what's really funny is. Is Bob's chicken is very, very badly wanting to tell us. Yeah. The, the babies are. You're gonna come I can over? hear them on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the light went out. Here, you want to come here? One of them flew over. They don't see that well in the dark. So usually they, once the lights go out, they stay put. But they weren't perched where they wanted to sleep. What do you, you come here? She's looking right at me. Come here. Come on. 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 I mean, I don't think it, it's the card off giant because the card off giant was basically um, carved, wasn't it? No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. And it was not an ice. It was it like was a dirt. Right. It was just carved. And it, like I said, it's yeah. in Cooperstown, New York, right? But you now. know what? That's the one I think I thought of whenever you first mentioned you know, the question came up. It was carved out of gypsum, I think. And it's and killing me because I can like see the picture. Yeah, I remember see those picture. pictures. And it Come was Come it had like the hand doing this or something like that. And it's killing me because I can't remember. Come on. Come on. I think we got everything else though. Wait, wait yeah. for it. Wait for it. I'm impressed that all of you knew all this stuff. I didn't know a single. Oh, well, see, we have skills. Well, two of them were guessing, like the Loriasoro Soro and the. Are they up on the table where we're going to see them, Bob? Well, she's in my oh, I saw flutters. Now. I saw wings. Oh, did uh, you see it? No. Oh, yep. There. I think she came when you called her. Well, she. There's uh, a chair. My old chair is between me and the thing, so they they go from their box to the chair, and then they come in here, go on the floor, and walk in. But she. Eventually flew in. Yes, yeah, okay, okay. And that's one of the babies. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're teenagers they're now. They're so 12, fast. Yeah. They're twelve weeks old. Yeah, but I remember so when they were little. And 
Yeah, yeah. They're about the same. She still has an orange head. Huh? She has a colored head. Yeah, there's color on her back. Yeah. We were saying you thought they so might all just turn white, but. Yeah, on the next molt. But this was the one. Let's see. One of them had. Oh, this, I can't tell. One of them had white down. And the other one had yellow uh -huh. down. And the yellow one oh. has yellow feet. And the white one has white feet. And the, oh. her, her brown feathers are lighter. And the yellow one has darker feathers. So how do you know so if it's a boy or a girl? When it starts to crow or lay eggs. <laughs> <laughs> it's all behavior based. It's a giveaway. You can, you can flip them upside down and, and look in the hole. But I don't know what I'm looking for. So why would I? Well, if, there, if an egg was coming out at you. How old are yeah. you, Bob? <laughs> well, it's a, it's a job. It's a thing people do. They take. I a, know. A I know. Sexing chicken chickens chick, is a job. And they go it's and true. you do like a hundred an hour or something like that. It's just, Lee, do you know how to tell a chicken if it's a if it's a chicken or a rooster? Yep. Yeah. Not yep. A, and it's something you don't want to watch because they. They take about two or three seconds. They pick up all these little, little tiny chicks. And if it's a rooster, it goes into like a big garbage disposal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. Unless they're, yeah. Yep. And they become chicken food. Yeah. Exactly. They say some people, because you can buy, you can buy sexed male, sexed female, or straight run. So straight run is unsexed. You're going to get about yeah. half and half. But um, yeah, but some people want roosters, but they don't need a lot of them. So most of yeah. them are just oh, yeah. ground up. I just have to give my category. So if you want to just stick stuff right here. I think there are some you lineages that, 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 that like, um, is he bringing dinner to predominantly you? Predominantly one gender wow. or the other. Yeah, it's kind of like one thing after another. No time for dinner. So. Wow, that's nice on oh, nice. men's day too. <laughs> is it men's day did i miss yeah something? they said in in germany it's father's day or they call it men's day because you know the guys got all jealous because they're not fathers so they had to avi was telling us that interesting What's wrong? like men need a special day <laughs> like children's <laughs> day I can remember that growing day up. Too. Why don't we have we a have special a day? day? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every day is kids' day. That's, yeah. a, that's my mom said. All right. Good job, team. I didn't even. Okay, Adrian. Showing that showing that people know obscure things sometimes. You're on you're on mute, Adrian. She's got her soda. She's showing us a soda for some reason. I don't A and W. Know. Oh, A and W. Somebody's oh. gonna die. <laughs> Which oh. was created in Lodi, yes, California. Right Lodi, California, really? Ooh, interesting. See, look at uh, uh, uh. Okay. I go for it, Adrian. Release okay. the okay. <laughs> Yeah, the Seattle. Um. Uh, Kraken or the New Jersey Devil? Oh, you were right. Okay. Devils. And it is actually named after that's was the name is inspired. Is, by no. is, it, is a devil a really considered a cryptid? Yeah, I would put Jersey, 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 Jersey Devil. Devil. The Jersey, the Jersey, Jersey Devil. Jersey Devil. Yeah. Oh, the Jersey Devil. Okay, yeah, that's right. Nice okay, never mind. It's funny and, that it would be a Jersey Devil if there'd be two Jersey Devils in. What? You know, there what? are mint Jersey Devils. What? What, what, what do you mean? A hockey team. You yeah. can't have a Jersey, two Jersey Devils in the same town, can you? <laughs> they must because they're a hockey team. Full team, yep. And the second one is the Mothman. <laughs> the Mothman. Yay. I want to go over there and see it now that they've got this new skeptics group. I want to go see West Virginia. I've never been there. Yeah. Almost seven. And number three is the Ogopogo. I we spelled it even right. Oh. I'm impressed. <laughs> some people said champ, which was interesting, but I don't know if they actually changed the, the answer. He's in like Champlain, as Deborah said. That's right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the next one, which is, and I heard some interesting discussions about this, but if you paid attention to Ben Radford's um, uh, 
cameo that was at our conference, he actually mentioned one of these cryptids, and it the name that doesn't belong is yes. Stereos, Stereos yes. Zero. Yes, and we were so even knowing. Nice just we just reasoned it out. Yes. So yes. before you move on, Alan, we, we spent every summer for my first ten years on Lake Simcoe. I never heard about any kind of a lake monster. So Did you? I told my team. I, told my team. I have no clue. Oh, they, we they we decided it was you. because you guys are as old as dirt, and, <laughs> and the lake monster is more recent. Well, so it's they also were the ones that the, 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 the lake sighted. It could have been Auntie Ida, you know. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, so what Adrian, matter was that, Adrian? That you were you were drowned out by somebody talking over you. What was the answer to that? The answer was Lariosoro. Thank you. What letter was it? C. 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 Okay. Yeah, C. The answer, Eagle, answers are also Eagle in the Pogo chat. Is, was actually, um, the Ego Pogo has been, it, it is the name. That's the name that Ben Radford actually called it when he did the cameo. He listed a whole bunch of Canadian cryptids, and that's what inspired me to do this question. So, so does that mean A, B, and D are all attributed yes. to yeah. Lake Simcoe? Yes. Yes. I, I go Pogo sounds like it's a reference to like Walt Kelly cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we thought, we thought oh, you made, yeah. We thought you made that up. <laughs> and Ogopogo. number five, the Chupacabra was based on the movie Species. Oh, yes. uh, I'm out of the movie after theater going, after, after watching. Good, 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 good job, Faith. And I'm going to be lenient for number six. How lenient? How lenient? I'll tell you how lenient. Everyone gets a point. <laughs> mm. It's the Minnesota Iceman, but I will accept Iceman. Yes. I remember oh, it oh, now. Oh, oh, we could not remember that damn thing. Now yeah. that sounds like a hockey team. Yeah. <laughs> it does. It does. It ought to be. In Minnesota? Now starting They're missing the a hell of a Iceman. name. Yeah. Wait, How is it? Chupacabras. Is it there the is Minnesota Iceman? Man, it's in Jacksonville, Florida. Who is? Jacksonville. Is what? Iceman. The Iceman? Yeah, that was my question. Jacksonville is famous for its ice. Oh, is it a sure hockey it team? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course, the Minnesota Iceman flew with the Minnesota Maverick. <laughs> I don't get it. And the Cougar uh, uh, and Merlin as well. It's nice. a Top Gun hey. joke. Top Gun reference. Yeah. Okay. There we go. You, know what? you guys gonna... watch Tom Cruise? Come on, you guys. Jeez, you probably watch all know all the episodes of uh, Dr. Oz, too? Come on. Crossing <laughs> over with John Edward. <laughs> Don't right. be watching Tom Cruise. Number well, seven. For the suggestion to Number seven. <laughs> Number seven. The name is kind of Japanese, I guess. The Ninja. Yeah, hey, we got it right because yeah, yeah, yeah. we didn't know that's, that one. <laughs> that's a a for anyone who's counting. Uh, it was a. Thank you, thank you for that. And number eight is the jackalope. Has and anybody seen one? one? They still sell yes, in a yep. in a stuffed shop for sale. All in stores or on postcards. Need Bath Pro. My yeah. grandparents had one in their house and convinced me it was real for a little while. Really? <laughs> <laughs> right, right next to the. It was only bag. a couple of years ago, right, Faith? Last week. Had a postcard. No, which, they've been dead one in for like, They've been dead for twenty. Well, maybe they've been talking years. to you since then because we all know your house is haunted. That's right. We definitely. I know, we keep that. hearing a meow everywhere. Oh. And it actually says it in her closet. There's a. It does. Room. It says it in her closet. The house is haunted. So and we have yeah. Yeah. So the number nine, so I'm, I need it to be somewhat specific. I need the words koala bear in that explanation. It is in folklore. It is a predatory and carnivorous version of the koala bear that is known to attack people by dropping on their heads from trees. Okay. How about, how about that? R Richard updated my original guess, which was <laughs> very general, as you said. Yeah, it was too Vicious koala-like bear dropping from trees in Australia. Perfect. Yeah. On That's tourists, correct. tourists. It's something that says it's so, vicious. Unsuspecting tourists. Do, do we need the dropping from trees? We just put carnivorous koala. Perfect. That's okay, perfect. That's good. Because Thank it you. was drop. Yeah. So yeah. what's the what's the ring one? That there's hoop snake. That's it. That's the other one. Hoop snake. That's oh right. my god. Oh, that's yeah. terrifying. Yeah. Oh my god. I think I was in Brisbane and it almost got me. 
I still have the scars. Look. I don't see why Australia has to make up monsters, though. They have plenty of their own. They do Everything have in them. Australia wants to kill you anyway. Why? Yeah. Well, we have to, never we have to found that to be true. We they all are really, really nice. nice. Even no, okay. Except the, the great white sharks and the I'm not going in the ocean. Your and water crocodiles. I'm okay. in the city. Yeah. I'm in the city. Giant spiders. Blue ringed octopus. Giant spiders. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. You guys, no. no. I'm, I'm in the city. Number 10. ten. All kinds Number of, ten, all kinds of snakes. Let me Number 10. Me. Number 10. I actually remembered to put the letter here. It's D. It's on eight. Yay! Right. And there we have it. You did better than I thought. That one and that one. Has yeah. anyone heard of the no seems? They're in Ohio. They're horrible. No, besides the bugs. They're so in no seams. No, no, besides the bugs. Besides the bugs, is it this there's supposed to be these things called the no seams? They walk in the They're really a bug. And they're really biting viciously. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Also, yes, not the bug though. There's yeah, another thing the, called the no see You guys are but the, the real one's bad enough. <laughs> somebody uh, mentions never... somebody mentions cryptids and everybody gets so excited. It's so cute. <laughs> but don't walk through a group of swarming gnats because they're having sex. Uh, are they hugging? They're uh, hugging. They're hugging. They're making they're hugging. Baby. Yes. When a mommy and a daddy love each other very, very much. All right, so let's do our scores. Let's start with the the mouse that roared. We got an eight. Yay. An eight. Stop the count. Okay. We then, guess really good sometimes. To oh, yeah. Adrian's team, <laughs> we've got a German for the time being. Who's gone now? Nine. Ooh, there you nine. go. There you go. That's how it's done. Okay, don't mess with the mouse. It'll cost you a billion dollars. Uh, we got an eight. Ooh, this might have been too easy. Mystic Washington Schwarzers. Nine. Might have been too easy. Make 1984 again. fiction again. Uh, eight. Ooh. You got 8.4 on that, Adrian. That was. Yeah. Everybody, oh. we, gotta, we gotta have a harder category. Yeah. No, so that was eight. good. That was really good, was Adrian. Fun. I love that category. Oh, I like the category, but we need to get some hard categories yeah. to, to yeah, know them too well. To take the to differentiate the teams, it's going to be too close. Okay, so everybody. Oh, yesterday, I saw some. Uh, I, I saw a very... that said, "Make atheism read again." Make atheism read again. <laughs> well done, Adrian. Good job, Adrian. Okay, so we're going to take a photo. Photo, everyone. I I love how you guys all start straightening yourselves because you know that's what's going to happen next. <laughs> They're all like this. <laughs> yeah, <we> should... <laughs> and then I say, "Don't forget, we're going to take a photo." Kyle, where are you? Deborah, come sit down. Well, the light was too bright. I had okay. Here comes Kyle. Gosh, you guys can't wander off. That is not okay. <laughs> God, you guys stress me out. Ryan has been okay. Everybody, look your me. look your shiny bestest. <laughs> All right, let me get my shiny thing. best, shiny best. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> and the, did the chicken smile? All right, I got it. So it looks like we got it. Five minutes. Five minutes, y'all. I'm still recording, so don't get freaked out. Don't say anything. Bye, every, bye everybody. Bye, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Vincent. What day is it? Susan, did you get my alert about recording one more line? Well, I thought you were going to do that. You said you'd add it in. Oh, no, I meant for you to record it so I could add it into the stuff you sent me already. It's just one line. Bro. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong place to see where it was that you wrote. Yeah, it's, it's just on the chat. It's all right. I mean, the show doesn't go out until the next day after tomorrow. So it's uh, right. That's U.S. day and time. Yeah. Well, I thought because, Pacific because Eastern, and Eastern was... Eastern time is what we use in Australia, too. No way. You use that word? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do it. Thanks. Well, we'd, we'd say Australian Eastern time, but anyway. <laughs> drop bear time. 
How many time zones do you have in Australia? Three or four? It depends on the time of the year. <laughs> really? Because some states have daylight saving and some don't. We okay. can have but, one, but just, two. Well, okay, that's the case here too. But is it three? We six, could have. I think we can have up to five. Five? That many? Depend yeah, because at, at certain many? times of the year, and one part of Australia has a half hour difference, which is really weird. Well, you know, Canada has that. Just Newfoundland. They have a four and a half time zones. <laughs> Newfoundland is a half hour off from from the Maritimes. Right. The rest of the Maritimes. It's so bizarre. And you listen to the CBC and they'll go, you know, the time is 20 minutes past the hour, except Newfoundland, which is 40 <laughs> minutes past the hour. It's so in the are there east and west the opposite direction because you're uh, in the southern hemisphere, or does it not work that way? <laughs> I had, had an interesting discussion with somebody the other day. I said, when you look at the moon from the southern hemisphere, it's upside down to what you see it here. And they couldn't comprehend. Yeah. And so finally, we found a video online which explains it perfectly well, you know, that yes, you do see the moon upside down when you're in the other no, it makes sense to me. The sky is different. That's why you have the Southern Cross. Well, not only that, the, the constellations that we share, it's different. Yeah, it's upside down in Australia, or it's you're upside down here. It, they're they're flipped. Yeah, I noticed that when I was in Chile, and that's where I saw the Southern Cross. Yeah, and of course, having the seasons different. I just yeah, saw the Leonard, first time you, I you? saw a young crescent moon from uh new zealand i had an almost overwhelming urge to stand on my head <laughs> it was very very strange so folks i think i'm in, speaking which is getting dark here in california i need to go water the garden um I can do that and come back, but does my team need another person? Not that I'm that how much help. You'll do fine. I'll make do. Uh, yeah, we'll make do. I think you'll, you'll be fine. fine. It shouldn't take you that long to water, right? Well, it's a pretty substantial garden. Oh, okay. So maybe it'll be. But, I'll, come, but I'll yeah, I'll come back. Okay. But um, but take your cell phone with you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know any of the answers anyway. <laughs> I just guess. Well, the next category Guessing can be, be a very important Celia. source of information. What's that? Um, um, little brother, I just, uh, I just, uh, I posted the question on uh, on the Bathurst, uh, the Bathurst Manor site. See if any of those guys have ever heard of it. Okay, yeah, because. Yeah, we're all they're all old farts too, so they probably oh, yeah. uh, missed it. <laughs> but I liked Auntie Ida as a better answer. By the way, did you get the email from Corky today about his bar mitzvah? Uh, no, actually, he didn't have my email address. He sent it to my uh, to die, and then she forwarded it to me. Okay, because again, when I I, I made a comment and went back, and of course got I got sent back because I still don't know your your damn uh, email address. I only have three of them, so yeah. Just pick one, Alan. You can do it. Well, I do, and it's I always the, you. It's, it's all, always it's always the fourth always one that I don't one. use anymore. Yeah. Mark's going to be over here in a few minutes. And when he comes over, I want everybody to sing him happy birthday because his birthday's tomorrow. <gasps> oh. Mark's birthday. Poor Mark having to listen are, to us. Are we going to make it go through time somehow? Or are you going to hide it for a day? There you go. You know what? Go to sleep. And no, watch the court. Jeez.
So did anyone else go to see uh, the new Fast and Furious movie this afternoon? No. No. Where's my cake? No. All right, you guys. How Welcome was back. It? Welcome it was back, great. everybody. So you great? guys, we're having a birthday tomorrow over in our house. We so- are? <laughs> Mark. <laughs> oh, here comes Paula. Let's wait till she gets in the door. Um, so the rules are we sing happy birthday. And remember, you can do it in any key you want. <laughs> Any speed you want, any any language, yeah, language, yeah, absolutely. any language is fine. Let let Paul jump. I'm good with that. <laughs> Keeping in mind we're recording, so it's good. Where is everybody? Where's Paul? I'm waiting for her. To... Paul, are you there? Hi, Mark. Hi. That's my dog saying happy birthday to you, Mark. Oh, oh good. <laughs> okay, guys, all ready. Well, here comes Faith and Romero. Happy birthday. Okay, birthday? ready? Here we I go. just came back. Wait, whose birthday is it? Mark's, Mark's birthday, Mark. birthday tomorrow. Mark. Hey. Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. Hey. Okay, so we're going to sing happy birthday. Ready? Okay, here we go. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That was as good as we ever do. Best <laughs> one ever. Thank you. Pretty much. I appreciate it too. Thanks, everybody. Have a good welcome. Thanks, Mark. See you later. Okay. Bye, Mark. Take care, Mark. Bye, Mark. See you later, Mark. <laughs> That's scared Mark's away. birthday. But in some, in some areas, it's in, in, in Thailand, it's already his birthday. Yes, it is. Right? It is. So, mm-hmm. There you go. Jamie can celebrate it on his, on his own. So we try to do birthdays. If anybody else has anything <laughs> that's coming up, I, I need to know. So we can sing off key to them as well. Uh, <laughs> you're just notorious. Oh, we Why don't we key? have a Netflix show? Ah, not even on Peacock or anything. People are weird. This is okay. So we're back now. I want you to keep in mind that we do not have a full um, next week. I think it's Rob that's doing everything, right? Yeah, Rob's got the whole thing. Okay, so we're getting real close to being our fourth year. Two more weeks, and I think I'm going to do the fourth year. By myself, I gotta get the categories all written, but I can do it. The whole fourth year year yourself, what? No, I did the first year almost. That's a lot of trivia, Susan. You sure you can come up with that many? Yeah, a whole year's worth. Well, I did before. before. That's true. First year, you're all you're all tapped out, Susan. You don't have any rounds left. No, I can do it. I can make up shit. I can just read (laughs) the questions to you guys, and you won't know a difference. Exactly. Sadly, they just (laughs) do Punch and Judy every week. (laughs) Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> finally get those right yeah we might actually get them after a while yeah we're gonna start doing a new punch- wikipedia page for everything you never know susan that that could be youtube gold your, your subscribers might just skyrocket i know I, I like i said i don't know where these people all are so we're gonna do announcements real quick let's see um we don't have too much I, well actually i guess we do so what am i looking at here okay leonard just did uh could you say what you just did leonard yeah, and if I got somebody finds the link, on, I got interviewed on the Hansel Minutes uh, podcast. Uh, Scott Hanselman has a podcast that he calls um, "Fresh Air for Developers." So it's shoot. about um, my time at Commodore and Atari. Oh, nice! Cool. Yep, it was interesting. If somebody finds the link, can you put it in the in the show notes here or whatever it's called the chat? Okay, I see. I spy with my little eye, Carolyn. Something coming up, Carolyn? Yes. Uh, conversations with Su- Susan Gerber. Ooh. How to cr- have constructive conversations with people who may have fringe ideas or magical thinking. So that's going to happen here in Lodi, California on cool. Sunday. And yes. Leonard, it's going to be in your area there on Saturday. So this should be fun. I'm looking forward yeah, to it. In, I'm going to spend the night right? in Lodi, I think. I'm going to drive up from Sac- uh, from Berkeley and then hang out with you guys until I'm sick and tired of you. And then I'm going to drive over to Lodi, spend the night, and then I'll be there for 
Sacramento. And you're, you're going to drive up on Saturday from. Uh, yeah, Selena. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't it's think Mark's going. Compassionate title. A what? It's a very compassionate title. I'm trying to be. 2024 <laughs> is my year to be nice. And that's like <laughs> last year. I'm not doing it. Good job. Good job. Susan, you're always nice. Finally. Uh, Richard Saunders, I hear you have a podcast. No. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast this week, you can count on Adrian. Adrian looks at UFO sightings as recorded in Wikipedia in the latter half of the 20th century. We have the Australian Skeptics newsletter and listen out for the new segment, Canadian Word of the Week. Then to round off the show, we look at the references in Australian and Canadian newspapers to Ogo Pogo. All that and more coming oh, up on Skeptic so Zone at skepticzone.tv. Cool. Um, Adrian, you have anything else? Well, I just got an email from Courtney Hurd. You remember her, Richard? Yeah. She's the QAnon person? She's the QAnon person who gave a talk that just was absolutely was chilling, really, good. really good at our conference. We had a lot of sort of lighthearted stuff, and then she came on, and it was like, oh, my God, really? It was amazing. And so she just sent me an email and wants to interview me on her q Drops podcast about GSOW. Nice. Oh, oh, very good. Wow. wow. That's great. Okay. Then you can interview her for the skeptic zone. Oh, sure. I could do that. Sure. Yeah, that'd be yeah. fun. Good Turn job. the tables. Rob, you have something? <laughs> well, yeah, I just did the talk, which I told you guys about last week, and they were really quick, unlike some organizations, and put it up on YouTube immediately. So here's the link for that. National it, Capillary Skeptics, you guys. Yeah, it was the last time I talked about the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project, and it may be my last time. I don't have anything else scheduled. Every uh, time you say that. I know, <laughs> something pops up. but And this was promises, fun because promises. I got really really good questions from an, a live audience in a local library of people who were not necessarily skeptics. And in fact, one woman said she went to psychics and we talked about it. So it was kind of interesting. Yeah, um, very good. And that was a wonderful talk, the Capillary Skeptics. They actually listened, I think, to what um, the webinar series that I've been doing with the Center for Inquiry and did a wonderful hybrid group uh, message it was so nice it, they did it very well oh i do have something else coming up actually mm -hmm. i don't know if people know about the atheist community of austin they have a bunch of shows the most famous one is atheist experience uh one of their non-call-in shows is called the non-profits and it's a different format it's it's like three yeah. or four hosts talking about topics of the day that have to do with humanism mostly but occasionally they'll put skepticism in there and i'm being uh tr i'm trying out for it essentially on monday I think I think I'm going to be on it. Basically, it, it's a tech check. They said to make sure my my tech is satisfactory to be on the show. And the topic I want to bring back, they talked about it only a month ago, was Havana syndrome. And I watched it, and they did not cover it well at all. They had nobody who understood that it that it was mass hysteria. They just talked about the physics of it seems difficult and things like that. So I, I hope to reintroduce that and give uh, the you know the understanding that it's most likely a mass psychogenic illness. And then I can bring in the Iranian schoolgirls thing too. That'd be great. Yeah. So that's my. Who interests you, Rob? I'm reviewing a book at the mm. moment. The publishers have sent me to uh, give me a five four three about the, uh, on the skeptic zone and this is in the book <coughs> okay, wait, wait, I, got to, I have to zoom in it what does it say it's a new book coming out that they, they, by richard the, saunders identify hundreds of concepts was oh, oh, oh very nice it's, yeah it's, it's starting to be referenced and very public. nice yeah. they use the word grief vampire i think right Yes, they also use the word grief vampire. Yeah, it's a brand Excellent. new book that's, that's being what we published. Want to see. Excellent. Great, Kyle. Hey, I hey. heard something about you having a podcast and some people on some some guy talking about uh, NLP. That's exactly right. Yes, the natural language processing community, or the subfield of computer science that is going to take credit for things like Chat GPT and these recent advancements. So I found somebody who did a survey of that specific community, not just the general public asking them about how the field was going, how we were coming along towards AGI and stuff like that. And we discuss all the results in the interview this week on Data Skeptic. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, I, I also did a talk to uh, Capillary Skeptics last night. It was really great. They did, I didn't want to really do a talk talk because 
Oops. I mean, you know, and what they did is they put together a bunch of series of questions about running an organization, having a skeptics group and what they need to do. And I think the conversation was terrific. I really had a great time, Faith and Romero. It was really fun. I um, enjoyed the questions you guys asked me. I got quizzed. Um, so that'll be how long before that comes out. Uh, I'll, I'll try pushing. Uh, Jeff. Did you say national um, capital area or? No, triangle skeptics. Ah. Yeah, push them. Because you know what? We made a, we made them a new logo. Yeah. Yeah. This is, our, uh, this is their new thing. They're going to you know, they're gonna start smokes. a conspiracy. <laughs> well, it was, you know what I think that it might be really useful to have is to have um, uh, possibly use the interview on we're putting together a series of videos. I've interviewed Adrian. I've in, interviewed uh, Deborah. I've interviewed Julie uh, Lakdawala, and I've interviewed um, Wendy Hughes about things that people can do to help grow groups and so on. And I think that the interview I did yesterday will probably will probably use it for um, on the website for Center for Inquiries uh, group resources. I think that'd be really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Rob. <laughs> you share those? Rob the, the you robbed to bring it up for everybody. <laughs> um okay, so Rob, do a category sometime, make noises. What is Rob <laughs> eating? Ooh, no, he can do that noisy round. It is the noise he does through his nose and, and all those <laughs> things. It was great. So Okay, what I wanted to make sure I mentioned to you guys is Leo Igwe is going to be doing a talk at the Center for Inquiry in uh, Amherst. It'll be recorded, obviously. It's specific time Monday, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock Eastern, uh, Eastern time. Leo Igwe is, I mean, talk about a hero in our community. He makes everybody look like we're just sitting around on our thumbs. He's uh, in Nigeria, I believe, right? Yeah. And this guy is in the fight because people are uh, uh, witchcraft is really going on in that area daily and they're killing people they're accusing people of witchcraft people are mobs i mean it's like the old days except there's no court trials it's incredible they're they're killing albino people um amazingly crazy stuff that's going on there he's been beat up it, they're running on like zero funds it's it's just it. anyway it's going to be a great talk i know it i've no leo uh, personally, he's a very good friend of GSOW. He's a wonderful human being, and that'll be on Monday. Um, uh, I'm doing a talk on Wednesday in Calgary. Apparently, I've forgotten until right now <laughs> for <laughs> for that group. So I want to make sure Susan. The, the well, I don't know what you guys are calling yourself. It's not the weekend, weekend reason. reason group. Yeah, no, it's the weekend reason. It's a weekend oh. reason webinar. Oh, okay. It's for the weekend reason webinar. Okay. So that's going to be Wednesday. Thursday is towel day. So do not forget your towel next Thursday. Everybody Thursday should know where their towel, towel is. Okay. I always know where my towel is. It's under my desk right here. There's my towel. So that's the 25th. Don't forget Vincent. will will know that for sure. That's your, don't forget. You got to know where your towel is. And, um, that's I think it. Um, there's a conference I, going on in Germany right I, now, starting I, tomorrow. I can add something else, Susan. Sure. So not this visit, but probably in a few months' time, I'll be giving a talk here in Berkeley called "The Skeptic's Bag of Tricks," Ooh. where I'm going to be doing a workshop to teach people spoon bending, water divining, kine applied kinesiology tricks, and how to make an origami model. When is this? Uh, it, it hasn't been really announced yet. It's and it, there's no date set because of my travel plans, but it'll be a bit later in the year. Oh, in the uh, later in the year. Okay, a later in the year. The skeptical bag of tricks. Yeah, I really look forward one. to going to see something like that. Okay, if I covered everybody, that are we ready to start? Okay, fantastic. <laughs> what can I brag a little bit? You're more than welcome to brag. <laughs> you can. Because after my talk. Seth Andrews sent me a message and wants me on his show. I don't know when Yay. it will be. But Yay. I would be great. <laughs> that weekend Fantastic. reason thing has really been beneficial. I mean, look at all the things that are coming out of this thing. It's pretty cool. What, what's the subject, Adrian? Well, I'm sure that we'll talk about it because I talked about being on Richard's show, The Skeptic Zone. I talked about the Psychic Prediction Project very briefly, nothing like what you do, Rob. And I talked a lot about GSOW. 
And also my article about that's coming out in Skeptical Inquirer about Abraham Hicks. So pick one. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, it goes fast. The hour that you're on with he, him he goes fast. want to talk about atheism. No, he doesn't. No, 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 no. I'm he's... joking. Oh. <laughs> he, um, I did a talk with him. Adrian got me a talk, got my talk with him. And we got, I think, three editors for GSOW from it. Mm-hmm. I think. Oh, and tomorrow I should have a talk. I should have an article out in Skeptical Inquirer about uh, my YouTube channel. Psychics explained it's good news, some good news for a change. So I'm going to be interviewing Susan this this weekend, actually, for the Skeptic Zone about things like that. But I must say that the Weekend Reason conference was really a huge success because the, the social night we had before the event was over attended. People just kept turning up. It was huge, and then the 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 whole day itself was really a really top conference. And then the next day, we all went to the dinosaur museum. It's like, how good is this? It was yeah. <laughs> I interviewed Adrian about it yesterday or the day before. You oh, sound, I'm just just talking to her about it again. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, it, it sounds like it was such a good time. An hour and a half later, we're start, we're done talking. <laughs> yeah, I know for real. All right, let's go back because that was great. Okay, so thank you guys for everybody for joining me today. Carl, I've already given you your permissions. Um, yep. I'll let everybody take a quick look at the uh, out of since it's been a few minutes, what the scores are like. Here we are. The people who are in the lead right at the moment, just by one point, is the Mystic Washington Squashers, but the mouse that roared is. Mm, in the last place but by three points from the top so it is narrow <laughs> it's really tight so let's see what happens carl what do you got for us all right uh, look at back- look at everybody you can see him in the face <laughs> he has a full face let me all see right. the other side of you the fan there it is see the he's got, yeah man. he's got another cheek we were wondering okay. turn the other cheek <laughs> <laughs> all right back out to the by popular demand, we have Double Your Pleasure, Double Your Fun Part 2. Yay. And uh, it, it, you'll, you, if you haven't seen this round before, you'll understand what's going on by question two. But not question one, apparently. No, no. All righty. Question number one. Everybody can hear me right now. 1997 film about a seismologist and their love interest dealing with a volcanic eruption where none was expected. Anne Heche is in it. Question number two. 1997 film about a seismologist and their love interest dealing with a volcanic eruption where none was expected. Lennon Hamilton is in it. Number three. 2006 film that shows the illicit use of magic tricks for personal gains. Ed Norton is in it. There's a typo in there. It's fine. It doesn't cause any problem. Number four. 2006 film that shows the illicit use of magic tricks for personal gains. David Bowie is in it. Number five, 2011 rom-com where a guy and a girl try to keep the relationship strictly physical, but it's not long before things get complicated. Natalie Portman is in it. Number six, 2011 rom-com where a guy and a girl try to keep the relationship strictly physical, but it's not long before things get complicated. Mila Kunis is in it. Number seven, 2012 live action film about Snow White and an evil queen. Julia Roberts is in it. Number eight, 2012 live action film about Snow White and an evil queen. Charlize Theron is in it. Number nine, 2009 film about an incompetent mall cop that rises to a challenge to become a hero. Kevin James is in it. Number 10, 
2009 film about an incompetent mall cop that rises to a challenge to become a hero. Seth Rogen is in it. And there are your 10 questions. Go forth and contemplate. hasn't got a team i forgot to put you on a team paula guess what you're on team five won't they be surprised <laughs> good to have you back paula oh it was, it was volcano uh, you're thinking of six days, seven nights, which I was first thought of, but yes. it was volcano. <clears throat> and I okay. think that, I'm I'm sorry, what? I said hello. Oh hi. Hello. I don't have I don't know what any of volcano these. movie stars um James Bond. What's his name? Pierce Brosnan. Yes, that's who it was. And then let's see, number two. But wait, 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 wait. So number one is volcano? Yes. Am and I sharing my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. And number two, I can't think of what that movie could be. Put lava. I don't know. Close encounters of the third kind. I know number three. I think I do. Go ahead, Brandy. Illusionist. That's what I have. Yeah. The, the illusionist? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know number four. Jane, that... you're so busy all the time. How is it that you know all this? I've seen these all in the past. And you remember <laughs> them. Also, when I get off from work, like at midnight or whatever, I don't go to bed. I try to watch part of a movie each, you know, each night. I think the floor is called the press. I'm impressed. What what'd you say, Richard? I think it's called the Prestige. I haven't I haven't seen that. David Bowie plays um, Nikola Tesla. That sounds right. Oh, okay. I, did, I actually saw that movie. I forgot it was David Bowie. Wow. Hugh Jackman's in it. I think. That's the one I remember. Okay, hmm. for five and six, I know that six is Friends with Benefits, and I can't remember the name of five. So we if we can just like come up with that name of that one, which I, I come up seen that movie, so I'm, I'm, I'm. it had it'll probably come come to me. Um, right. Br Brandy, you probably have seen it, right? No, I don't watch rom coms. Yeah. Where are you situated, Joe? Oh, you're in Oregon. It's still daylight there. That's not. This is a fake background. <laughs> It's always beautiful there. Where much, she much, like, it tricks everybody. much like mine, I don't have the sun behind me. So. Mine is natural, except the plants are so close to being the end of their life. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. So a, a breeze in the room would probably knock the, all the petals off. <sighs> all right. So Snow okay. White and... Number eight, I think, um, is, the, eight uh, is Maleficent. Maleficent. Oh, the Huntsman? Hunt, yes. Huntsman, hunt, hunt, Huntsman. Is Julia yeah. Roberts one malef Maleficent? Um, well, no. Angelina Jolie. No. That was oh, Angelina no. Jolie. Oh, so, yeah. Snow White, I think it's Snow White. Well, is it Snow White or something like that? Um, uh, it, Brandy is eight called the Huntsman. It had uh, I that. I think there was one called the Huntsman. It had that girl in it. You know, you know who I'm talking about? Wait, it was uh, like it was so much longer ago. <laughs> yeah, it it was actually pretty, it was actually good. Um, and so number s the one with Julia Roberts was it just was it it's not white. Snow white or something like that or I don't know I didn't see that one. 2012 was such an innocent year. We had no idea what was coming. To 
we thought whatever we thought and we we had no idea we were just so innocent well that's the year the world <laughs> was going to end number oh, yeah, I, think, I think number nine had to worry paul, about. paul blart paul blart, blart yeah I, I think Paul it's Blart Mall Cop. Mall Cop, oh, yeah. Paul, Paul Blart, that's right. Paul Blart Mall Cop. And so number 10. I knew it was uh, one of those two. I can't think of what that is. Yeah, I have no idea. Seth Rogen. He mm. was, he was, I don't know what that would be. So we just need to think of is it that jewel guy? No, that was is that it, was the Olympic bomber. Is that Green guy. What? Is it Green Lantern? No, it would no. be a who was in Green Lantern? Boy, I feel so innocent. I really don't know any of these things. I don't know either. Jim. I I I don't I even if I watched the movie, I'd probably be able to describe it, but I don't I wouldn't know who any of the actors are or what they or what the name of the movie was. There was a movie, well I've heard of The Huntsman. I heard the name. That's it. You wanted something that was gonna Pull the teams apart. I think I think Carl found it. No, I bet you everybody's gonna do wonderful because there's a couple people on every on all of these teams that are gonna be like, oh yeah, I know these. Except Jane. Uh, the, well, no, no. For number surprised. seven, Jane. Gonna, could it have been like something about the apple? Was the name of the movie? The poison apple? I don't think that was what it was called. I'm trying to remember. It's... Maybe poison apple or something. Apparently, I've killed my team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all probably doing about the same, though. Mm. Didn't you just say you thought all the teams were going to do great in this? I think everybody's going to. No, I think they're all going to do equal. That one with Natalie Portman, no strings attached. The rom com number five. Yes. Okay. The problem, Carl, is that we need Carl on our team. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, Jane knew the most of these of anybody for sure. So for a better or for worse, we're gonna do whatever Jane knows. When I was when I was writing these out, I had to double check the answers on some of these, make sure I wasn't getting confused myself between mm. some of these. Yeah. I, I I personally only would have gotten that one and that one. That's it. That's two more than I had. I would have had a two. What do you think, Brandy, about that Snow White one? I think it it I don't think it was named Snow White or I don't know, maybe it was. I'm trying to remember. I'm just like, I remember seeing like the previews, like uh, just commercials for it, but I don't think I actually went and saw the movie. I didn't, I didn't ever watch that one. Yeah. And so I'm trying to remember the, the previews. Hey, we and, got it. And that Seth Rogen one, I, I'm sure I've probably seen that. I just don't know what, that, what it is. Throwing this in three at least. And that <laughs> volcano one, I've probably yeah. seen too. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Either. So, of the ones where it's a pair and we only knew one of them, are we sure? That volcano was one. I'm sure. Two. I'm sure that's volcano. And Paul Blart is nine, not ten. I'm sure. I know Paul I'm Blart sure is nine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then what's the other pair? The other pair is. How's everybody else doing, Carl? Yes, and I'm sure that. I'm sure that probably is slightly better. 
I'm sure that eight is the huntsman. Okay, good. So at least the ones that we have down, you're fairly sure we got right. That's good. Okay, so the other one would have been... <sighs> okay, could it be something Snow White? Or something without an apple? Ringing a bell to anybody? Because I don't know. No, no, I don't know. I, I can't don't... recall. I don't Boys remember George Apple. Roberts being in a Snow White movie. Did she play Snow White? No, she played the wicked mother, stepmother, I think. That's why I'm wondering if it's not named something to do with her character, like the stepmother. Like, like Mirror, Mirror. Mirror. Maybe mirror. that's what it was. Was mirror, that mirror. it? Was, was that a, a movie? That's, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Well... Only because it's <laughs> it's the okay. thing that's in the movie they, that's not actually in the movie. No, I that's mean a, I think I'm, a, I think that I, I think I remember that being the name of it. I, I mean I'm not I'm not like guessing that that the hypothetical name. I'm thinking I actually remember that being the name of I it. I like that because that actually reinforces the fact that it's mirror mirror on the wall and it is not mirror mirror on the wall. So that that's actually good. That's a Mandela effect, isn't well, it? Well, I think yeah, and I think they actually said it in that movie because I. Do you remember in the previews there was a lot of her being in front of the mirror so okay so number 10 right. could it be a it's a it's a comedy probably it's got to be a comedy yeah. that's that's really mm. i just haven't watched a lot of his movies i've never seen the one tv that i know of i'm sure i've seen it <clears throat> I'm drawing a blank. You are literally drawing a blank. <laughs> um, okay, and, and a seismologist and their love interest dealing with a volcanic eruption where none was expected. I have no idea who Linda Hamilton is. But Sarah, Sarah Connor. Connor. Sarah she could walk Connor. past me on the street. I wouldn't know who she was. You could say, oh my gosh, Linda... Linda Hamilton is here, and I would. She's the mother of the savior of the human race. How do you not know Linda Hamilton? I've never really seen. I think it's Terminator, right? Yes, yeah. yes. I don't think I've seen much more than a couple scenes out of it. it also, is in I think Beauty and the Beast. I the only Beauty and the oh, Beast the TV, I've seen is the Disney the TV version. show. She was in the TV show. Yes, yes. Yeah, a TV show. The TV show Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I didn't know there's a TV show. No, I never heard of that. Where the beast was that guy who lived in that community underground? Played by Ron Perlman. Yep. Yeah, right. Not ringing a bell. I'm, you know, you know how they have these jury cases and they find a jury for something that people can't believe that there's, they can, I'm that person, but with TV <laughs> and movies. I'm the person people would go, oh, what? How could you possibly? Ron, you guys ready for a two minute warning? To be on that show. The the the, the jury, jury the jury the, the, yeah the jury yeah she'd be a great person to be on wait there's show. a show called the jury yeah a after the game is over I'll tell you all about it I, I just binge watch it. it's fascinating <laughs> minute warning okay a well, show called so, the jury yes Netflix miniseries um, never heard of it uh it was from just from last year or early this year I forget it's recent and I just there was like eight episodes I bit each one's only like 20 minutes I watched the whole thing in a couple of days it was I got because, rid of I got because rid I was Netflix. supposed to be on a jury this week oh it's on Netflix now so but there's jury cases that I'm I, I mean I'm I'm following these jury cases they're perfect they have on in the background when you're doing something else oh my gosh I've been doing jigsaw puzzles mm. so okay so we got two 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 with no guesses what do we want to do and a minute we got left. No, put for number two, lava, because we can't think of anything else. Lava. Lava. Okay. <laughs> Good as anything. Uh, ten put, um, could it be one of those cop movies? Um, Beverly Hills Cop number 17 well, or something? He was in the this movie. Uh, um, you know that uh, he was in that 21 seconds. Street movie, um, but that wouldn't be it. Um Beverly Hills Cop, could he be in that? No. I don't think so. No. That's, that's all I got, wrong, ladies and gentlemen. It's the wrong era, but it doesn't matter. Well, they've done some <laughs> sequels. Well, put down 21 Jump Street. 
because he was in that. That's I, a TV show. I no, but it was a movie later. Twice. Okay. But I know I know that's the wrong answer, but who knows? Okay. I never saw that. Everybody got it written down? Can't get a point with a blank space unless it's Taylor Swift category. <laughs> Wait, what? You don't remember from my, my question <laughs> for the Taylor Swift thing? Mm -hmm. She doesn't remember. Oh, that. yeah. I'll ask that question again sometime. <laughs> Dookie or her dookies. I'm going to take off. I'll see you guys next week. I'll see you on Sunday. Bye. Sunday. Bye. Bye. Carolyn. Did my team hear my, my last minute change? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Okie dokie. Yeah, I got it. Carl. I got it. I All right. Okay. Yeah. Number one. Volcano. Yes. Woohoo. Oh. Number two. <laughs> Woohoo. Jane. Dante's Peak. Oh, I think no. I've heard that name. With the lava. We got him backwards, I think. Okay. Oh, Here's lava. Back. Make sure to watch the Disney short called Lava, Susan. I had him that way first. That's I Number three, The Illusionist. Okay, we got that Thank one. Thank you, Caspian. Four, the Prestige. Yeah. You guys you want, my team rocks, boy. I tell you. I remember that Bowie was in that one. We can, we can hear you, Lynn. We would have yeah, zero. I, did, on I this. just muted, I muted them. Lynn and Paul have a problem realizing that everything they say to each other, which they don't intend all of us to hear, we do. <laughs> so, Lynn um, and Paul, you better be careful what you're saying to each other. Could be embarrassing at some point. Those little lovebirds. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So actually, I wasn't saying anything that anybody could hear. I mean, oh. any, anybody could hear what I was saying. Okay, <laughs> she she knows. Okay. All right. So and being we'll, recorded. For number five and six, I'll need you to pause the recording. Is Jason's well, art recording? He was also in a movie about two friends who became lovers. Also, Jason Sudeikis was. But I, I could barely that. hear that, so go ahead and. So, for the sake of the record, for the so who didn't hear or anyone who wasn't hearing the recording, yeah, number I five, no strings attached. Number six, friends with benefits. Yeah, right. and and the joke was the character said it reversed initially, and then yeah. the woman had to correct him. I can't believe that show is still on TV. What Ted Lasso? Yeah, it's very popular. It's so I heard. I tried it. I've never seen it. Really good. <laughs> no. I've it's never awful, Karen. The first season's okay. You have to watch the second season because it's a time travel show. Yeah, I bet. Mm. I watched half of the second season and it's <laughs> now sad. I'm gonna have to watch it. It's awful. Nah. It's not, it's not. I'm just joking. Season two is not as good as season one, but it's good. And season three gets better as it goes along. No, it doesn't. There's she's having an affair you with her seen employee. Season three, you can't say that. Number seven. She does. Number she's seven. Have, she's cheating on her. Oh. Hey, there's Yay. mirror mirror. Good job. Oh, good job, good Jane. Jane. Pulled it out of something. Jane. Number eight, Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah. Very good, Ooh, how about just the Huntsman? We said the that, Huntsman. That also yeah. sounds yeah. like a rom-com. We said the words. We said the word Snow White, and we said the word Huntsman. Did you say them in the right order? Well, we were talking about Snow White, and the number nine. Song. Paul Blart, Mall Cop, and you have to—you can't have just Mall Cop. You have to have Paul mm -hmm. Blart, Mall Cop. Yeah, and I, yeah. I got it just after you walked, left the room. Okay. You have to have the colon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mike, only, Mike, only... Would, Mike would insist you have to have the colon. We do have the colon. <laughs> it's rare you when know, a colon is. Optional. You can have any punctuation. <laughs> have an I had a colon so. <laughs> How about a backslash? Pepper, we have a um lot. Can you have an um We have a question mark. It doesn't make sense, but that's what we report. went with. Yay. It's impossible. Yeah, I don't remember that last one. I thought I'd remember Never it. Never heard of that. Never heard oh, of thank, it. thank you, Bill, for pulling that out. I remember well, the movie, just couldn't come up with the time. Well, you know, it's about this incompetent mall cop, and it came out in 2009. It has Seth Rogen in it. What did you say the name of that one was? Observe and Report. Observe and report. No, no colon. No we, colon. We have to find no something where the answer is it's in the chat. Anyone who's interested, the entire round is a, a, in a Word document in the chat. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Carl. So organized.
Okie dokie. Let's see what our scores might be. That was tough. That what was are we going to do? Round. What are we going to do, you guys? Look at this. Okay. So the mouse that roared, what'd you come up with? I got us for yeah, six. 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 Okay. Okay. So don't mess with the mouse. It will cost you a billion dollars. Ten. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yay. <laughs> We've got a German for the time being. Oh, four. I forgot the Ooh, team name. Ouch. Yikes. Well, well yeah, I think we see some separation now. Keep them separated. We're, we're, we're all, okay, well, you know, that's not good for the round, but we're, we feel just a tiny bit superior for not knowing. So like, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> It'd be a big fat zero but, if it was me. We're just thinking the go. same thing. It's a little embarrassing to be 10 in that case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Bank 1984 fiction again, which was Carl's team. Seven, I believe. Okay, Mystic Washington Squashers. Six. I reject your belittling of our knowledge. We are well yeah. rounded. I, 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 you know, you, you do is you. Are we not yeah. updating the spreadsheet again? No, it's I mean, updated. It you is not. That? It is not updating. There's two, two, uh, two squares on Okay, let me, let me. My, my uh, internet froze for half about a second, so maybe that's uh, a refresh. Uh, it's an internet thing. That I refreshed, but now it wants to go right there. Okay, there you go. Can you see it now? No, no, no. no. What? It's yeah. blank. You unshare yeah. and reshare. Yeah, unshare, reshare. I think that's the only way to fix it. Wow, rude. Well, you could that's always rude. unplug and plug your phone back in. <laughs> My phone. Oh, it's there. It it's a miracle. And we tried turning it off and turning wow. it back on again. Still Take it outside. Three team is pretty close. Okay. It's starting to separate a little bit there. I was getting worried for a minute there because it was getting kind of close. Well, have we ever had a five-way tie? That would be amazing. Oh Every my week. gosh. How could that it's not possible? Uh it will just do bench and duty the whole time. Statistically possible. If, if we do and lighthouse games. Lighthouse is the bench and duty. Yeah, I'd say if we do enough games, it's statistically probable. Why do you guys keep moving around on the screen? Stop it. We, we like to do that just to mess with you. Oh yeah, we do it on purpose, Susan. I knew it. Kevin. We're yeah. actually changing the Ready to rumble. You're ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, I used um, a little bit of help from a program called, per, or a site called perplexity.ai, and I asked it to generate trivia questions with answers about board games and such like that. And it did give me a lot of stupid questions. So I just kept asking different questions <laughs> and variations of that to get questions about board games with and without dice, with and without cards and stuff like that. And I got a lot of the same questions over and over again. But anyway, I picked my favorite ones and that's what they are. You did double check. You did double check the answers, right? Because as we know, yes. the AI apps yes. tend to hallucinate. I thought yes, he was going to say, some of them I, I so did this wrong. for a couple hours and I kept trying and I kept trying finally wrote a category in dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, what I, is the name of the lighthouse behind? No, just kidding. <laughs> George. So, okay, so um, what are you calling this category? So it's about it's, games in general, games in general. Okay, it's muting. Exactly Three, right. two, one. Okay, so the first question is, so. You're muted, Kevin. You're Kevin. muted. Thank you. So far, what is the highest score possible for one word in the game of Scrabble? Less than 500 points? 500 to 999? 1,000 to 1,499? 1,500 to 2,000? Or over 2,000? And I have a video I'll show you later that shows how they did it. Question wow, number wow. two. Question number two. What is the rent on boardwalk with one hotel. And this was a question. Next question is not about games, but it, I just thought it was interesting enough. It came up because of some of the questions led to it just by weird coincidence, I guess. I don't know, computer language or something. Besides the letter Q, what letter is not used in the periodic table of the elements? Okay, that is odd. Yeah, it's just one of the questions that popped up with something I was writing, looking for, and letters and stuff. Okay. At all? 
or singularly by itself? It's not used. The letters of the alphabet are all used in the periodic table except Q and one other letter. In the game scr Scrabble, how many tiles are in the bag at the beginning of the game? Plus or minus five. At the beginning of the game, meaning the start before you had Yeah, the tiles. bag, the bag, how many okay. in the game? How many tiles do they send you when you buy a brand new game? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I could have said it that way. Not after the, a few years. AI, AI, AI wrote it a different way. <laughs> What would be the total point value of all those titles plus or minus 20? We could call the Scrabble. Almost. Yeah, there was a lot of Scrabble questions because that's what I started with. How many spaces are on the Monopoly board? Some of these are simple. Some of these are, you'll overthink. <sighs> In the game of chess, the king can move one square in any direction, horizontal, vertical, or, diag or diagonal. But what is it called when the king moves two steps? And don't say cheating. <laughs> How many checkers does each player begin with in the game of backgammon? Checkers? Plus or minus Checkers. There's a person. Well, that's what they use. They use checkers. The tokens. Well, not my they call checkers. Set, but okay. okay. Backgammon Pips. tokens. Pips. Pips, they so, call them? Whatever they, they, they call them. Yeah. How many do you get? Plus or minus one. I don't know what they're called. They're just called markers, I think, I, aren't they? The question said checkers. Maybe the AI was wrong. You could use checkers. If you could play the word Susan in Scrabble, <laughs> how many points would you score with no double or triple multipliers? Now, that is a good question. The answer like is that. Washington. <laughs> with no, wait, the, R. The, the AI asked you this question. No, I got it. For, but I think, no, the AI didn't get it. This led, I didn't like the AI questions. Okay. I like this in, question. In what country was the game Chinese checkers invented? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> and I got a bonus question, even though I'm not supposed to. I got a bonus question. Sorry. Sorry for the 10 seconds. How many holes are there in a Chinese checkers board or dance, whatever it mean? You know, the, when they put the marbles in, how many impressions or holes? Oh, my God. Plus or minus five. And that's it. But, He's but, such a rule but the bonus doesn't count, right? No, it counts. If you get it right, you get a point. So if you have 10, you can't get 11. But if He's just a rebel. Rebel. If you have Rebel. nine, you can get ten. Rebel. Uh, and my head. If you All right. right. You get the bonus, you can get ten points. All right, go to your rooms. Go to your rooms. We we eliminated the bonus to save time, but he went through pretty quick, so I think. Yeah, I guess. Thank Don't you. anybody get the idea that we're going to do these all the time? Hi, Susan. Team. Well, I have a shot, at least of these. The last category I could have is no help at all, but this one I have a little help. Yep, I've got a couple, I think. Okay, so how have you guys been doing this? Somebody screen sharing or are you just <clears throat> talking about them? Uh, we are just talking about them uh, for, for the recent one. At this point, one. I guess I'm writing them down. Okay, yeah. so highest score just possible for chat. one word? Can't imagine it being more than five hundred. I think it's it's uh, B one thousand to fourteen ninety nine. What happened to see? I'm missing my chat here. See, there's no. It would be one thousand to fourteen hundred ninety nine. I think so. I guess if you went all the way across the board and hit all the triple spaces and all that. And use the maximum cues right. and stuff. Mm -hmm. I guess that's possible. So Good you're saying mark. essentially C one thousand rent on boardwalk. Yeah, 50. I want to say wow. it's two hundred dollars. Because without the hotel, it's fifty, right? With one hotel, with one hotel. No, it's before a hotel, it's, it's two. 50. It's two. Yeah, it's it's with a hotel, it's two thousand. Yeah, two thousand one yes. hotel. With one with a 2000? hotel, two thousand. I haven't played in a while. 
I'm starting to keep my friends now because I don't play. <laughs> yeah, back in the day when I wanted to get rid of friends, we played. Q, what's a letter? It's not used in the periodic table. I? No. No, I is in iron. I yeah. don't think there's a J. I think that is correct. Yeah. Why would uh, that be? Because it just didn't it, use J as an abbreviation. Yeah, and it would be hard to separate from an I. Yeah, I think also it's fair. J. J. I can't think of any elements whose names start with J anyway. Yeah. Not until the name one after me. <laughs> Janinian? Yeah. Sure. No, they, they, they go with your last name. That's no, they would go Nini. Nini, Nini. <laughs> okay. Um, Scrabble, how many tiles are they? Is it 100? Well, there's 26 letters. <laughs> Who? By this point, still has all their tiles. I don't know if I have all of them, but I have a game. <laughs> I think I still have mine. I lost I some think... of my tiles years ago. I yeah. think it's in 100. the beginning. At I the have beginning. no idea That's why. That's a personal question. My head. Yeah. I think a hundred's a reasonable guess. I think yeah, a hundred is probably right. Total value. The fed. Well. It's a minimum of a hundred. <laughs> um, right. There are several ten point. Well, I think that the problem is Scrabble and words with friends have different point values. Okay, so a hundred would be if every one of the tiles is a one. It's worth one point. Now, there are two blank tiles. There are. Probably like 500 points. Something. No, it's not going to be that high. I think it might be. I think it might be 200. But not really higher than that, because I think Z and Q are each worth 10 and there's only one of each. I believe J is worth eight and there's only one J. So that's 28 points. That's uh, true. It's probably three tiles, and those are the largest ones. So I don't think it's going to be more than about two hundred. You're saying two hundred? I think it's lower, like one seventy-five. Mm. Why don't we say one eighty-five? Do we have a plus or minus on this? Twenty. 20. Oh. So you're That's saying fine. one? So what did you say, Leonard? 185 to sort of 185. split the difference. Yeah, that's fair. Number I believe number six is 40. <laughs> that is correct. 10 on each side. Oh, I counted it out. It has nine spaces in between the four corners plus the four right. corners. So, yeah. Um, number seven is castling. castling. No, castling's not. It's whenever the. Wait, oh, wait, wait. Castle is when Castle the Castle is the way. only occasion where the king can move two spaces. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yep. That's the only one I knew. <laughs> and I was thinking, I was confusing it with the other one. There's there the first move of the game. When you move a pawn, you can move it two spaces. Well, you know, there is a second answer for when the king moves two steps. Cheating? Cheating. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> He, he said you can't use it. He disqualified he, he that one. Explicitly eliminated yeah. that. Um, he was that. specific. Yeah. Okay. How many checkers are on each player begin with a game of backgammon? Okay. Let me think. Wait, wait, wait. I've, I know this. Fifteen. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen. Am I right? I love I backgammon. Don't know. I love that I've game. I've never played. Oh my gosh. Um, is how much is a U worth in Scrabble? Three points? Two or three, I can't remember. 
Because uh, everything else is a one pointer in there. In Scrabble? On Susan. Oh. S, S, A, N. Those are all one pointers. No, I think the N is worth two points. No. Yeah. N, R, S, T, R, R, S, T, L, N. Those are all the most common letters. Mm, you know, I might be thinking of words of friends again. Mm -hmm. So you is the only thing that I don't know. So if you is worth two or three. So let's see, there's six or seven. Six or seven. What do you guys think? A U. I think it's seven. I would guess seven. Okay. Okay. Anybody else care? Like, Chinese like checkers. Guess, I've seen this question before. Where was it invented? Russia? Yeah, we had it. We had this question before. Ukraine? I think it was Germany. I was thinking Germany too. That's fine with me. I, I don't know. Well, hello. Hi there. How many? Which, which one's that? Ariadne. How many holes are there on a Chinese checkered board? Lord, it's been ages since I played that. That's one we played all the time. Yeah, I was young. I, I think we counted the pieces. holes on the board. I Is think it the, it's kind of like those diamond? Not, uh, it's like a diamond, right? It goes like this. A star. It's a and star. then it goes into a, a star, star, but they're diamond it's a six each. six-pointed star, yeah. So there's six-pointed star and there's ten. And each star. Five. So it's like one, three, five, three, one. Is that what it looks like? Or is there like seven in the middle? Does it go one, three, five, seven, three? I mean, five, three, one. And there's six of those? There would be 50 inside the stars, but I have no idea how many seven. is but I think there's ten. I think 19, there's two to three to four. I've count twenty five in a in each each thing. So twenty five times six. That's my guess. So there would be four, four across each of the stars. So it'd be four, 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 four. So it'd be. Four I thought it was like six. one, three. I, I maybe I'm not visualing the thing right. Actually, this would not be that hard to figure out. Yeah. So aren't there ten in each of the triangles? Yes, there's ten in each triangle, and there's four at the bottom. So for each of the triangles, there would be four. So. That's six times four. That's 24. There's 50 for the triangles, 24 for the first. So if you one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. I'm not picturing the game. Three, I was thinking four, it was like a two, like a diamond, like this, and then it goes down. One. I thought it was a just a, a complete um six-pointed star it is yes so and there's something in the middle yes so we're needing to figure out what's in the middle when we know that are there six in each of the points what does it take to fill it fill in when there's 24 around the circle, and then that would be. Oh, in the and middle? Everything lines up. So start filling them in, except I can't do it. 10? Is there marble side? So there's, there's, there's 10 in each of the um, triangles on the points. Oh, I thought oh, there's, there's, a, and there's six. It's a six point. So that's 60. So that's 60. And then there's a central hexagon. Right. And with the first ones being four, 
Right. And then fill it in, Leonard. <laughs> so it's going to be, well, four, three, two, one. It's it's about 60. Well, we have plus or minus five. Yeah. Um, so do you so think it, 120? Yeah. So it's going to be basically the same number as the triangles that get flipped in. Oh, yeah. yeah so it's going to be 120. Yeah. As so long it's, as it's, it's a six pointed star and not a five pointed yeah, so star. It's, 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 there's a little bit of overlap. So there's some asymmetry, but so it's not, it's not exactly 120, but it's awfully close. I want so bad to Google this. <laughs> I can't remember what they look like. And each point's a different color, right? No. I the think it depends on who makes are, the board. Yeah, it depends on, but the points, the ones I had, the points were blue and the center was yellow. I believe. And it was made of cardboard and we lost the frame on the outside and you got to choose different color marbles. So each person got different colored marbles. Are we sure it's a six-pointed star, not a five-pointed star? Yeah. Okay. Then, then 120. That'd be good. Yeah, I'll I'll recognize a a star of David anywhere. Okay. It's been a number of years since I played, but that was the most common game that we played. You could use it. You can get a whole bunch of games and play it at. Your son's wedding. All, every table could have a Chinese <laughs> checker game. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. <laughs> I'm not in charge of what we do with the That's wedding. That's what you can do. Every table has <laughs> a Chinese can't. checker set. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> know, Angela's in the flowers, not games. I think it'd be very attractive. And I, much more I fun than flowers. The kids, the kids are really into games. Like when they came out, the last time they came out with the kids, it was like we were sitting outside and they kept pulling more and more games out. But they were games I hadn't played. Oh, Caspian and, and Sterling get together. They bring me all these games I've I've never played before. There's lots. They're, they're constantly coming out with new games. I've got a bunch. And then the thing is, nobody comes over and plays them with me. I know I got, play every like four weeks or something. One game. I I got tracking the national parks for Christmas and they didn't send over someone to play with me. Oh. So Caspian's got a game he's supposed to be figuring out because we yeah. never could figure it out. He's supposed to be there. He's supposed to learn how to play it so that he can show me. I do. Did you figure it out? I don't know what you're talking about. So it's that it's one of those um Azul games. Azul, oh. I love Azul. Nobody wants to play me anymore. I'm going to have to go and find strangers to play games with. I'll sit out in the front lawn. <laughs> yeah, people are walking their dogs. I'm like, oh, complete. Oh, yeah. Mark is going to start doing magic classes at the Senior Adult Center in town. They're really an active group. And he says, what he's going to do, he told me today, he says, they're trying to start a game night and like table games and stuff. And I go, Oh, really cool. And he goes, they're looking for somebody to run it. <laughs> uh, oh, that's interesting. Matt matching the uh, photograph there, uh, Kevin. Yep. Yep. It's a video. I think it is. It's a video. I took a bag of chips. I went and bought a bag of chips. I had been to this place twice before and didn't realize it was the place until Someone said the name is it's an actual real place. And I looked it up and I said, No, that's not the place. I know how did you place. get the how did you get the how did you find a place that had the lighthouse on its side? <laughs> yeah, it, it's uh it's gravity. It's magic, Susan. It's yeah, maybe it's, magic. It's, it's being supported it and you can't tell because on of the which place. part of the globe that you're on. He's yeah, on exactly the coast. on the equator. I, I'm the on the east coast, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> that makes total sense to me. And on the west coast, it would tip it the would other point way. to the left. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it would be the left coast, as the we left like coast. to call it. 
Yeah. yeah. Works that yeah. way. It's called the Nosset Lighthouse. And it was used to be white. And then they said they, they painted the top red so that they could see it in the daytime from a long distance. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> I sent this video to, to Susan. I said, send this to Lou if you, if you see him. <laughs> I thought of him. <laughs> Me and my wife have gone to almost every White House on the Cape. There's like seven or eight of them. There's one we haven't been to. <coughs> and it's really hard to get. It should be Jewish checkers. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish space laser checkers. I just walked into that. Oh. We missed the joke. I, I I could not remember what a Chinese checkerboard. I probably played it last when I was five years old. So I just looked it up and it just popped up and it's like, oh my God, it's a Jewish star. Oh, I'm going to go look right. for it now. Now Jeez. I can look at it. Janine's going to have them at her, at her son's wedding. Every table's going to have them. Oh, and that really actually kind of correlates with our guest. No spoiler alert there, but. Here, meet, meet my kitty. Hello, kitty. Oh, my kitty. Oh, oh, the, uh, the answers. Sweetheart. Oh. They found two different answers for number one, but they're both in the same range. And one of the videos is linked there. It shows you the word. I think it's, I don't know how to say it. It's some weird chemical name or something. So it's, uh, you can click on that link if you want to see the what? word for oh Scrabble. Gosh, 1,600, 1,700 something yeah. points. How on earth wow. can you do that? Yeah, they show it in that video if you click on the link. Number two, $2,000, not $200. Oh, yeah. A few people said $200, $2,000. Oh, oxen. Ah, no, for one house, it's not $2,000. No, it's for, for one, one hotel. hotel. Oh, hotel. hotel. I misread it. Uh, Adrian. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't think it was that high. Wait, so wait. Just, I mean, the sorry, letter is, I missed something. Why is one two different numbers? What's going on there? Because they found two different sources that had different numbers, but they're both in the same range. The answer is 500 to 999. <laughs> That's what we put. No, the answer is is in that range. Uh, oh, the, oh no, I put the answer, answer oh. down. So. Oh, my God. We got, oh, my God. We said 185 on the um, oh wait, on question five. Wait, Kevin, are any of these plus or minus? Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm so lost. Are we going to go over the answers? Yes, they I'm are. going over the answers. They're in the chat. Okay. Can we, can we go uh, over them instead num of number number That's one? The doing. answer is the the category that is fifteen hundred to two thousand. Okay. okay. That's the answer. Number two, the rent is two thousand dollars. Number three, the letter besides Q is the letter J. The letter J. Number four. How many tiles at the beginning of the game? One hundred in the bag. One hundred. Oh. Anywhere between. 95 to 105, you got that one right. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at a Chinese checker. The total check. points of all those tiles is 187. So Oof. 167 to 207 would be correct. Ooh, be plus or minus we one. said 185. I'm I'm impressed. Oh, very good. 185 is correct. The total points, yeah, that 187. Um, how many spaces on Monopoly board? 40. Yay. Yay. Mm. I'm sorry. I heard a lot of people reason that out, and I was listening to Karen reason it out, and they they agreed with her finally. <laughs> it took That's a little the one while. Thing I knew I could name yeah. all the things. She was she was naming the sides, and then they they realized, yeah, she's right. Good job, Karen. That's cool. Um, if Hold you can play wrong, Susan, Karen. each one is worth one point. I, you know so what? I should have just said five. You know, because I thought you was actually a one pointer. That's better. right. Any other name? What number would, seven? Number seven, the chin. The, the, oh yeah, the castling. Okay. The, rook, the king moves two, and then the rook moves to the other side of him. It's only if legal if there's no plays in between, and neither the king or the rook has been moved. Yeah. Also, also, it, you can't castle through a check. No. Yeah, you can't castle out of a check, right? If you're in check, you can't castle to get out of it. What, what country was the Chinese check. checkers vented in Germany? <laughs> Yay. Yay. And the number right. of the number of dents or pips or whatever you call them on a Chinese checkerboard is 121. Wow. So it's a minus five. Good so math, close. Carl. 
Oh, we were one we off. Minus five. I got one. Okay, minus five on that one. One yeah. off. Kevin, could you go back to eight? And then I figured number eight. Oh, eight. Was... Oh, number eight is how many checkers does the person begin with in backgammon? Fifteen. Fifteen. Whoa. So it's plus or minus one. Four. Yep. So plus it's fourteen to sixteen. One. We said fifteen. Okay. Oh. We said eighteen, didn't we? <laughs> You said 18, you're wrong. I could not have yeah. chosen the wrong number on that. I find and it you know what? You're right. I think I did say 18. Yeah. And nine. I know. I know. Nine was nine. five. Nine is five. But it was worth one. Nine is five. So, so we were five. off on nine. Thank, okay. thank I am really on embarrassed that, that I thought you was worth more than one point. I I think don't confuse You was only worth a friends. point, Susan. It's words with friends that confused us, Susan. Well, Caspian says three, the and then I said maybe travel. it's worth two, and I should have just gone with one. I, yeah, I didn't know myself on, on a lot of these because I play words with friends. I haven't played Scrabble in a long <laughs> yeah. time. Because that, that, you know why, Miss Gerbic? Because when we're talking, Susan, you should be recognized for being worth much more than five. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know what I'm really embarrassed about backgammon too. I put it's five, three, five, three, two, and I I added another three. I'm really oh, embarrassed. Yeah. I'm sorry, team. I really should have done better. You know, I made a mistake like that too. I play Scrabble every day and online and. I never, I missed that first one because I thought a seven letter word is the maximum you can make with your tiles and maybe you'd add two or three from somebody else. But what they, I just looked up that site and it's like four words in a row that's still up the entire. Can, do you mind thing. if we look at that but together? They, they are small words that all can add together and get on three simple words. Yeah, so sure. Hold on. I don't know how you could do that in one turn because you, yeah you can't do it in one turn you'd have to do that in you could i guess theoretically you could if the words around it were all there and you had exactly the right letters to fit in between but I you know it just seemed odd because how would you do that with the uh, okay hold on i'm gonna start right now for those of you who can't see that very well are you stopping recording before it's you no, 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 it's, YouTube right video or no? it's not like a, it's got 22 subscribers Oh, we don't even... oh, you it a little bit. What? That's all it is. is that okay, so it? here it goes. It shows how it plays out. It's vertically from the top left down. Right. Yes. Because it would be there. brainwashing right here. There's probably going to put a B right here. Hmm. Yeah, it fills wow. the whole entire left column when it's done. God, can you imagine how good it, this you would have to be to get this? Yeah, Nobody it didn't really looks. happen. Imagine Someone just did it. And how right lucky. At the right time. Okay, here it yeah, is. Wow. Pause it right there. So there's brainwashing. It starts from o ox, ejaculating. Oh, oh X, P, Read the description. Oxyfen butum zone. <laughs> it's a chemical. That's a made-up word. That's not in Scrabble. And ejaculating. Look at this. Doesn't make sense. What is X I S? Yeah, that I've heard. That's a, that's real. That's C, a word. C is a word. X I S is a word. It's the plural of Z. The, the plural Greek letter. Of letter. Of a, a Greek letter. Yeah, if you if you play Scrabble, you need to know that one. That that she in Chinese, and you can make it plural. I, I love okay. the, I love I've the never heard of food. opacifying, though. I, I've never All these people food. playing oh, Scrabble. My Scrabble board has read. Fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you get a six-letter word, everybody cheers. What is it? Oot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that, that's I never word. heard of it. It's very useful. It's what so Canadians say the when they have to go outside. The problem is having the right <laughs> sorry. in between for the seven letters. Shorthand for out of sound. able to go through three triple words. Um, you know and a boot. You know, you know what boot is? I know. I know what it is. What? You know What's the it? scale do re mi fa so la ti do. Oot yeah. is an older form of do. It used uh, to be oot, and they changed mm -hmm. it to do. Eds e d s eds. Ye. That's a real word. 
of little yeah. faith. Yeah. Be of little yeah, faith. The so word you're talking about. Um, like how many, many overtimes can a hockey game have? And people know the third overtime now. Words well, yeah, yeah. How many overtimes can they have in a hockey game? game? It, as it, many as it takes. You guys are all talking too much. As many as it takes. Faith is starting her category. Wait a second. Don't, hockey. Don't, don't, hockey team don't, don't, don't talk yeah. about the damned hockey game. I'm re I'm watching it on recorded. So don't <laughs> talk about that. I'm watching it live. What's it worth to you? What's it worth to you? 1 a.m. and they are still playing. Oh, come on. He's watching. Shut up. He's watching the Jersey Devils play the Kraken. The Kraken. Yeah, the Kraken are oh, the <laughs> and the coach said, no, "Really, the Kraken about it." Okay, Carl. I scores. mean, uh, uh, Kevin. Good scores. job. Oh, do we get the scores? No, no, no that's no. next. You guys want scores? That would be nice. Uh, sure, why not? At some oh point. my gosh, you guys are so picky. She Let's get your scores. I just she was kidding. I want to look up all those other stupid words. Oh, awesome, whatever. Okay. We've got a German for the time being. Oh, uh, six. Okay. I keep forgetting Five. our name. The mouse that roared. Did you get any pointers? Six. Six. Okay. Make 1984 fiction again. Nine. Ugh. How dare you? Nice. Oh, Mystic wow, nice. and Squashers. Oh. Eight. Gail, Gail was our oh. ringer. And don't mess with the mouse. It'll cost you oh. $1 billion. Seven. Uh oh. Nice. Oh, oh, we got a tie. Oh. Oh. 7.2. Oh. All right. All right, Ron. It better not be lighthouses. Oh, you're going to miss lighthouses with this one. I can tell it's you that. Right an now. <laughs> can I say night. that Ra, uh, Ron is banished from making categories? Ron? <laughs> you you will in a few minutes. Yeah, yeah you're I'm... banished. For, for oh. those of you who hung around to the very end last week, you'll remember I gave everybody a hint when I said <sighs> that the category is going to be Aldi Bach. <laughs> And I'm sure all of you guys went and tried to learn everything you could about the Terminator. Nope. Um, if you did, that was a complete waste of time Far because Good, I didn't today's know. category Bach, is. The musician. Uh, ah, Bach, Bach. Bach, that's what I thought. So oh, er everybody knows that Bach was a very oh, prolific God. composer. He had over a thousand compositions. Not uh, everybody not... knows. I didn't know well, that. You do now. now. Then we'll you should. Them. However, he was also prolific in a different way. Bach oh. had 20 kids. Children. Oh, oh my God. God. Name them. And yeah. he, um, <laughs> they're all named George. They're all named George Johan. Foreman, George Foreman, George Foreman. <laughs> now, now, yeah. Uh, well, you're getting close, actually. I have some rules in here because it's the only way to make this one actually work because I'm sure everybody has memorized all 20 kids. Um, <laughs> so basically the rules are, and these are these are Ronald rules, by the way. Oh, um, we have a new we have a new thing. No, okay, no, new, new, rule system. no new yeah. rule system. So, so basically here, this is actually to make it a lot easier for everybody <laughs> here. So essentially back in the in box day, um, First names weren't all that important, especially in Germany. So a lot of people were known by their second names and third names or whatever. And all of his kids had at least two names, so given names. So I will accept any of their names. I don't oh, care Bach. whether it's first, second, or third yeah, name. Yeah, it's easy. Just Bach. Any, Bach. any of Bach, those, yeah. other than the last name, oh, I will accept oh. any of the names. However, Same. he was not very right when it came to coming up with names so he reused a lot of names <laughs> uh, amongst those 20 kids so in a case where there are two kids with the same name i will need at least two names so you can uniquely identify the kid oh. so if if bach had a son you know johann sebastian bach jr i would accept johann only if there were no other Johans. I would accept Sebastian if there were no other Sebastians. If there were, I'm going to need Johan Sebastian. God, I so, hope my team knows what they're doing. Now, I have a theory. Stupid rule. That I got what, two more rules. One more rule Holy is shit. there are four of his kids that are actually known by their initials, more so even than their names. 
If you know them, I will accept the initials instead of the names. Thank you. And finally, the last one that even though he is purported to be one of Box 20 odd children and the oddest, I am not accepting PDQ Bach. Oh, uh, <laughs> the only one I knew. The only one Who's I knew. that? <laughs> Peter Shickley. Yeah. And yeah. that is tonight's bonus. If this oh doesn't God. change the scores around, um, nothing will. Um, can, I have a Question. theory about Ron. You want to hear it? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. yes, please. He's using the lazy husband gambit. Versus, Honey, do the dishes. Sure. And you do just a terrible job and then you don't get asked to do the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> but he keeps volunteering. Uh, though. But, they keep bringing, but they keep bringing me back. I don't understand. Why he keeps... In this case. Oh, oh Lord. Touche. Have fun. And we have to name 10. Good luck with that. Oh yeah. God, Ron! You're in I, so yeah, trouble. I don't know, but we have Jane. Jane's, Jane's on our team. Jane is on our team. She she does this stuff. She knows Ron, all. Ron, get out of here! We're pissed off at you. <laughs> all right, yeah. I will go. Jane, I will go. you're gonna Jane. You're just gonna name them all, and then we'll okay. All go ahead, Jane. Who's writing them down? <laughs> I got him writing. I'm writing them down. I what just you think his music. I don't pay attention. To you me. know his kids' names. Yeah. Come on, come on, channel it. Some of them were composers, weren't they? You must know them. So there has to be. Why is she laughing? Why is she not talking? There has to be a <laughs> Johann Sebastian Jr. of some kind, right? I, I'm going to say there's at least one <laughs> Johann and one Johanna. Johanna? Johanna How could you not come up with 20 names? I mean, come on. There's probably a Friedrich. What about Sebastian? There's probably I was going to say Johann Sebastian and Sebastian Johann. What was the Lynn, same? you know this stuff, don't you? I I have no idea. I have no idea. What are some common names from? Is he German? Carl, Carl Friedrich, Carl Hans, Georg, Frederick. Yeah, Friedrich. Leonard or Leonardo? Leonardo. We just go with a Friedrich. Yeah, we should okay, do a right? Friedrich. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Just name some common names. How okay, so Hans? there's probably Maria. How about a Hans? It got to be a Hans. Hans. Maria? And we have a we're I using Leopold over Leonardo, Susan. Yeah, Leopold, Leopold, okay. Leopold. Leopold over Leonardo. He didn't say how many were male or female. No, it, no. I'm sure it's a mix. <laughs> 20 kids. So we want, we, okay, so we have a Johann Sebastian Jr. We've got a Friedrich, a Hans, a Sebastian. <laughs> I don't think they call them. Juniors back there. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. The what second. about that's a good one. What? Gunther. 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 Yeah. Isn't it a German? German Gunther is a name. Gunther. 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 Yeah, yeah. That sort of sounds like I German. I would say Christian and Christina. For German? Yeah. Yes, I think so too. And Christina. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight. Um, eight off. Well, would there be a Mary or something? A Mary a or Marie? some sort of. <laughs> what about a Marie? We have Maria. Virgin Mary kind of thing? Were they Catholic? Or they, they wouldn't be Catholic, Maria. they'd be Lutheran. Well, they didn't have birth control, for one. But what they would have named them after the, the mother, uh, the Virgin Mary, wouldn't they? Well, that's what then we write down Maria. That's kind I of suggested it, but Peggy didn't say it. Uh, I didn't hear it. I'm Maria? I'm putting it down now. I'm gonna put them all on a thing and I'm gonna share it. But wouldn't that would make sense, right? Some religious names. Think we can go with the religious sound. How about a Matthew or a Matteo or a Mateo's whatever the German Italian. Yeah, they're some German equivalent of Matthew. Midas, Mid Mid no, I don't think Matthew, no, or of Mark. I think, um, how about Charles? <laughs> well, some some German equivalent of Charles, yeah, what would it be? Chuck, <laughs> <laughs> Carl, Carlo, probably. Carlo, or a Carlos? Well, we have Carl. Probably Carl. Sounds Latin. We have Carl. Yeah. 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 Probably Carl. Charlemagne. 
<laughs> That's Latin, though. Carl Bach. <laughs> Anne? Some have? kind of Anne name. What about a uh, Klaus? Like K -L -I -U -S? Oh, Klaus. Klaus. I bet there's an Anne in there or a, some sort of form of um, Anne or, or like Elizabeth. Uh huh. Okay, so where where was he from? Because Germany didn't exist yet. Well, we've got we ten. It's called Western Europe. But what do we, do we like? <laughs> well, most of Germany is in central, more central. Do you Europe. have Johanna? Yeah, we have Johanna. Johanna. That's a good one. I'm getting Duggar vibes from this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that should be a bonus. Name the Duggar kid. <laughs> oh my God! Scary. I don't know. I mean, they even cheated by having either. ginger spelled with a J. <laughs> Gertrude. <laughs> Heidi. 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 That sounds more Swiss. It sounds more <laughs> Swiss and kind of like not what. Like oh, Heidi. Yeah. Heidi, uh, Bach. Uh, Heidi Bach. Heidi uh, Bach. Right here, uh, Heidi Bach. <laughs> <laughs> it's. German isn't Wilhelm and a German. Oh name. yeah, like William. Wilhelm. 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 Yeah. Wilhelmina. I like Wilhelm. Wilhelm or Wilhelmina, yeah. Werner. Well, he said he wasn't very creative. So oh, that's what if good. he did have a Wilhelm, a Wilhelmina? What about his wife? Didn't she come up with names? Is she too busy? She was too busy having babies. And She's and women babies. didn't have any decision making authority over stuff like that. Yeah. Werner. Werner? Werner? Werner. Werner. Like Werner von Braun. Yep. Yeah, that's good. What do we take out? It doesn't take sound out, kind of sainty enough. Take you know? out Gunther because that's it, like yeah. don't take out Gunther. Yeah. Don't take out <laughs> yeah, Gunther. I like the Willem, Wilhelmina. I think taking out Christina. <clears throat> Augustus. Ooh. Oh, I don't think that's so true. keep Christina because Christina is Christian. Christian? I, I wouldn't think Christina. Yeah, because that's the feminine version of Christina. I would think you remember. But I want to put. I want to put. Um, what was the name we were just had? Werner. Werner is good. Vernon. Vernon. What if we take out Leopold? Okay. Leopold sounds. Correct. Okay. Try to bear in mind that for the most part, if you were named anything, it had to be a saint's name. I don't know what saint is related to Werner. Francis. Francis is good. But that would be St. Francis. There's a lot of Francis's. Or how about some I'm kind of Michael my German ancestors and well, we have to take Francis. some off because we have like 13. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. wouldn't there be like a Michael? Why are you thinking up new ones when we're trying to get rid of the ones? Archie Michael. <laughs> Christina. Yeah, Michael's not really German, is it? But some Christina version of Michael. Michael. Okay, let's get rid of Christina yeah. and Werner. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I like Christina, so Christina. I'm, I'm giving my objection. Christina. Okay, noted. Werner, I don't, I don't. Care I think we should take Wilhelmina off. No, well, what are you going to replace Wilhelmina with? Probably Vernon or um. Vermin, <laughs> Vermin Bach. <laughs> or you your little rats, Vermin Bach. Or um. Christiana. Christiana. I like Christiana better than Christina. One of those, I however like. he sounds it, I think if it's the female version of Christian, we should accept, we should give ourselves a point. Yeah. How okay. we Here's what I'll do. Right, I'll do Desi Christina. You, are we going to take off Johann Sebastian Bach the second? No, I think. I want to keep uh, Johann because I'm, I'm. I think there was a. I just a, think that Johann, name Johannes. Name but you know, his children, all of them did not live to be adults. They, but they had to have names. Well, oh, sometimes no, in that in that period, Martin. in that period, if a child died, often the next child would be named the same name. Same name, yeah. Yeah. They some of them they didn't name, they just called them baby. <laughs> well, let's I'm gonna take the junior off, but I think one of them was named Johann Sebastian, right? Well, I take the sure. junior. Well, I, I guess we don't need the junior. Yeah, we know Let's it's the second or the third or whatever. I don't even know. I don't think they um, used junior back then. Yeah. <laughs> so do we want to keep Johann Sebastian and Sebastian? How about we just call him Johann? 
Yeah, Johan. I think yeah, well, we if, we, if we're going to do Johan, we need to put another name with it, don't we? Yeah, because he said if he if there was duplicates, like sure. if he had a okay. Johan and then a Johan Sebastian, we would need so to have you're saying Johann. if we had a Johan and a Johan Sebastian? That makes you sense. You have to figure out what Johan's, like it could be Johan Leopold and Johan Sebastian. Johan Sebastian. Oh my right? God. But, if well, there's twenty the of them, so we name, can... you have to give the second name to designate your fund. Yeah. Which... So they're kind of, you know, we keep Hans. coming up with really good names, and they could be Hans part of the twenty. Is... Hans is not Hans. Hans is good. No, that's Hans. more Scandinavian. Isn't that German? Hans? No, Scandinavian Hans. No, I yeah. think German. Yeah. Isn't well, clever Hans German? That's right, Clever Hans. How about Isabella? Yay! Isabella is a good name. Adolf. We're trying to add more we names. We're not putting Adolf in here. Oh my, this is being recorded. That's German. German. Adolf would have been good. I don't know why he's saying it. It's just somebody's name. Veronica it used to be a Adolf. nice name until 1940 something. Yeah. Is Veronica Adolf? German? What? Paul? Oh, just asking if Veronica was German. Maybe not. Uh, German version, but I don't know. So you guys still need a few more minutes? We have we we've come up with about 50 names. <laughs> this, this one, oh Ron. Oh, Ron. <laughs> Actually, it's not so bad because I just this was more just to see how well you guys are at coming up with German names. I really yeah, I think we did you really well. More than three or four of the yes. real ones. We did really well. Whether they fit, we don't know. But we yeah, yeah. We he named, named them a all. lot of German babies tonight. He named all right. them all Japanese names. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll do one more round through the groups and then probably close the rooms. Okay, okay, okay. so we have our top ten here, folks. Are we okay with that? Top nobody 10? nobody wants to put Adolf on there, huh? I I'm like okay, the okay I think Adolf's great. <laughs> no, if we Adolf. put Adolf, what are we taking off? Yeah, we have to take some off. Yeah, you don't don't put it on there. Don't do the pH in in Deutsch. No. Oh, not eight. Sound religious yeah. enough. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Take eight. I'm gonna say that Adolf mm -hmm. is not one of the names. No. Yeah. Right. I mean, think about all the people in history whose name is Adolf that didn't have a last name Hitler. How sad yeah, for them. That is sad. They really had wonderful. They're wonderful people. I had a grandfather named Adolf. I'm, and he was a very I'm, nice man, right? He was born before Adolf Hitler was born. <laughs> yeah, yeah see? Susan. It used to be a nice Susan. name. Yeah. I'll Do you know it. Hitler's sister's name? Hmm? Is Ad Adolfa? No, it's Paula. Oh. <laughs> and that didn't have a bad reputation. Oh, we don't hate you. No, 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 no. Why did you do that? What did you do? <laughs> He's a death in the name Heinrich. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, Henry. And then I remember. <laughs> Heinrich is a really good name too. I mean, my gosh, yeah, why can't yeah, we I think of Himmler at the end of it? I know, but can't Heinrich we separate Himmler. it? This is Bach we're talking about. It's like you can't name anybody. I have a cousin named Donald, and every time I think of it, I think of like her, her face. I know, poor guy. You know, you have this nice name, Faith, and somebody's going to go do a mass murder or do something really awful and use the name. No, Faith. I just have people assume I'm religious all the time. Yeah, that's true. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. My it's just my name. Wasn't. If my Wendy, people crazy. whose name is Wendy, don't don't blow around the name. <laughs> I could just go up and say Wendy. Well, I don't think of that. I think I would say Wendy is your middle name, Mora Angela Darling. Wendy From Angela Darling. Wendy Mora Angela Darling. Don't know. It didn't even. That is the full name of Wendy from Peter Pan. Well, okay. <laughs> All right, folks. Are we sticking with the top ten? I think you should write down the names at the bottom that we came up with that we would go and just as a guess that we, okay, so you know, we did come up with 20. We have Adolf and we have Heinrich. Yeah. And we have what else? Werner. 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 Whatever. Yeah, probably. We said, oh, I think it's um, a W if we're saying, yeah, yeah it's yeah, this Werner. one. Werner Von Braun. Yeah, Werner Von Braun. Werner Klemperer. What else do we come up with? Beethoven's what about Carl? Carl didn't make it on there. Oh, oh Carl okay. should be on here, huh? What, what about Carl Klaus also? K L A U S. That's Klaus. Klaus. Yes, Klaus should be up there. 
<laughs> Do we want to take any of them off for Carl or Klaus? Uh, and we don't, don't have an equal number of. I'm sure we've got we've got ten that are going to be good. Oh, Ludwig. Yeah. Ludwig. Ooh, Ludwig. 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 Beethoven. That was Beethoven. Franz, 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 Franz Liszt. Franz. Yes. Ooh. Franz, oh, yeah. Franz. Frederick. Susan. We have Frederick. Where'd Frederick go? I thought we had Frederick. Yeah, we, we had Frederick. Do we, we want Frederick? Name. Do we want Frederick or not? I don't know. What would you take person. off? Maybe Hans. I like Hans. Oh, well. I Hans. like Hans. I don't know what's German, isn't it? I swear it's German. Johanna? Johanna? I still think Hans Rosa? is Scandinavian. German. Maybe we should change Hans with like Frederick or Ludwig or something. Well, Hansel and Gretel, they, they were German. So I think Hans would be German. It just like what were we're suggesting uh, oh, all possible names. What were the kids' names from Sound of Music? Hey, he oh, said he would take first some middle names. Well, they were Austrian. They were there was Liesel yeah. and Liesel, Frederick. I'm going to take a picture of this because I I want to make sure I know that we. Oops, that's a picture of me. I don't want a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> Cameras turn around the other way. Would you stop naming Nazis? Well, but that makes sense. I bet there's He's a whole bunch of there. Gerbils. They were just names at one point. Yeah. Yeah. Like Their parents didn't know they were going right to turn now. out like that. Yeah. And then we're going to go watch <laughs> Nazi mega weapons down here. Okay, we have top 10, and then we have the ones that we're going to kick ourselves for not putting in the top 10 on, after That's that. That's right. But we'll That's have right. evidence that we did come so up we'll with remember, it. Remember, Bach was not that creative. I think we need to stick with the boring. The, yeah, mm -hmm. the boring. Yes, that is. is true. That is true. Good point. He's boring. Well, yeah. he was he was predictable, not boring. Oh, I don't know anything about music. I took a music class and it. I I think I got a D in it. I don't know but anything. Bach, Bach is predictable. He's not boring. You know what to expect. Oh, what does he do? All of his all of his music is very similar. So is it da 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 da? No, that's Beethoven. Oh, that's Beethoven. Beethoven. No, that's Beethoven. What you're probably <laughs> most familiar with is his cello. Okay. See why no, I fell the class? I don't know. This in there. I don't remember these names. Yeah, cello suite. What's that? How's it go? <laughs> you know, you know another one. Cello, 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 in my mellow, mellow, mellow. <laughs> no, not like that. Is that predictable? Yeah. We've got nine seconds. I think okay, we did great. I took a picture of it. You better not change That's anything. That's what we have. Dun, 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 dun. Good job, team. <laughs>
So the list I'm going to put here is the full list in alphabetical order by first name. Um, next to each one, this will explain why a lot of the names, and I heard people talking about this, that were reused because of the kids he uh, had, 10 of them died in childbirth. Um, hmm. And this is with two, two mothers. He had two wives. Oh, um, at the same and, time? Uh, not at the same time, as far as I know. Um, so all the ones that have asterisks next to them are the kids who died. Um, and next to the four, uh, uh, it was all sons who were known by their initials. What are, what are we looking at? I'm looking at I'm putting, it, I'm putting, yeah. I'm putting I it up see, right now. I don't see any asterisks. I uh, see. Because no. it didn't yeah, come. Give them a second. From... Yeah, and that's then you'll because... read them for the uh, recording audience. Yes. So oh, these are. are the 20 kids. And... So I'm going in order, uh, Carl Philip Emanuel, or CPE Bach, I would take either one, Car Katerina Dorothea, then Christian Gottlieb, died early, Christiana Benedicta, died early, Christiana Dorothea, also died early. But it doesn't matter if they died or not, they're all dead. No, I know, I'm putting, yeah, that's <laughs> so, true. So Ron, so if, if we just put Christiana, we don't get it though. You don't get it, no. Wait, what? Well, no, come on. Christiana would minute. not that's work. That's all we did. Jesus because Christ. there were three Christianas, so I would need to have at least a Benedicta, a Dorothea, or a Sophia Henrietta. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, we, I you, thought you, we uh, just could put Christiana. You, you, do you still not, like it, Susan? No. Remember, I said that if <laughs> yeah, it's not he, unique, he explained I that need another the, name. He did. Yeah, he did so, explain that. So then there's Christiana, Sophia, Henrietta. So by that time, you got bored with Christianas because they kept dying. Uh, then there's Elizabeth, Juliana, Frederica, and I'm not worried about spelling because I saw some variations on Frederica. Uh, Ernestus, Andreas. Wait, there's not even a Joanna, Joanna Sebastian. I, I think I said that at the beginning that there, I, I, when I said there was a Johann Sebastian, there was no junior. Um, Johann August uh, Abraham, good German name. Johann Christian, and that's J.C. Bach. Johann Christoph Friedrich, J.C.F. Bach, as far as I know. Yeah, so you need J.C. or J.C.F. Johann Christoph and Johann Gottfried Bernard. So again, um, you know, Johann by itself is not going to work. But Friedrich will. Friedrich would, because it's the only Friedrich that was there. Yeah. Um, uh, then there's, I, where are we at here? I've done all the Johans. Johanna Carolina. So wait, I'm, I'm confused. I'm looking at your alphabetical list in the chat. I don't see Friedrich. That's Johann the... Christoph Friedrich, JCF Bach. So, so Friedrich alone so would Friedrich work? Friedrich alone would work. I said, as long as the name was unique amongst the 20 kids. It counts. Oh. Didn't have and, to be a first name. And Johanna would work fine, Rob. Is, too. Yeah. is Mary is Mary close enough to Maria? We, no. Johanna. Wait, Johanna is okay? Yes, Johanna. Johanna. No, only no one because Johanna. there's more no. than one Johanna. No. No. There's, there's a no, Regina only... Johanna and a Johanna Carolina. And that, yeah. no, that, I only that's fair. One you specified Johanna. first name. You didn't specify if it was a middle name that they were given. I, there's I only one Johanna. I only see one Johanna. No, Regina, 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 Carolina, Carolina, Johanna. And Regina Johanna. Oh Start from the bottom. <laughs> I'm with you, Rob. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. I, I, I think to be sure of the score. Have Christian I think to be sure of the score, names. Ron, everybody's going to have to read theirs and you're going to have to say yes or no because I don't understand this enough. I think other people, people understand, Rob. I don't some think people. so. Some people what understand. about Carl with a K, not with a C? Don't have we any problem understanding. To understand it. To get Rob, no, Rob no, this is Wait, where's K. Tito? Where's Tito? Tito? Where's Tito? 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 Susanna. So is there only one Wilhelm? Wait, and uh, yes. uh, Bob had another one. Oh, yeah. We, we were sure there would be a Carl with a K. Yeah, we said Carl with a K. No, uh, it's it's only Carl, Carl, with possible to be, Carl with a C. Carl with a C. the only it's one. It's possible to be sure of something that turns out not to be true. That's well, true. Ernest is not allowed to do this category yeah. again. Plus, it's way past bedtime. <laughs> Maybe any. We can it's ask. Accomplished, Ron. I think I'll we might have Ron. to go through it and ask him if it if it fits. That's what I said. Two, three. We got three. Okay, oh, so let's do that. I'm going to do that. 
Look, okay, look, look. There's, there are two it, Johannes, so you hard. can't do that. There's ben, only just one. Just because you Susanna. get it doesn't mean everyone gets it, okay? <laughs> okay well, so that's if true. there's any team that, that is not figuring this out, they can read them out and I will tell them okay. yes or no. All right, team, we've got a German for the time being. Read your 10 names. Why don't you just read the oh, ones oh. you think you got? Oh, I think we got uh, we got we, JC and we got JC and CPE. We knew them. We got Friedrich, Wilhelm. Yep. And that's it. Uh, wait, did we get? We should have had CPE. There we yeah, go. Got, you said that. that. You did say that. Yeah. Okay. So you have four. JC, CPE, Friedrich, and Wilhelm. Yeah, four. Yeah. Okay, four for them. Let me share. Okay, this is how we're going to do it, so we can double check because this idea is confusing to me. All right, so four. Can you guys see the screen and, and it has a four in there? Yes. Yep. yes. Okay. Correct. All right. So team five, the mouse at Ward. So we have a Maria, a Christian, and a Wilhelm. We have a Christiana too, don't we? Is there only one Christiana? No, there's two of them. There's we have three Leopold. actually, three Christianas. Okay. There's only oh, we do have Leopold. Yay. So we had three. Is there and a Sebastian? One, two, three, four. We have okay. five. There are okay. two Christians. Did we have, yeah. are there you two Christianas? We can't have Johanna or Christian because there was, the name was duplicated, even if it was Christian wasn't was. Name. Okay, so then we have one, two, three, four. We have four. What about Friedrich? I thought we had Friedrich on there. It's down on the bottom 10, not the top yeah, 10. Yeah, we took it out. Oh, okay. Okay, so four. Okay. Yeah, we did. So Mystic there. Washington Squashers. Yeah, these one, then, they have uh, five. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, so make 1984 fiction again. So we have uh, Johann Christian, Frederick, and Wilhelm. Are those all three good? Yeah. All right, then we got Johann Christian Frederick. There's no name like that, is there? That's JCF. Yeah, that's good. Oh, we got that. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. He said good. Christian. Uh, Johann Sebastian, that was no good. No, that's and then good. just Christian, which is no good because there's a bunch of them, right? And God, Gottfried, there's no God. Yes, it's Gottfried. Is there only one Gottfried? There's multiple mm -hmm. Gottfrieds. Oh. Uh, um, no, no, there's only one Gottfried. The other one's there's Gottfried. Well, there's, yeah, and a one Gottfried. Gottfried. Oh, no, there's two Gottfrieds. Oh, no, there's, there's two Gottfrieds. Gottfried. There's a Gottfried Heinrich Gottfried. and then a Johann yeah. Gottfried. All right. Yeah, so there's even arguments between you guys. I thought you knew it well. Just saying. Okay. So, Frederica. Is there a Frederica around here? No. Um, uh, yeah, Frederica. Frederica. Uh, Elizabeth Juliana Frederica. There's I'll only see one? You that. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. And jo Johanna? Johanna? No, there's a whole bunch of those. And Christina. Oh, two. Well, that's a whole bunch. Christina? <laughs> um, I don't think. Yeah, there's there's, there's two, no Christina. There's three, there's three Christianas. Oh, yeah. Christina. Wait. Christy. Oh. But no Christina. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So you got five? We got five. Five? Okay. okay. Let's see how don't mess with the mouse. It'll cost you a billion dollars, did. Thanks to, to Bill, we got a 10. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Bill God. knew them. And some of them Seriously. were real obscure. Nice some box. of the more obscure names I was watching that. Holy crap. Wait, who wow. knew? Bill. 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 I thought you yeah. said Bill. And we lucked out. We did have somewhere all we had was a single name like Elizabeth, but mm -hmm. there was only one Elizabeth on the list. So since it was unique, only having one you didn't name. You use Elizabeth with a Z, did you? No, no we used it with an S. S. <laughs> wow. And we had, and we had uh, Maria. Spelling doesn't count. Which was also singular. What, Celia? Spelling doesn't count. He said that. Yeah, I would have taken Liz with a Z or an S. Oh, right. Spelling doesn't count. Yeah. Yeah. We had Adolf. We had Adolf good, and we had. Good job, guys. Pulling Hans. Oh, <laughs> man. That was scary. Okay. So 43. Hey, Ron. We don't hate you. Mm. Ben, Bill, Celia, <laughs> Jamie, Karen, Troy, Mike Wolf, you the champions. You guys can brag all week now. Bravo. And I think I set a record for the most. Weird noises out of Rob for one category. <laughs> and that's hard to replay that to see that's, that's, a, that's a challenge. Yeah, Do you have really. your books for next week, Susan? 
Uh, yeah, it's going to be Rob well, all week. Good night, guys. It's going to be revenge. Bye, Alan. Bye. Bye. Revenge, Rob. Bye. 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 I'll show you how it ends, Al. I hope your team wins. What? I'll tell you no. how it ends. No. George says nah, I don't you dare. Just, I think just we should have done sign out, Rob. Model rules for that last round. Ron, just sign off. <laughs> just sign off, Ron. Somebody's going to spoil it for Okay, Alan. you can talk about me. I'm heading out now. Yay, we'll Ron. find out what's going on with Luann. I can't, I can't even imagine what's going to happen. We'll, we'll find out for next the week. Backstory. No, I'll find out a few days. A few Tell hours. Tell us the backstory, Susan. Of who? Of Luann. Comic, Luann. What do you want to know? Well, you got teary-eyed about today's comic. You were like, oh, this is what's happening. I'm like, we don't know anything that happened before. How could you not know? How could you not be following this cartoon? I've been following it for like 30 years. It's With really great good. Ease. What is she like, the stepmom or something like that? No, no, Luann is just a character. She's a, she's a teenage girl, and she's just... Her and her friends, her best friend is Bernice, and they're going, they went through elementary school, and then she had crushes on boys, and she spent her time at the mall, and she was trying mm -hmm. to do her hair, and they all, all the people in the group, you know, the different people, Tiffany and different people have, like, their caricatures, you know, you got your nerd, you got your, you got your, like, uh, civil rights leader kind of person, you've got, you know, because this has been around since, like, the 70s, I think, or 60s. Yeah, at least the 70s. It's just a cartoon. It used to be black and white. Now it's all fancy and colored. It's like a father drew it. And now his daughter's drawing it. And and they 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 age, but it's really slow. Like it takes they're in it takes probably like 10 years for them to go through one grade. It's a long process for them to age. So they're they're 19 or 20 now. They're in college. Everybody's in college and and uh it's just sort of follows their life, like, you know, boys and, and finding their way and what they want to do in life. And Luann's brother became a, a firefighter <laughs> and uh, he was just a slummy, jumpy boy, just like awful and just you nobody. Know, and then now this, what happened yesterday is there's this character who's introduced like six years ago or something like that. And his name is Piero. And he used to be just like here every once in a while, you'd be like, who is this guy? He just show up. He never had anything to say. He was just really quiet, and he had a star on his head. And he he they oh the kids almost rarely change their clothes or their hair color or anything like that. They're almost always the same. And so like, like real people, yeah, like real people. And so uh, what happened with what happened is oh what's all this? Um, so what happened is Luann is becoming a writer. She's she's she does. She writes, she does, she plays music. She's really good with children. She's just an interesting character. And this well, guy, Piero, like I said, has been showing up for a long time. He was in college. He was in the four-year college. And then he um, um, kept showing up and nobody knew what, the, what to think of him. He, nobody knew his backstory. And finally, and here I'll show you the cartoon. The one I put up last night. Whoops, wrong. I can't believe you guys would find this interesting, but to me, it's really interesting. So here, here is here's his best, her best friend. This is Bernice. She's been around for 30, 40 years, and that's as far as she's aged. And this is Piero, and he always dresses like that, and he always has a star. And nobody knows anything about him, and he wrote a story, and he's just been kind of hanging around, and and Luann, um. Luann's best friend Bernice was just kind of like letting him just she's like really straight laced she just never does anything wrong she can't break a rule and so she's she had a big crush on him and then he kissed her and then she was like oh no I'm not interested and she had nothing to do with him and she went on to college and like two three years went by and finally Piero showed up again and here he is saying, I don't know who my dad is. My mom had five husbands and many boyfriends. I've got nine younger siblings. When I was 14, mom had a severe stroke. It fell on me to be the caretaker and the dad. And it became unbearable. I tried to escape writing college, a couch here, a floor there, but guilt and darkness followed me, swallowed me, and then a light. And so this is just like, he's never hardly even spoken. Nobody's known his backstory. We knew his life was messed up, but nobody knew why or anything. And see how the light is on her and everything. And it's it's like, we know it's going to be about Luann. 
But when I put this up on Facebook yesterday and I tagged Ron, Ron said, oh, it's because Bernice is just now dawning on her that Fiero is talking about Luann, not her. But no, it's not true. He's talking about her. It's just really sweet. It's just like we've we've been we have no idea who this guy is. And then, like I said, he's been around for about seven, eight years and he'll show up. He'll be in the background doing something. You're like, who is that? Who's that guy? What is this? What is it to deal? Anyway, the yeah. best part of this is that the slow roll, that it's, it's just so a slow. little snippet of the story every day. What is it? And five, it takes seven, forever, but you're seeing them grow up. Is it yeah. five days a week? Seven. So it's just a, a slow roll of a story. Yeah. And like I said, you seeing the kids grow up. Her brother's now a really responsible man. He's a firefighter. He's got a, he's got a, uh, he's married to a beautiful woman named Tony and she's a firefighter also. And just their relationships with the people around him. Anyway, unless you know what I'm talking about, you wouldn't make any sense at all. But to me is like, wow, he finally said who he is. Finally, we know something about this guy. It's anyway. like a book you've been reading for a long time and you just oh my start gosh. another page. Similarian. <laughs> Tolkien's book, The Similarian or whatever it's called. You can never get through. You can't get through it. But this is like, and, and it only follows this little storyline. And then you just see the characters develop over time. You know, they, they have angst and boyfriend problems and relationships with their stepmom or relationships with their parents or or their siblings and it's just a, i don't know i don't know why it's interesting but i've just been following it for about 30 years right. anyway, can i change the subject question. i have another Please. question about I was sacramento, how sacramento was so I, I i was supposed to be on jury duty this week and then i mentioned this to people and they said oh you should watch the series on netflix jury duty and at first i thought it was a sitcom or something and it, no it's not it's a reality show but it's a reality show like it's never been on and it has an intersection with skepticism in my mind. I might even write an article about this. Has anybody ever watched the Truman Show? The movie? Oh yeah. Yes, definitely. I wanted to rewatch it the other to day, but it's it not on sounds, any place I could find it. To so me, the it jur sounds jury unethical, Rob. What? To me, it sounds unethical. It, what, Truman I, Show. This is my question. Yeah. So, so the premise of this is, you're say I'll put you in the place of the of the of the star of the show. What's the show called again? Jury duty. You, you, Susan, are called to jury duty in your county. Okay. You, you appear in the court. You go through the whole process uh, of jury selection. You get put on a jury. You become the foreman. You run. You see the case. Days and days of testimony. Three weeks. You get sequestered, and there's a reason for that, which I don't have to go into, in a hotel. And it turns out everyone is an actor except for you. <gasps> Whoa. You've, you've been recorded for three weeks to be on the oh, show. How long God. does it take to before you find figure that out? Well, you know it immediately. I mean, they you tell know you that enough. the people the are viewer, actors. The viewer knows it, but the, the person does not. That's oh, correct. like the Truman and, and Show. The, what? Yeah. Like the Truman Show, you know. Exactly like the Truman Show. Right. I can imagine somebody who is paranoid watching this and, oh, my God, it's real. Because there are targeted individuals, I call themselves, who believe this is real about their life. That everything, everyone uh, around them yeah. is just there to record their every, and it's amazing. I mean, the last episode, they actually go behind the scenes and show you how it was all done. And, and they reveal it to the, to the guy like you. They walk you around and you see there's cameras behind every uh glass surface and in bookcases and whatever and, and it's astounding that they were able to pull it off and i'm with i'm with uh, karen i don't know this was ethical unethical, yeah, that's unethical. Kinda... wait a second but he doesn't really know he's wait yeah if you were in the show you would have been the star of the show and you had no idea until the trial was over and then you're the foreman you make you you, just, you found them not guilty and then they call you up to the stand and they tell you the truth and and the thing though is they have to pay the guy and he has to sign a release or it won't be yeah, on TV. Well, well, the, the thing is, the, the how they did that was it's a reality show. Then what the, what they told them was they were making a documentary about a real jury and how jury service works. So there were film people all around all the time. Right. So he bought into that and they lied to him basically. 
That's right. But for him to put it on TV, they had to pay him a lot of money. For him right. To sign so it. so after Americans it's say. filmed, they have to. Well, yeah. that, was, that was funny. The judge is telling him and he's on this. OK, you know, I'm not a real judge. I lied. This is not my last trial. This is my first trial. None of these people are, are actors. These are not the defendants. And we're going to award you $100,000. So they gave him. Wow. Money. It's like an extended version of Candid Camera. Unethical. It so was I read an standard. article about it. I read an article about it and it was all focused on the guy. And he said that he was like totally into it, that he he said it was like a big shock. He was totally surprised, but he was like completely happy with it. He, you yeah, know, well, he, became, <laughs> he was he became friends <laughs> with all of the actors. He was completely happy. <laughs> with it and and he thought it was great it was a wonderful experience and so he he was you know delighted so the, 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 the whole the, the, thing. and he is con he is hoping to go on and have a film career or right, right, well right. you know anybody who's going to sign in for this movie. is going to be somebody who wants to be on tv yeah. no, and, no, and no 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 he just thought he was one of the analysis. jurors and they made all the jurors sign that that you you're going to allow them to film this for a documentary well th then he knew he was going to be on tv yes but he yeah, didn't but know he, thought he, thought it was a documentary. he didn't know everybody, he didn't know everybody was actors yeah right. he didn't know he was, and being, he was being pulled right and yeah. by the way you know there were quirky individuals it was this guy who was like autistic and doing really weird things there was this relationship that went on. They put him on the phone with his girlfriend. I mean, it's and you know, he James Marson, who's an actual recognizable actor, was one of the main characters. And he's oh. trying, well, I'm gonna get off this jury because everybody knows me. You know, it was actually really done interestingly, but again, as character, I don't know that this was ethical. Wow. I, I, is it even legal? It's, have, it's, have you considered the possibility that he's lying and it was staged and he knew all along? Yeah, that's the question. I wondered, I, I, so. I wondered about that myself. Yeah, I haven't seen it. It's on my list of things to watch because uh, the reviews are awesome for it. Say so that it's you know say that every everything I've read says it's really good. So I have it on my I, list of things to watch. I am, but yeah, I find it hard to believe that the guy couldn't figure it out because you, what were you saying? Quirkiness that uh, that. Well, it's it's funny. In the third episode, I think he finally says, "Yo, every day weird things happen. This is like it would be a reality TV show." So yeah, would you say? Well, yeah, because you guys, think... I mean, it's all fake. It's all fake. I I just don't think it should be legal, much less ethical. And and then this idea that somebody's actually going to play a fake autistic juror. I mean, that's so not cool. I would so he was Rob somebody was... who was obsessed with technology, and his thing was he kept putting weird things on his body, including a weird seat and weird things to put in his teeth. It was over the top. This is what? all made up. You know what? It sounds like Darren Brown, the push. Everybody seen the push? Don't Darren know. Brown, you know who he is? He's the mentalist who does all these ridiculous things that make people do things. People are fans of Darren Brown. They say, I'd like to sign up to do one of your things. They bring him in, they interview him, they film him, they make him sign a ton of forms. And they put him through an adoc 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 indoctrination. indoctrination. And what they did on the push is they brought these people in and they wanted to see who was malleable <laughs> by, by doing these things. Like it'd be one person and all nine other people were actors and they would make them do something, you know, like where, where, um, you know, that, that, that illusion where they'd say, which, which line is, you know, you got these three lines that are a certain length and they and they look like an optical illusion. And it's clearly one's really the longer one, like line B is the longest line, but all nine other people say it's line A and they want to see if you'll go along with the group uh, or if you're going to if you're going to stand out on your own and say, no, no, it's B. I don't know what you guys are all saying. So they put them through these tests and eventually then they say, OK, thank you very much. And then months go by. And you never hear from them again. And then they bring you in for another scenario, and you don't realize you're on the Darren. You don't realize you're on that show. You think you're in. You think you're just like showing up to a party or something you were invited to. And then they keep putting you through these steps. And the idea is, will you put? Will you? Can they convince you to push a man off the top of this building and kill him? 
Ooh. Wow. Ooh. And it gets ah. you to that point. And it's all like the first step is you're, you're catering, you're working at a party at this very fancy uh, thing event. And like somebody has a tray of food and one's vegan and one's like not vegan. And I guess they drop the vegan tray. And so they're like, oh shit, what are we going to do? We have to have vegan. And somebody says, take the toothpicks out that say vegan on it, that say non-vegan and put them on there and they'll say vegan. Just put them out there. It'll be fine. Just put it out there. Nobody will know. And so if the person passes that step, then they go to something else and it keeps it escalating where the person is suggested with these really good reasons. Like, no, we have to put these, we have to do this. Oh my gosh, we have to do. And, and people will go to a stage where this guy dies, this old man who's got like, he's going to, he's got all this money and he's going to end up, um, people are going to be in so much trouble and he dies. And then they're like, Oh my God, he's dead. And then everybody's has accepted that this man has died. And then they find out he didn't die. And so they're like, Oh shit, we've got to kill him now. What? We've got to kill him. No way. We have to kill him. So they bring it up to this escalated point and they have him sitting like on the edge of a building way up there. They're like, you're going to have to push him. They're like, what do you mean I'm going to have to push him? He's like, you have to push him because you're the only one that he'll, he'll, he won't notice. Like you're the waiter or whatever it is. You're going to have to push him. And they're like, well, we all thought he was dead already. Everybody believes he's dead. Now we really have to kill him. And so, so the, it turns out it's a dummy or like it's a, uh, it's like a, an actor, a stunt man. And he's, and it's rigged so that the, when he falls, it's like, he falls on like a, I don't know, something that's projecting out on the building. So he can't be killed, but the guy who's pushing him doesn't know this. So they bring him up to this point where they're going to kill this man. It's incredible. Did you say this is Darren Brown? Yeah. yeah. He, he also did one where Stephen Fry got shot. Wow. Oh, horrible, horrible, uh, horrible, but the thing is traumatic, wow. but they horrible. showed it. He did it. And so the guy goes all the way to the stage and he, he pushes the man off. Yeah. And this is a show that you can see, Susan, that he was also an actor. It's Darren Brown. No, no. Well, okay, but the thing is, is I know, but it's but the the way when they go back and they show you how it was done. Yeah. No. No. Listen. There's people. Chat to Mark Edward about it. Okay, but listen. What happened? Okay, let's pretend for the moment that he wasn't an actor. Go back and they show you different scenarios of people who got part of the way, but refused to go farther. Or they get to the point and they're going to push them and they're like, I'm not pushing them. So they show you like 10 people who went through this whole thing and they finally, only one person would do it. And it's okay, maybe he was an actor, but it was so compelling to see how well, it looked well, well, like they well, wouldn't do it. Well, then, I mean, for an entertainment or a show that made you think it, it worked. But Susan, it's Darren Brown. This is what he does. Well, it's, it sounds like a takeoff. It sounds like the extreme movie version of the psychology ex Milgram experiment. Yeah, Milgram experiment, where, yeah. Where they would coax the subjects to ultimately shock somebody to a point where they would be physically damaged. I'm going to look and see if I see yeah. anybody saying anything about it being... So, 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 so real quick, Rob, I have a question. Um, the James Marsden, he's yeah. obviously playing himself, right? Because he's a recognizable well, he's playing enough actor, an over-the-top right? crazy version of himself. Oh, version of himself. Oh, like a caricature of himself, yes, but yet exactly. he's still... Because he can't play some other dude. Cause, no, I mean, no, no, he's, no. He's the whole, been the in enough part, stuff. And they made that okay. part of the thing. That, okay, got it. That he's such a famous actor. There's no There's way they put him on his oh, jury. He's up okay. for another role. I'm going to you know, I'm gonna just tell them that the judge is going to let me off, and he doesn't. And then he actually hires paparazzi and he only tells the Susan, you know, that he's doing that to burst in. And then he gets even in more trouble. Wow. And then he says, no, Susan told me to do that. And he kind of said, oh, what if you had paparazzi, you know? So it's like a weird thing like that. They play off each other. Dude, that's crazy. I might have to check right, that so one here's out. the other thing. Is anybody here in the legal system? What is reality? Like... What is reality? What is not reality? Right. Consent. It's, it's horrible. It's Karen, horrible. from another perspective, does anybody else here work in the legal system at all? No. Hey. My mom was a court reporter. All hey. right, so here's the, here's the thing. I walked I've walked by a courthouse. Here. I've been on a jury <laughs> once, and I got the preliminary stuff this week before, the, two weeks ago, before they let me off. And one of the main things is 
jury is not an investigative body. You just you just absorb the evidence they they give you in court and make a decision based on that. Right. This did not do that at all. So I'm thinking anyone watching this, this is what's going to happen if they become a juror, is totally misled. And I don't understand why they went down that route. Mm. They had them go to the place where the crime apparently happened. Oh, and see, oh my God. And by themselves for other information. And then in the, in, the, uh, in the deliberation process, that's what they used to make their decision. It was bizarre. Yeah. Do they have yeah. any kind of disclaimer in front of the episode every it's time they started? Not that I saw. Ooh, it can weird. happen. But it's a it comedy, should. though. It's a comedy. And I, I, like I said, I haven't seen it, but I read articles about it. And I find it hard to believe after what I read that the guy didn't really figure it out. The guy like, responds to an ad down. in Craigslist to do jury duty. <laughs> so so that, that's that, pretty that shows bizarre. you his mentality right there. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> bizarre right there. Yeah. Responds to an ad in Craigslist to, to do this jury documentary. So yeah. he's very, very malleable himself. Or he, or, or he, he kind of the whole is. time and completely staged and fake. Yeah, it's kind of another Blair Witch thing, isn't it? of all reality TV. Is yeah, TV. exactly. I put the link to the to the push, and I put the link to the critic critique of it. Newsweek did an article on it. And the reason why I think it could be real, even though I know it's Darren Brown, is because I think that if you watch it, I think it's possible to push people into situations like this. I think in the circumstances of you'll, these people will find themselves in, I think it could be possible to do this. This isn't like speaking to the dead where we know that that ain't going to happen. This is, yeah. this is people really do things. I mean, we know that you can take a generation of people like in Germany and get them to a point where they are willing to, to do atrocities for reasons that they think they have to, you know, right. butchers, bakers, right. candlestick makers did some horrible things right. that they would never have done in other situations, but it, it gets to that point. So I think this Darren Brown, the push in this case is that it is a, it is an experiment that could be. Uh, yeah, I think there's a little, a lot of trickery in there though, too, or some trickery. I think that. With what? With Darren Brown. Well, he is a tricker. No, I don't Darren, think Darren Brown's trick is to make you think what he's doing is psychological when it's just tricky. Yeah, yeah exactly. Didn't, didn't well, that's Chris Angel too. Didn't he do something? Oh God, it was a long time ago where he like supposedly predicted the lottery right before it happened. Yeah, that was a trick. Yeah, it was a trick. Yeah. He also had, he has one that I used to show my math students or I used to send them to watch it about probability and horse racing the horse race one. Oh, i didn't see this but i've heard of this yeah tell them amazing and he he shows how he did it in the end he shows the trick he doesn't always show the trick at the end of his episodes Ooh. and i think that's the thing but he does show it sometimes to show this is how you know how i can do this yeah it's, that's what i'm saying so sometimes it's, first, it's possible to manipulate it into a situation where sometimes a trick it's is not a trick it's mm. i mean it is a trick Explain the horse raking one, Adrian, because well, I know what you're talking about. I, I mean, it's been a few years since I watched it, but essentially what happened is he got a whole bunch of people and he said, I know how I can predict what's going to be on. I have this trick and I can tell which horses are going to win. Mm -hmm. And so you follow these people, right, and all the way through. And what he did is he just sent out enough tickets to all these people for this one horse race. And then there were only so many winners, obviously. He, so he bet on every single horse, essentially. And, every single and then horse. he, the next round was the next people. And then he, they, same thing, bet on every single horse. And then there was only so many people left until he was down to one person. And he gets them to go and spend a whole lot of, or borrow money, gets money from uh, his, her, their dad they don't have a lot of money but they get all this money it's like ten thousand dollars their whole savings he's right? convinced them that they can pick the winner he's convinced them through all this time but really it was just chance right <laughs> just it happened to be the person that yeah got he got the the winning ticket in the end and he shows how it's done and uh 
in, in the end, he doesn't put the money on, right? He tells them he's gone and bet on it. And then he tells them how he did it. And they can just see their faces sinking and going, oh my God. And yeah, they, they don't lose the money. So <laughs> that's, that's kind of like the same, same, what I'm saying is that yeah. you've just manipulated somebody into that place. It is a trick. Totally but true. you've yeah. manipulated them into this mm-hmm. position where you it's like the guy the magician who goes out on the street and you, you're watching the video and he goes up to some stranger and he says name a number between one and a hundred and the person says 67 and then he lifts up his shirt and he has the number 67 written on it and everybody goes wow how could he have known that and then mm-hmm. you go back and you see that the guy's been on the street corner with the number 67 on his stomach for like a a week and he keeps going up to people saying name a number between one and a hundred and they're naming six and he goes okay thank you and somebody else he says name a number between one and a hundred and they say 25 and he keeps going until somebody says the number that's on his stomach but they've been filming everything all the people he's been there all the interactions have been filmed you only see the person who he got right exactly so that's kind of the same thing. It's it's a trick, but the trick is that it's a True. manipulation of the fact that they you remember they hit throughout all the misses and there's a or the person who does the coin flip, yeah, yeah. film the coin flips. He he does that in that in that same episode. He shows same kind of idea how he can do twenty heads in a row because says, someday I know, I know how to do it. And he, but he had to do it for sixteen hours straight flipping coins before he got maybe it was ten in a row. Susan, finally got you know, it. Yes, Bob. You know what it reminds me of? You know the story of James Randi. Every day would take a slip <gasps> of paper and write, "I will die." On the yes, it's right. Do you guys remember, remember that? I do. Casey died that day. And then, oh my God! James yeah. Randi would take out an index card and he would put it. He'd write on his index card, "I, James Randi, will die today on this day," and he writes the date. And he took the card and he put it in his wallet, and then he would go about his day. And then the next day he'd, he'd wake up, he'd rip up the card, he'd fill out another card and say, I, James Randy, will die today yeah. on this day. Yeah. And he put it in his cart. Yeah. And it's exactly, exactly the same thing. And so yeah. that if he was to die in a car accident or whatever that day, then they would pull out trying to find his wallet to see who he is. And they'll pull out this index card that says, I, James Randy, will die today. <laughs> it's, it's brilliant. Of course, he didn't die yeah. like that, but. Carrie Poppy told that story and they were, did a podcast about him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was yeah. a, a Pendulette, I think, was the one I heard it from. Someday. Yeah. But it's just so randy, right? Jeez. Didn't oh. work, but it could have. And can you imagine if you were a paramedic and you, what's the guy's name? We're going to call home or whatever. You pull out his wallet and you pull out his, and here attached to his driver's license, like he has a, uh, uh, index card that says it on there. Can you imagine the fame? Well, somebody would have to the reveal the uh, the trick later, I guess, right? If or somebody the, reveals the trick, or not. Otherwise, well, I mean, then that's he, the whole he, point to make somebody okay. think they've got proof that he was actually a psychic, but yeah. then it turns out, oh, I guess not. He's been doing this every yeah, day. Yeah, he told life. he told <laughs> many people about this so uh, if it had actually happened it would have been spoiled because they say well he's been doing that for 10 years you know how many index cards this guy buys <laughs> yeah well, I I lost my bedtime everybody else or something a couple days, Susan. Hi, Hi, Saunders. take care Richard. i'm gonna head out too like a baby okay yeah it's almost oh, good to see you Okay, good night. I'm going like a tree. I need to go close up my chickens. All right, we'll all go. Who doesn't? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for hanging out okay. with me. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and watch these old videos. My God, I want to see some comments on them. I want to see some likes. I want to see them shared. We're going to get a Netflix show yet. How could you not be interested in this show? Mm-hmm. Subscribe. So by the way, The Atlantic Magazine, it looks like, has an article on jury duty. The headline is, jury duty is terrific TV. It should not get another season. So I'm going to sit down and read it. By the way, it's on Amazon, not Netflix. I was wrong. Oh, okay. All right. right. Okay. Bye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Watch Llamas with Hats, everyone. (laughs) Hey, guys.